everybody. How are we all? Are you good? Happy weekend. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you yesterday. Poor little Tigatron. Her name's not actually Tigatron. <laughs> Yeah, it's Tiggy. Uh, my little girl, my younger, she was poorly yesterday, so she just wanted her mummy cuddle. So I wasn't able to join you in the studio, um, but I'm most definitely not missing out on today's show because one of my absolute favourites, not only is she beautiful, she's beautiful in here too. It's our Debbie. <laughs> oh, thank you. I mean it. You and I love working I mean. with you too. Ditto, ditto, ditto. We've just been having a right little giggle prior to the show, haven't we? We have. <sighs> Talking about, uh, we're talking about uh, um, relatives, relatives, and funny conversations relating to relatives. Now, what a Saturday morning! And I just had to say to our uh, to, to to our Ross, it's like Ross, hang on a minute, because we've got so much on today. What if, I, what if I got this hour? What if I got that hour? What if I got this hour? Starting from the beginning, we have Jadeite, brand new chips and nuggets. I mean, I can't remember the last time I actually had. They're not really chips, though. They are really large sizes. Look at this, look at this, look at this. You've got your moss and snow, um, all completely natural type A. So this would have been what basically what um, possibly has been uh, sort of cut off your master carvings. Still beautiful gem quality, um, but now, obviously, something you can create texture in your jewelry design. So that's coming up in this hour. It's going to be quite fast and, fast and pacey, sorry, um, in this hour because there's a lot to squeeze in your viewer's choice. Then at 9 o'clock, I'm going to be heading over to our lovely, our beautiful Debbie Kershaw for some of her amazing jewellery and kits. I've been ogling these on social media, Debbie. <laughs> <You're talking again. laughs> I'm doing the um, signet rings yes. that Claire did. So yes. we're just doing those again um, at 9. And then we've got lovely, lovely pearl kits for the masterclass. So what I've done is necklaces that are individual, but you can layer them if you want to sort of, you know, go make a statement. Yeah, lovely, really beautiful. Sorry, I've got. If it, it sounds like there's a gust of wind in the gallery at the moment, there we are. Um, and then at ten o'clock, at ten o'clock we have the return <laughs> of Grandid You're Right with Dave Troth. Now, um, I saw one single Grandid You're Right over in Tucson. Uh, Toby might have spoken about it yesterday, and it was, I think, valued at millions of pounds. Um, we have some brand new premiere opportunities in Grand Digi right? and the colour on these are absolutely insane. So yes, we haven't seen that gemstone for a very long time. Um, it is back on your screens from 10 o'clock. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got a very special guest um, who is joining us and launching. I mean, look at these for the first time on Jewelry Maker. These are your crystal singing bowls. No, they're not hat boxes. They're not hat boxes. Inside are the most beautiful singing bowls. And it's never really been something that I've kind of looked into or delved into, actually prior to our sister channels actually launching them quite recently. Um, and I'm fascinated by it. I know Janie Bennett did Skyped over from Australia on the launch. Um, it sings a really amazing tune, and it's something you're really into as well, Debbie, isn't it? Yeah, um, sometimes you do a meditation that's called a sound bath meditation. Mm -hmm. And um, I've had it, this is, sounds a bit weird, but I had a sound bath meditation with a didgeridoo in person once, Ooh. which sounds weird, but you have to do circular breathing to make it work, and it's really like the sound goes through you, and you get the same sort of resonance with these, like the sound goes through you, so it can help to focus your mind. I'm sure the lady will tell you all about it, but... Yeah. They are really interesting. So, and they're beautiful yeah. as they well, are really they? beautiful. You know, even if you just have it on the side, you know, in your studio with it, they look absolutely stunning. Amazing. Mm. Sit on a nice stand. You've got the whole, I don't know what you call the, that bit. The donga? The dong, yeah. Probably. Is it called the dong? I've no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that you hit it with. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> so Adam earlier on was having a go with the singing bowls. So I was like, there's Adam with his dogger. <laughs> I think he's, he's a natural, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> he was a natural. Um, yes, and then at 12 o'clock, of course, we've got your beautiful masterclass, which I'm very, very much looking forward to. And you've, well, you've spoken about it. it's the pearls, isn't it? And those, that, that trillion mount yeah, that we've not seen before. It's the trillion mount, um, but I'm also going to talk about design and how I go about doing, is this for something a bit different, how I go about designing a piece, how I find it pleasing to the eye, yep. different lines of, uh, as well as the techniques. So sort of something a bit, a bit different. Amazing, amazing. So shall we get cracking? 
I think we should, because it's going to be an absolutely amazing Saturday morning show. I'm going to start, oh, 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 actually about 20 past the hour. Look at these. Now, there's a little bit of a story to this, and I haven't actually told Ross. So about two years ago, maybe even more, actually, because it was pre-pandemic, I pitched to our then buying team over at Ivy House. I was like, right, can we please buy, you know, the Monica Veneda sort of macrame style, basically slider bracelets? Um, pitched it about probably three years then, in actual fact. Um, so showed them all the designs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and it, I don't know if it went by the wayside or it just didn't happen with deliveries um, and whatnot. They are finally, finally here. Um, and I've got to be honest, have these been on before, Ross? They've been on once before. I'm going to be having a conversation with the, with the team in the office because I pushed pitch for these about three years ago. <laughs> uh, three years ago. <laughs> Finally, it's taken this long for them to actually be brought to air. Anyway, these are coming up as well about 20 past the hour. They're absolutely beautiful and very on trend. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's get cracking. Let's have a lovely interactive show as well. Fast on Pisces, says Ross. Um, we're going to do some big clearance deals. Oh, aggressive on the price, he says. I'm going to go aggressive. A load of goodies within this hour that has to be cleared. I'm literally reading what I'm hearing, re reiterating what I'm hearing in my ear. Starting with bronzite, totally and utterly natural. You've got one of our endless necklaces or neck strands, if you like. Um, a total of 60 inches. I always forget, is this a 150 centimetres? I think it is. Uh, previously closed at £9.99. Bronzite, lovely metallic, deep, dark, earthy, beautiful gemstone. Should we do something ridiculous? I'm up for ridiculous. Always up for ridiculous. Are you up for ridiculous? All the time. All the time. Frankly, I am ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it now before anybody else does. <laughs> Are you ready? How ridiculous is ridiculous then, Ross? It's been 9.99. I'd say 1.99 is pretty ridiculous, don't you? One um, wow. One ninety nine, Ross. One ninety nine, <laughs> exactly for bronze. And we don't actually get four hundred and twenty carats. More to the point, I don't think that I've seen a strand of acrylic plastic pony beads for one ninety nine. So that's What's amazing. What's a pony bead? You know those kids beads with the the big round hole, like the, the, the teenagers oh, yeah, are all yeah. into them now to make bracelets. I had to buy some. Yeah. And they were like ten quid. Yeah. It's the only thing she asked me for that I don't have in my stash. Yeah, typical, isn't it? One ninety nine yeah. for genuine gemstones, beautiful deep earthy. Um, with the flashes of metallic beauty, totally and utterly natural. 199. Hello, Lord, uh, London. Hello to you, County Atrium. Hello to you, Alison, Patricia, Essex, Mary, and Jerry, Jane, Ellen, Lynn, new customers, Melanie, Lincolnshire. You're there as well. Good morning. Good morning, Hilda. Nice to see you. Remember, everything is locked and loaded on the website, so you can actually shop, a, uh, shop ahead. It will disappear from the website at nine o'clock. Um, uh, from nine o'clock, but. They may even go lower than the prices on the website. So uh, keep on, yeah, shop ahead. You might as well because you might get a little extra deal. The jadeite, for example, is going lower. The rope slider bracelets are going lower. And you just get the one, you get all of them. And that's five. Five of them in total. Um, I like it because it's a different twist on the, on the slider, the sterling silver slider bracelets that we bring you. Um, sorry, what was that? Auralite 23, one of the most powerful gemstones, I understand, in crystal healing, Auralite 23. I don't know much about this gemstone. Well, isn't it beautiful, though? It is beautiful. Um, many people will actually mistake Auralite for a, for a variety of amethyst, but actually, it's one of the most complex gemstones that actually exists. The 23 number relates to, I, I believe, don't quote me on this one, but I believe it's the number of minerals that are present within the gem. Really? Um, so, very, very rare. Um, the fact that we very seldom them see it here on Jewelry Maker. But yes, if you if you are into your crystal healing, um, Auralite is apparently very powerful because you've got 23 different minerals present within. And so quite fascinating. We rarely ever, ever, ever see it. Imagine a little bit of, um, a little bit of, say, strawberry quartz, your sargonetic quartz. Imagine a little bit of your fluorite and your amethyst. Here we go. Here's the list of the 23 minerals that are present within Auralite. Wow. I know. Wow. Oh, the colour's just stunning. Never been lower than 1999. I'm going to show you to a price that it has been to. Titanite. Le, le, some of these I can't even say. Uh, Lepidocrosite. Hematite. Magnetite. Pyrite. Sphalerite. Yeah, gold. 
copper, nickel, platinum, iron, silver. Never been lower than 17.99. How about today? Wow, this is amazing. When you, when you look at that list, you kind of appreciate just how fascinating and amazing Mother Nature actually is. And you are an instant gem collector. I agree with you, Ross, because you've got 23 different minerals present in one stone. It's, it's a miracle of nature, isn't it? We're a brand new low price tag and we're not even stopping there, says Ross. We've got 70 of these available. We are under instruction to clear. The birthday stock is landing. I can't believe we're in April, can you? This year has gone whoosh, crazy how fast this year has gone my granddaughter's three months old oh my god no yeah i well, mean it feels like yesterday she was born i know and it just this year has gone phew. flown by 9.99 we need the locations within the vault because literally your birthday stock is 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 arriving it's landing um each and every single day we need those locations we don't have i've always said this we don't have an expanding vault um, and quite literally, our, our warehouse manager gets very stressed out if he it starts getting a bit too busy in there. Um, we've got brand new jadeite chips. I don't really want to call them chips because they are more nuggets. Um, if it may be jadeite's been out of your budget in the past, this is an ideal opportunity for you to get hold of it because because they are effect effectively smaller free forms, much more affordable. Shall I bring you another gemstone, which is, uh, I, I love saying it, phos phosidorite? Phosphosiderite. Phosphosiderite. That sounds better, the way you said it. Phos Phosphosiderite. Phos I have to say it twice. Phosphosiderite. Is that right? I d uh, yeah. I don't know. I just mime it. Phosphosiderite. <laughs> I'll say it really fast then. Um, beautiful ultraviolet gemstone. I love it. It's all about your opaque, uh, opaque beauty. See, it's some gemstones, of course. It's clarity and dispersion and fire. Uh, your phosphosiderite is, is much like sort of your turquoises and your howlites and your magnesites and your jadeite, really, where you actually have that level of opacity, sometimes patterning and colour, colour, colour. £12.99. pence. I mean, imagine this in your marlers. I think this would be absolutely Oof. beautiful, alongside something like jet. This colour, oh, you've got all of my favourite colours. I love the different hues of purples. And You're wearing purple today. I, I like it. Is it purple or is it pink? Um... Lilac? Is it lilac? -y? Yeah. Pinky purple. Yeah, you suit purples. Thank you. You do, you suit purples. I, I just saw myself in the monitor and thought I looked like I got up at 4am. No, you, <laughs> you definitely don't. Sorry, don't. everyone. No, you definitely, definitely don't. 4am. <laughs> there should only be one 4 o'clock in everybody's day and that's not in the morning. <laughs> that's true. Um, um, oh, never been under £10 today. How many do we have, Ross? 40 of these. Maybe this is the first time that you're introducing phosphosiderite, see, phosphosiderite into your actual uh, stash and collection. Um, when you get it home, it's a really beautiful, almost like a creamy stone. If you could imagine like a black currant ice cream, it's something like that, really deliciously creamy. Ooh. Or a sorbet, yes. Ooh, I'm yeah. I know, I'm going to make people hungry first thing in the morning. What is that price? We said we were going to be ridiculous, Ross, but 5 99 for phosphosiderite. He is rock and roll Ross. <laughs> Where's this come from? Who was co who's called you rock and roll Roscoe? Oh, self-taught. So, okay, yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Oh, fair enough. Um, much like Director Adam, we, uh, he likes to call himself Sexy Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy Humble Adam. <laughs> oh, dear. No, no, that, 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 that did definitely come from the team, didn't it, Adam? just so people don't don't judge you. <laughs> um, you just feel you're happy to roll with it, aren't you? Have you got a nickname, Debbie? Deb, usually. Deb? Yeah, no, I re no one re ever calls me Debbie, usually. It's Debs or Deb. Debs or Deb. Mm. What's your nickname? That's a good texting topic. Have you got a nickname, Dan? <clears throat> All I my kids have got nicknames. All my animals have got nicknames. I rarely... Call. Mind you, my dad was Irish and he called everyone had a nickname and I think I get it from him. But uh -huh. I just call like Daisy's Daisy, but I call her Lloydie, don't even ask. Um, I've got a dog called Anushka and I call her Nunu. And then, ah. yeah, so everyone's got a name. See, Brutus, do you know what we call Brutus? Pig. Oh. Because he does look like a does little... He, go? he looks like a little bat pig, doesn't he? <laughs> so I call him Pig. <laughs> Hello, Pig. Hello, little piggy. Um, stay where you are. Those phone lines. Gold, sheen, abs Oh, my goodness me. 
But do you know what? This isn't just... I mean, have I got the right strand? Because it's not just gold sheen. It's also mahogany. Yeah, faceted into your ovals. This is so beautiful. Um, we're already at a silly price tag, frankly. To, with obsidian, um, the colours that you see equates to how quickly it actually cooled uh, during its formation. But you've actually got a double whammy here because you've actually got the deep mahogany colour running through that wonderful black and then the golden sheen, you know, that like metallic galaxy-like sheen that occurs within the gemstone. We're not even stopping at £9.99. It's beyond golden sheen. It's actually mahogany golden sheen in my eyes, graduated, so beautiful, look at that. It's like a wonderful antique piece of wood furniture, but with, uh, like I said, a galaxy of, uh, of sparkle, totally and utterly natural, seven pounds and 99 pence. I love that. I was gonna say it reminded me of smoky quartz, and then I saw the close up picture, and it's, it's better, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's got like all patterns in yeah, each it's one. Yeah, beautiful. I, lo I love your mahogany obsidian, but the fact that you've actually got sort of elements of the galaxy gold yes. within there too. Oh, oh, we're not even stopping there. That could be our texting topic. What's your nickname? What's your See, Willow, um, my eldest, we, I've got to break the habit for Willow's nickname. What is it? Because I re realise I'm shouting in a supermarket. <laughs> And people do look at me funny now. And even she's actually said, I don't like people calling me that now, Mummy. I was like, okay, I must stop it. So Willow, we call her Willie. <laughs> so you're in a web you're in a you're in a supermarket. <laughs> Willie! <laughs> Willie! <laughs> and I do get funny looks. <laughs> I can beat that. We call my Shih Tzu, who's called Snoopy Booby. Oh god, thank goodness you said that. Because oh, I was just wondering where you were going to go with it. My daughter called him that when he was a puppy. <laughs> and now when I shout it in the park, Booby, she goes, don't call him that. I said, it's your fault. Yeah, Booby. Booby. But it's quite cute, isn't it? So we've got a Willie and we've got a Booby. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we're going even lower. Come on, clear the vaults. Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe you can shop ahead. Um, we haven't seen this beautiful gemstone in absolutely ages, particularly in your golden sheen. Uh, brand new, lowest ever price tag. This would look amazing alongside though, jadeite, don't you think? I, I'm, I'm, almost, I'm almost reluctant to call them chips and nuggets because they're more irregular slices, you know, they're quite large sizes. Um, but don't you think, alongside your jadeite, £4.99. pence. Again, wow. lovely combination, lovely earthy tones, especially with the addition of your jadeite green. It's coming up at the, in about 20 minutes' time. 20 minutes time, so not too long to wait. Um, got a, you can shop ahead, great quantity. I've got 150, but going lower than the price that you'll see. Morning, Lorna, Alison, hello to you, West Midlands, hello to you, Lincolnshire, Berkshire, Janice, uh, Caroline, Jane, Tina, Helen, Ali, well done. Should we do another under five auction on the next, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. In beautiful eyelight. Um, my favourite nickname, my dad used to call me Baby B. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, Dad used to call me Baby B because my surname was Barker, so I was Baby Barker. Yeah, and I used to love that. I used to love that. Still do. Here we go. Beautiful eye light. Totally natural. Oh, you wow. have said it, Ross. Did you? You didn't realise the <laughs> shape, did you? Yeah. Well, we can't go back now, can we? Like a plaster, he says, let's, <laughs> let's rip it right off. Okay. <laughs> £4.99. pence. I love Iolite, and it's so distinctive in its colour, isn't it? It's really distinctive. I've got an Iolite ring, and I just, I got it from our sister channel years ago, and just because I like the colour, I thought it was so unusual. Yeah. And you don't often see people wearing it no. in jewellery. No. So it's a really good talking point. I just love the colour. It always gets noticed, doesn't it? Yeah. Because it is quite distinctive. You know, really, uh, and this is no disrespect to Tanzanite, but we were like, oh, Tanzanite, the colour, 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 colour. But I actually find I like colour more, more hypnotic, I think. That's a really good word. You know, it is hypnotic. And yeah, it's, more um, mystical. Mi yeah, mystical and different. It's blue, but not quite, says Adam. Yeah, I totally get it. I totally get where you're coming from. But, um, of course, it's highly pleochroic, so you'll get flashes of pinks and mauve colours within. It's never been under £5. Hello, Josephine. My dad never called us our real names. Uh, Pauline, Pauline was Harry. Enid was Appy. Joe, you, was Titch. And Pete was Bill. I, Enid was Appy. And why were you Titch? 
Why, why are you with your tit? Uh, are you petite? Is that what it is? You petite? Ah, I like that. My mum's only five foot one and I call her Diddy one. <laughs> um, Diddy one. Hello, Miss Janet. With the surname Ray, you can imagine the nicknames I had at school. Um, there was a, a volunteer at my hospital who called me Alice in Wonderland. Aww. No, I like that. I like that one. Alice in Wonderland. That is lovely. That's cute. I call my granddaughter yeah. Milky. <laughs> Don't let that stick. Because, you know, she drinks Milky. Um, so it will change. As, as she gets older, there'll be another. You know, she won't be 15 and I'll be calling her that. Clementine's the most beautiful name, too. Most beautiful name. Clemmy. Yeah. Yeah, but I still call her Milky, and Milky. everyone else does. Milky, yeah. <laughs> Milky. Tiggy is Tiggy, Tigatron. Yeah, that, yeah. Tigatron, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Tig Tigster, we call her all those kind of things. Make sure you check out your baskets on this one. I like that Alice in Wonderland. So do That's I. Really sweet. Hello, Janet, by the way. Hi. Wave to Janet. Morning, Janet. Janet, our oh. lovely Janet. She's always very supportive and lovely. Mwah. Mwah. Extra kisses to you then, Janet. Or oh, should we call you Alice from now on? Um... <laughs> Are we doing this, Ross? There are only 14 because you've actually shopped ahead on this one as well. Don't blame you. Wouldn't this be lovely? Again, wouldn't this be lovely? Look how excited I got then. Um, wouldn't this be lovely alongside the jadeite? Ooh. And I might even throw a bit of bronzite in there. Look, from the first hour, we've made the most amazing kit. <gasps> is that turquoise? That is turquoise. I love it. And we have permission to clear it from the vault. Wait, hang on, turquoise at £7.99. pence. <coughs> Excuse me. Carry on with the theme, though. There's 12 of these left. Let's take it under five pounds. Don't expect all, ta all turquoise to be under five pounds, because obviously it shouldn't. Ross is being frankly ridiculous. <laughs> Ross, what's your nickname? Roscoe, Rossi, and what? Murdster. <laughs> oh, that's your surname, isn't it? Murdster. What's yours, Adam? Apart from sexy Adam. Sexy, humble Adam, right, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bam Bam. Oh, uh, it's really cute, isn't it? Bam Bam. I love that. We had a bunny called Bam Bam. Oh. So I remember telling Adam and he was like, oh, I like Bam Bam. Bam Bam, that's from the Flintstones. Yeah, it? we had, we had, we had uh, um, Pebbles and Bam Bam, the two bunnies. Pebbles. Um, let's bring you up. Ooh. Look at all of this. Wowzers, 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 wowzers. I mean, you know, normally we'd say multi-buy. Oh, multi-buy for the most amazing Marla style necklace. You won't need to multi-buy on this bundle. It is huge. Um, your beautiful gold is, a, it is your pyrite. Oh, I've referred to it in the past, obviously, as fool's gold. Um, an amazing, beautiful, beautiful gemstone, which forms in a, a, a very dramatic cubic crystal structure alongside onyx. I love onyx silky liquid black luster and you're getting all of those strands i mean that is what 12 mil 10 mil 8 mil and 4 have i said that right yeah i mean that's going to make 12 10 8 6 and 4 oh five strands it would be the most amazing well you'd probably you probably wouldn't be able to use her all in a, in, in a marla style necklace you could probably make a few couldn't you debbie yeah you can make sweets of jewelry and also they're quite unisex so you Debs. could make cufflinks you could make your corded bracelets you know with your leather cord oh, and nice. like maybe a larger one and two smaller ones either side oh yes what about alongside these wouldn't that be lovely can you put beads onto those? I've not seen those before. Could you yeah. hang it off as a charm? I think so. Yeah, because you've got uh, you've got somewhere to thread onto. Oh, amazing! So you could. I'm I'm slightly gutted that these have been launched without me because I've been pitching these for th literally three years. They are so on trend. They're, They're everywhere. 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 And they're expensive. Everywhere. Yeah. I've yeah. seen them with like a sterling silver charm for over a hundred pound for a bracelet, and it's absolutely. cord. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And they are sterling silver as well, the little beads on the end. Oh. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Shall we do? Shall we stick with the obsidian? The ropes are coming up in one more auction. You've got till nine o'clock to make your confirmations within this hour. Um, gold and obsidian in the sources. This is beautiful and actually doesn't look like the stone 
um, as we would know it. Anyway, we're going to go straight down to it. Um, because look, because they are more slender and cut into your saucer-like shape, um, I never thought I'd say this, but you can almost see there's a translucency to your obsidian. Yeah. What on earth is that price tag? One pounds and 99 pence. Obsidian, uh, in terms of the popularity, well, it's been around for, for, for thousands and thousands of years. They used to polish obsidian in medieval times because it has such a high luster and use it as mirrors. So that's what they oh, use wow. as mirrors. Um, if we bring it to the sort of current era, those of you that Game of Thrones fan, of course, will know about obsidian and uh, will probably have heard it um, referred to as dragon's glass. Yes, oh, if yeah. you're a Game of Thrones, then you know what we're, uh, uh, what we're referencing. £1.99, you know that's nuts. Again, I'd be using this alongside alongside the jade out. What do you think? Oh, that's gorgeous together. Just as spacers, that'd be stunning. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, now, one more auction until I bring you the rope. We have set a lot of prices. This one, triple A grade, lapis lazuli, totally and utterly natural um whoever whichever producer played this last took it far too low boss has just said to me <laughs> yeah they're two millimeters look at the intensity of that color oh oh look at the sparkle yeah i mean everything about this is so right the color is amazing it's you know it's the idyllic color of your um, of your lapis lazuli, then you have those dustings, of course, um, of your pyrite. And I, I love it. Ross is singing in my ear. He's singing that song, that Vincent van Gogh song, Starry, Starry Night. Keep going, Ross. Come on. Paint <laughs> your palette blue and grey. Look out on a summer's day. Yeah, that's not actually the song. This is Starry Night. That's the difference. Um, isn't it beautiful? And this is totally and utterly natural AAA graded lapis lazuli. You can see that, uh, uh, you know, normally we describe it as a cobalt blue, but for me, that's an electric blue. Oh, it is an electric blue. That is an absolutely stunning strand. Oh, I, we're not even stopping here. Some of the best quality lapis lazuli I think I've brought to air in a very long time. We're not even stopping where? $12.99? Not even stopping there. Oh my goodness, that, I mean, look at that. It is that in a gemstone, isn't it? It is. It is Vincent van Gogh's gemstone almost. If you put some citrine or some gold spaces in there, that could be your representation in jewelry, couldn't it? I love it. Use, use Vincent van Gogh as an inf inspiration. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Did I just hear, did I just hear, Ross, you say they've actually found the point where this painting was, 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 was from where this painting was, uh, was yeah. created? How amazing is that? Adam was just saying, gosh, you could do a whole collection, couldn't you, using uh, sort of Vincent van Gogh, I think, in particular, as an inspiration, because he was so wonderful with colours. Yeah. And then you could have um, a picture of, um, uh, that it was inspired by on your craft yes. store. And then you could do your Gustav Klent. Then oh, you could do yeah. your Monet. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I love this idea. £7.99 pence only, two millimetres, natural triple A grade, Sari Sang at Lapis Lazuli. Helen Lorna, Alan Shawline, Anne Pamela. Hello to you, uh, Tamina. Uh, Sonika, you're there as well. New customers getting involved at $7.99, an absolute giveaway deal. It's, you know, you can get lapis lazuli, which has been submerged in a dye. There's nothing wrong with that at all, as long as it's declared. Um, this didn't need that treatment. It was all there on offer from Mother Nature herself. The cords are coming your way in a few moments' time. You've got the first... Well, the premier um, opportunity to get hold of that beautiful Type A Burmese Jedi in. I, I don't want to call them chips or nuggets because there's so much more than that. Um, they're coming up anyway within this hour. How many did I have of these? 30. Oh, there's only 15 of them left. You're loving it too. Susie, Cynthia, Gabrielle, Alan, Tracy, well done. Check out your baskets. Um, and I'm going to move on to... Now, there's 150 of these. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to I'm just going to tell you. Yeah, three years ago, I pitched the idea to our buying team and said, I really want to launch these corded 
Monica Veneda inspired slider bracelets. You know we do the sterling silver ones, but I wanted us to do it with the cord. Because, yeah, I know a lot of you can macrame, but not everybody can. And you are guaranteed that perfection from end to end. They're quick, simple makes, and I knew we could get them at a super deal. Um, now, they were launched on another show. That doesn't really matter. But three years later, I'm actually bringing them to air. And you're not just getting the one. You're about to get five. So yeah, um, I'm so glad that these have finally materialized onto your screens because it's, it's probably, in terms of product, from thought to, to being on air, it has to be one of the longest standing um, that I can certainly recall. But th th I love them, I think they're absolutely perfect. You know, really quick makes, I know, I know because there's always gonna be people that will say, I can do that myself. Yeah, but not everybody can. Not everybody can. And more to the point, have you got? To, have, not everybody's got the time to do macrame. Um, so um, this is the kind of thing that you could literally just attach to, and away you go. Hello, Miss Janet. I got these arrived this week. Beautiful quality. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. They are amazing quality. Listen, I can macrame, but sometimes I forget where I am, and then it goes off, and you've got a slight. There's one little little knot that you've done incorrectly, and it sticks out like a sore thumb. And if you are a little bit of a perfectionist that's going to bother you well these are macrame to perfection um, and they're just basically sliders they're sliders bracelets waiting for you to attach to so think about maybe some of your wonderful wire work um, your demo actually coming up in the nine o'clock hour you Absolutely. could customize it couldn't you pearls would be gorgeous with those hey pearls pearls mm. would be amazing can you see just at the top they've got a little loop almost like replicating a jump ring. That's what you would attach to. And then obviously you have the slider itself, which will obviously be a lot easier for you to pull. Uh, there we go. Uh, and tighten like so. This is sterling silver that you actually have on the end. Nice little, little finishing touch. Now you get it in the different colors. I've been pitching to sell these or bring these to air for literally three years. Um, and then all of a sudden they're here, which is just amazing. Uh, because I do think there's a real place for them. They've only been on your screens uh, once previously. Launched two weeks ago. We think this is going to be the last, uh, last showing because they've been that popular. 400 flew. Oh, wow. Flew out the door. We, we only have 150 for you this morning. And we're straight away down to 122 because people have actually shopped ahead. Uh, beautiful, beautiful electric blue. Remember, these are only going to be available until 9 o'clock, but I think more realistic will be the actual sellout that they're going to be. Sterling silver, not base metal, uh, metal components. Again, I know that many of you can actually make these, but my thought was, how quick and easy would it be, Deb, just to attach a a charm or a gemstone or a connector. Absolutely. And you know, you've got to factor in your time. Mm -hmm. And if you're making to sell, it will take a good bit of time to make these. Yep. So then you have to add that onto your price. Yep. Um, you know, you're still making jewellery. Yep. You know, the best of us don't do really complicated things every single thing that we make. No. And, and sometimes simple is best. Yeah, absolutely. And gifts. That's what I was thinking. Yep. I would gift these to my friends. Hello, Sharon. I got these. They're so beautiful and well made. I, I can't macrame. So perfect for me. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Not everybody can. Not everybody can do macrame. No. Um, listen, I say I can, Sharon. I don't do it very well. Because I get sidetracked and I get, you know, distracted. So my knot <laughs> knotting all goes a bit wayward and whatnot. So, um, and frankly, I don't have the time. I don't have the time to sit down and actually do it. Um, I think these are going to sell out. And if there are any left, I'm going to be joining you on this one. We're not even stopping here. Bearing in mind, I'm just going to turn this around. Bearing in mind that you do get all five colours. The phone lines have gone absolutely nuts. I don't blame you. Um, that's working out at seven pounds each. Just each, just for kicks, right? Not right now because you need to secure them. But have a look on Monica Veneda how much they are. Have a little look on put Monica Veneda braided bracelets. There we go. 
Um, there's lots of designers, but she's the one that always springs to my mind. Um, have a little look at the price tags that her braided bracelets actually are. And that was, li these are literally the photographs that I shared with Caroline um, about three years ago. Here we go. Uh, the linear friendship bracelet, you can see the details of them there, remarkably similar. They actually do do the, um, the square knot like these as well. Uh, but look, they're all about £100 plus. I know. All about £100 plus. You can get it with the gold finish. There's ones with little, little, little uh, um, charms as well. There's loads of different varieties of them, but they're all a triple figure price tag. We're already at £34.99. That's working out at £7 each. And I've shared some kind of information before. Let's just say we have quite close, how do I word this? Without getting, to, relations with said brand very close relations yeah. with said brand you're at 24 pounds and 99 pence that's five oh. pounds per <sighs> bracelet My all goodness. you need to do is attach beading thread silk or your sterling silver components all you need is the sterling silver spaces that we do or a charm <coughs> excuse me yeah and they're over 100 pounds to buy yeah i've been making them for myself <laughs> yeah and me Right, we're under five pounds each because you are getting all five. How about today, for this hour, <gasps> I say, four pounds each. If there are any of these left, I'm going to be snapping them up as well because my nieces would, my niece would love this, my cousins would love this, my children would absolutely love this, my friends would love this. Hang on, hang on, you said four pounds, why is there a 60 second clock ticking away? There was 150 of these at the beginning. This is only ever their second airing. 77 of these are left. I knew it, I knew it. I'm, I, I'm, I know this is not a nice trait, Debbie, but I am s quite smug right now. <laughs> I've been saying that we should have been selling these. Yeah, yeah. I've been saying these should have been on, uh, we should have been bringing these, because they are the perfect component for us as jewellery makers. They're the perfect component, and to buy them yeah. is so expensive. Like to buy the finished jewellery. Are they going cheaper than 19 99 Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is only one downside to this, though, Debs. We won't get We're any. We're going to miss out on it. <laughs> There. Hello, Katie, Maeve. Hello to you, Denvisha, Margaret, Wendy, Charmaine, Valerie, Pamela, Virginia, Barbara, Leah, Deborah, Johnny and Julie, Barbara, Margaret, Cheryl. Hello to you, Susan, Julie, Carol, Debbie, Susie, Audrey. Everybody's going to pay the final low price tag. $19.99, oh. oh, go on then, $16.99. Uh, but Roscoe says, how about... 14 pounds 99 pence that is basically what three 2.99 each 2.99 per slider bracelet they're so beautiful you cannot go wrong i mean 2.99 is wrong <laughs> i yeah. just i mean it's not wrong but when you look at what it's being charged for in other places i mean yeah even if it aren't sort of your high street shops you wouldn't yeah, be paying anywhere absolutely. near absolutely price tag anywhere near look how lovely they are on the wrist they just, they just look great. I think really fashionable, something for the gents and the ladies. Yeah. You know, you can, you got, you got nice little sterling silver components on there as well. I mean, absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Um, how many of you have got connectors within your stash that you don't yeah. know what yet to do with them? Yeah, exactly. You literally just attach your connectors. You could do a little bit of chain mail. You could do a little C beading. You could do a little bit of um, soldering. You could attach your gemstones to this. Yep. Uh, it's, it's limitless, isn't it? Well, the ready-made mounts that we've got in the masterclass, you could attach to this. Yes. That would be really nice. Ooh. The, the tab setting, yeah. Yes, that's a great idea. You could definitely attach them to these because you don't need to be a metalsmith. No, which I'm not, so that's no, great. A lot of people aren't. Yeah, great idea. But they are going to sell out. Oh, I'd be really quick. I'm gravitating towards this blue. The blue. Have you got a favourite colour? Pink. I love the pink. You like the pink? Yeah. You like the pink? They are beautiful, aren't they? Again, I know many of you can actually macrame, which is fantastic. You can make them yourself, but not everybody can. And not more to the point, not everybody's got the time to exactly. actually make them, especially at £2.99. I mean, I can macrame, but I would buy those. <laughs> yeah, because you're saving yourself time. And they're lovely. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And saving yourself sterling silver. I mean, £2.99, you'd have to buy the, the, the actual little, little decorative beads. They're not crimp covers. 
They're actual beads. You've got 21 minutes to secure these. Probably the last time you're going to see them. Again, Caroline, I told you we should have been selling these. I, I've been saying it for ages. <laughs> ages and ages and ages. We need to bring these to us. I think they'll be of genius. I think be, our jewelry makers will absolutely love them. And you have. You clearly, clearly have. Um, there we go. Three, three years. It was worth the wait, though, wasn't it? <laughs> it was definitely as if they took three years. Why did they take three years? I don't. I, yeah, true. True. I, 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 I don't. Oh, there we are. Anyway, better late than never. Better late than never. It's been in the planning, in the pipeline um, <laughs> um, for that length of time. And pandemic and things yeah, like that, shipping I guess, have probably had an impact as well. Um, well done, everybody. All five, you haven't got to choose a colour. Um, hello to you. Good morning, Jane. Thanks, JM. Uh, just had to multi-buy. Great birthday and Christmas gifts. Uh, but mine will be for my tutor group who leave this year's uh, after GCSE. That's, That's lovely. That's lovely, yeah. Jane. That's lovely. That's lovely. Yeah. Quality present. Yeah, and they're going to love them as well. Yeah. So that's what, 16-year-olds? They're going to absolutely love those, Jane. Yeah. Aren't you thoughtful? I never had a teacher like you. <laughs> never had teachers like you. Amazing. Well done, well done, well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Talking of teachers, do you know, I had to have a conversation with, uh, um, uh, with Willow's, well, Willow's head teacher the other day because she keeps coming home with these books, Debbie. And oh, I'm I like, saw that. did you see it? That's nonsense. Mine never had that. Fun. Honestly. Nonsense. So she came home with a book and it's talking about, it was like, uh, talking, honestly, poetry that most adults wouldn't be able to understand. Mm. My little five-year-old's been given a book to read and digest. And I had a question that they were saying, oh, no, that's the reading age, that, the level that she should be at. I was like, she's five she's five years old she's not going to understand what metaphors are and no. things like that anyway digressing ever so slightly <laughs> but yeah you know what jane she actually came home my little five-year-old came home and she was walking towards the walking towards the school gates like this right and i'm like what have you got in your bag she went it's my book mummy a <laughs> brian cox book <laughs> brian cox i'm not even joking anyway totally got off on tangent i'm like <laughs> totally have Brian Cox book, uh, £14.99 pence only to get hold of these. Are you looking at me in disbelief, but it's actually well, true. In my, when mine were little, it was Biff and Chip. That's what and the magic said. And the magic key. I yeah. mean, what, since when has it gone to Brian Cox and William Shakespeare or whatever that exactly. was? Exactly. Precisely. Okay. Precisely. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, gosh. Go, I, go, let Daddy read that one to you. <laughs> I can't even say some of those words in that book. <laughs> anyway, stay where you are on those phone lines. Now, at 10 o'clock, we are going to be joined by the fantastic Dave Troth for the return of Grand Digirite. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. We've got the most amazing, amazing uh, masterclass coming up in the next hour as well. Uh, yeah, Grand Digirite, back on your screens from 10 o'clock. Hi guys, I really hope that you can join me for this uh, extremely special showcase. There's a lot of developing news uh, in, in specific uh, regards to this gemstone. Of course, we're talking about gem grade Madagascan Grandidiorite, one of the most important, the most important mines uh, and gemstones in the last hundred years. Uh, and with everything that is happening right now in Bangkok and indeed in Jaipur, we wanted to offer you this very special collection of gem grade Grandidiorite. So exciting to see Grand Digirite back on our screens, one of the world's rarest and certainly most beautiful gemstones. Um, leading our way towards this amazing brand new premier strand of Burmese Type A Jade. I don't want to call them chips or nuggets because they are actually so, so much more than that. That's coming your way as well within this hour. But first, if you mention Zircon and it comes from a location called Ratnakiri, uh, understand that you are sourcing it from the world's premium location. Cambodian zircon is like, uh, like I always say, Columbia, uh, Columbia to an emerald or Mogok to a ruby. That's the pinnacle that you're about to source. These are totally natural mother nature gemstones. They've had just a little bit of heat treatment. I don't want to uh, sort of mislead in any way, shape or form, but what I was referencing is the fact that they are mother nature produced. Um, so, don't misinterpret for those of you that are new maybe to the gemstone world. These are not cubic zirconias. These are a genuine gemstone. In fact, the oldest gemstone 
um, that has been created on our beautiful planet. A zircon is known for its double refraction. So what that basically means, when light enters into a diamond, it will bring you fire and dispersion. You can see that fire, can't you, um, on, in your zircons right now. But when light enters into a zircon, it splits that light, and it means you get double the dispersion, double um, the fire and scintillation that you would actually see in a diamond. Far more performance within zircon than any diamond could even compare to. But you know the one thing that really, really is pulling on my heartstring right now? The fact that these are cushions. Cushion cut Ratnakiri Zircon. They are just breathtakingly beautiful and very difficult and complex to cut. You can think about it, incorporating curves and straight lines into one faceted stone. I mean, Debbie, we're about to do your signet rings. I was just thinking that. Were you? Yep. Great minds and all that. Is this something that I could use in your, yes. in your, in your demo? And who's going to not know that it's not a diamond? <laughs> Precisely. It's rarer than a diamond. And I really love the story of this. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're saying that's one of the oldest gemstones in the world, and I love talking about that. And, and I've got, again, I've got a ring. Not that I've got a lot of jewellery um, with one of these Me too, in. Yeah. And it's really beautiful. It, yeah. it flashes all the colours in the sunlight. Yeah. And it always gets noticed, doesn't yeah. it? So whenever I, I've got a Ratnakiri Zircon Solitaire that I, again, bought off our sister channel many years ago, um, more people comment on the Zircon than actually do on, on sort of my diamonds. They yeah. do, because like you said, it's, it's more fiery, yeah. more scintillating, more dispersive um, than any diamond could compete. But yeah, this gemstone literally dates back 4.4 billion years. I always reference it as the very beginning of beauty because you think when our, our earth began to spin, that's before any sunset or sunrise, any, any work of art, as we were talking about, Vincent van Gogh, Ratnakiri, or rather Zircon, um, actually started. So it is the very first thing really um, or vision of beauty that the world ever ever saw and I find that oh, just I love so that. fascinating mm. totally all exclusively mother nature clever marketing on the cubic zirconia front to actually call it zircon mm. um, but unfortunately that has been detrimental to this gemstones uh, um, well it gets, mis it gets misunderstood mm. um, maybe as a created stone and it isn't created it's mother nature created we're getting cushion cuts for 9.99 I mean this is going to work for things like what your milliput it's going to work mm -hmm. with things like your silver um your silver clay yep. and your your metal smithing it's yep. going to work with your gemstone setting yeah what about dremeling into your pearls we've got the dremel today oh yes that would be lovely wouldn't it you know the large pearls that we've been doing recently the fireball pearls those one of these in there oh, oh yes please i mean that's literally hundreds and hundreds of pounds stay where you are on those phone lines you have what just 12 minutes i've only got four left of your ratnakiri zircon um it's it's probably going to be its last show uh, airing on our screens so good luck good luck you have 12 minutes to make those confirmations or until stocks last okay i know on this occasion i want you to not necessarily pay attention to what our graphics actually say because I, I almost object to calling any jadeite, any natural type A jadeite, a chip or a nugget. I know that's effectively what they are, but in our head, we've almost been programmed to think that this is something maybe that's been cut off a stone or um, is almost like a byproduct. Do you see where I'm coming from? These aren't byproducts. They're a great way of actually getting beautiful, beautiful textures, incorporating those textures to your designs in natural type a jadeite but for those of you that maybe have watched the jadeite shows um, and it's been beyond your budget well i'm about to give you the opportunity to purchase at the most affordable price tag it's up next <music> Debbie, you've been working with us in this last hour. I have. Oh, you could, like, in an hour, you've whipped that, well, less than, you've whipped that up. I've had loads of years of experience of working quickly. Um, can I say that I wouldn't call these, what do you do call them, nuggets? I, do, I, I don't want to call them chips Ch or nuggets. They're like, to me, they're like little pebbles. Pebbles. Where's my camera? Much better. There? 
Oh, you can see them. You've got two ovals in your ear. Yeah, and look, and my earrings, like they're like little, really substantial. And then you can just, um, I just did like a rosary link here. But if I just turn it round, look at all the different colours yeah. that were in there. And that's natural, Debbie. And I've got loads left out of the strand. Uh huh. Aren't they beautiful? I really like that they can go with silver, rose gold, gold. I think it's one of those gemstones that just goes with any metal colour. And do you know what? Uh, Ross is just saying we have done jadeite a massive disservice. So I'm almost glad Dave isn't here right now. <laughs> because we can't call this gemstone a chip or a nugget. No. We can't do it. It's like a pebble. It's a, pe it's a pebble. Pebble's lovely. Pebble's lovely. Because, and I say that because of its rarity, because of its extreme value, not just here at Jewelry Maker, globally. You have got white jadeite, you have moss and snow jadeite, you have little rivers of imperial jadeite running through these, and they're not polymer infused, they're not dyed. This is natural type a Burmese jadeite. Now, I know there will be people that have watched maybe during the jadeite showcases and opportunities. Look at that. Sorry, I've interrupted myself. Look at the quality of that green and also the translucency that you're seeing. Interrupted myself because I literally saw it on the back of my hand. But there are people that would have watched maybe the showcase and said, okay, that's, that's, I'm, that's out of my budget. And listen, it, is my, it has been mine as well um, up until certainly recent uh, acquisitions that I've got through Jewelry Maker itself. Other than that, I'd have never been able to purchase this gemstone. Um, but if it's been out of your budget at that given moment in time, I'm going to welcome this gemstone hopefully into uh, your family's legacy because we always mention legacy, heirloom, all of yep. those things that it comes to jadeite um, because this is going to the lowest ever price tag. Quite possibly the lowest price tag that you've actually seen Burmese jadeite um, on our screens here at Jewelry Maker, which is so exciting for me. I, th I like the idea that everybody can, yes. can get it um, and make with it. Have you got any idea what this is going to? No idea. Oh, really? Okay. Ross says that I need to think of the lowest possible price and it will go lower. Okay. I'll be interested to see then. So is this going to be affordable for everybody? Hmm. Okay. Think about a price tag that jadeite should never be. Never. Ever. And be honest, be realistic. This is natural type A Burmese yeah. jadeite, 270 carats. I agree with you, Debbie. Look at, I mean, look at that luster. Oh, silky, beautiful. Very tactile. Yeah. Well, they say that. The Chinese actually said you should feel physically compelled to want to touch jadeite. Do they? Because I yes. do. Yes. Especially this shape. Yeah. More so than even the rounds. Yes, absolutely. It translates in Chinese, jadeite translates to heaven. This is the most historic gemstone that exists within their culture. They value it higher than any other commodity that is on our planet. Um, and yeah, translates to jadeite. This is a gemstone that they literally gift or, or, or actually uh, uh, place on deceased loved ones to keep them connected with them when oh. they actually pass on. Loads of amazing sentiments behind this gemstone. It's uh, the gem of moral integrity, which I just love that about it. We're at 10 pence per carat. You can get jade, right? Don't be fooled by this as well, because jade in particular is one of those markets which there's uh, uh, you have to be have you have to have your wits about you. So, for example, you can, Jade is an umbrella title as well. So, aventurine can be under that title. Uh, technically, is it jadeite? No, no, it's not. But jade, you can have nephrite jade, and you can have uh, um, jadeite, as in jadeite jade. They aren't the same gemstone. They have two different chemical compositions. But because it is so valuable, uh, the Chinese in particular will actually describe it as a colour and it can be uh, you know, a route of sort of uh, being mis misled. You are sourcing genuine, natural Burmese type A jade. And then just to add to the confusion, there are different, uh, um, there are different treatments. So you can get dyed jade. It's still jade, but it's dyed. You can get polymer infused jade. It's still jade, but it's treated. Or you can get natural, which is obviously where the extreme value is. And that's what you're getting right now. 270 carats, and we're currently at 10 pence per carat. And we're not stopping there. We are not stopping there. Here we go. This will explain it to you. 
So different types of jadeite. Type A, no treatment is observed, may be polished with a, a colourless wax. Type A jadeite is completely natural and is the most valuable and rarest type of jade. Never mind the B, the C, B and C, there we go, bleaching, impregnation, colour dyeing, colour consistency, uh, usually heated to aid the absorption of the dye. None of that has gone on. You are getting type A jadeite. We don't bring you anything other. How about we break a certain price wow. barrier? <laughs> 20 pounds. Just, just for those people that may be new to this gemstone, this is not an agate or a, a, a jasper or, a, a, or a, a quartzite, which are much more plentiful. Jadeite is in the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. Just to put that into perspective, and I'm just going to read something, a, a, t a very short paragraph out of my book, to put that into perspective. There are over 4,000 minerals on our planet. Jadeite is, con is considered to be in the top 10 rarest and most valuable. 4,000 minerals, and you're sourcing one that is in the top 10, both rarest and also most valuable. That's amazing. It is, isn't it? Mm. Absolutely incredible. Dates back some 4,000 years. There is no, uh, uh, no gemstone, um, no precious metal that is considered to be more valuable than jadeite, in particular this location of jadeite, um, and we're under £20. And not stopping there. Now, there is 150 of these available. Um, I'd buy it just for that one. But then at the same time, I really like the paler colours too. So do I. Are you hearing this? Yeah, that's really amazing. I want these to go today because, I mean, Debbie, there's so much potential, isn't there? Especially with a strand like this. I mean, I obviously made the bracelet and I made the earrings and I'll, I'll actually tip out onto my beading mat. Just how much, look at that. How much I've got left um, from the strand because I think sometimes you can't process when you look at a strand how, you know, but look at, look at the colours. I mean, I've got some really dark ones in yeah, mine, but have. this is what's left after a bracelet and earring. So there's yeah. definitely a necklace there. 100% matching sweet. So you could do a matching sweet with this is, is yeah, is what and, I'm and saying. And we're currently 20. 20. Oh, okay, so it's going cheaper than this. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> it's going even lower. That's all natural. For this carat weight, type A, Burmese jadeite, Get it whilst you can. To my recollection, this is actually one of the only strands, and I don't want to call it chips and nuggets because in my head it's not. Let's call it pebbles. I think that's a much better description. Um, this is the only jadeite pebble strand that we've brought to air, that I recall anyway. I've not seen one. In a very long time. Mm. And we're at £14.99. If you've not... Again, if you've not heard of jadeite and or maybe process the real valuation, there's an ancient proverb that the Chinese say, gold has a value, jade is priceless. Here it is. Jade is one of two types of pure jade. Uh, the other is known as nephrite jade. Jadeite is much uh, rarer. This is what you're sourcing, the nephrite, and is therefore considered to be sin significantly more precious and valuable. As the Chinese proverb goes, gold has a price. Jade is priceless. We're at £14.99. Last week... Was it the 27th of March? Sunday. A week ago. You had some jadeite nuggets, apparently. Four by eight millimeter. Much smaller. <coughs> Four by eight, Ross is saying to me. 170 carats. You've got 100 carats extra on top. And we're at 14 pounds and 99 pence. There is a one minute clock because we are going to match the price of last week's strands, even though you are actually getting 100 carats more. We went under a certain magic price point. We're going to do that for you this morning, but we have far less quantity of them. They're bigger, um, so I, I guess that makes sense to have a smaller quantity um, than what you saw last week with our lovely Carol. Not £14.99 and 99 pence in 36 seconds. It is going lower. Um, for those of you that have maybe bought just the one or the two, I think you're going to be 
upping that quantity because I don't actually recall um, the last time I've actually seen J dye in anything other than, you know, so do you, you, you sort of your rounds. No. Um, or, and we've had the tubes and things like that. Yeah. We don't often actually see it in your more organic shapes. And I do li like my organic shapes. Yeah, me too. And I'm just imagining something like this, an organic shape put with a pearl. Oh, yeah. So you've got the difference there of the luster of the pearl, the, the, the shape of the pearl, and then the organic nature of these. I love think that would be beautiful. Absolutely love it. Can we just again, just to confirm, 270 carats of type A, natural, Burmese jadeite for £9. Wow! Oh, that's epic. That's really good. It is. It, it is. Yeah, it's really good. Like you said at the beginning of the auction, Deb, it, it, it's lovely to see everybody being able to get hold of this gemstone. I, I wouldn't own jadeite if it wasn't for jewellery maker. No, me neither. Because 100%. no, absolutely not. And I think it reminds me of when we used to like back in the day have lots of tanzanite and people were like, oh, there's loads of tanzanite. And we were like, but we won't always have it. No. And we didn't. And this is kind of the time for jadeite. Yeah, and then totally. you go oh, forward. We used to get it all the time. We used to get it all the time. Ah, considering tanzanite's as rare as it is yeah. and whatnot. And now do you see tanzanite to the same, to the same you don't. quantities that we used to? And I've got some beautiful pieces that I'm saving. And I think <laughs> that it's the same with jadeite because we used to draw jewelry maker there's a big world out there that don't know about jewelry maker absolutely and I just think that well personally I've got hold of this while I can me too oh gosh me too mm. and we'll look back on that occasion and, uh, and 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 that opportunity really and go thank goodness because that uh, Dave keeps saying it that window of opportunity yeah. is closing and we've got the benefit of hindsight having both worked yep. here for so long mm -hmm. It was exactly the same with the tanzanite. So I've got tanzanites in my special box now mm -hmm. that I wouldn't be able to afford now. No, nor me. I'm not too proud to admit it either. Smug face. Yes. <laughs> smug face, smug, smug face. face. <laughs> I mean, you know, ultimately, I also think, yes, the, the story and, of course, the price per, the value of the gemstone yeah. um, is, 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 is a bonus as well. But um, I think jadeite is one of the most beautiful stones. Really you've is. You've got this really fresh spring-like colour. Mm. Um, it, it, you do physically feel like you want to touch this gemstone. It's calming for me. Yeah, me too. I find it calming. I, I find that when I work with it, I just want to so just keep hold of it. Um, I don't know if it's the green. It's just, I believe you need to go to what you're drawn to, whether it be colour or... Yeah gemstones but this one I find calms me so that'll do for me you're not the only person to say that as well because Mark Mark guest design lovely guest designer Mark Smith um, he was saying the same he doesn't often have that kind of reaction to certain gemstones yeah. but with jade he does really yeah he says I don't have those kind of feelings or emotions about gemstones he likes it more visual I think would yeah. you agree Mark if you're watching right now um, but jade you have that you have that feeling and oh, and I totally get it I totally totally get it, it is one of those gemstones and yes, that, that, like I said, it was, it's been written about that uh, the Chinese said you should feel physically compelled to touch jadeite. And I think, yeah. I think we all do, um, even if it's subconsciously. 9.99. Yes, it's type A. Yes, it's natural. Yes, it's Burmese. We're going to keep the graphics on your screen because there are so many of you still in the process. We are three minutes past nine, so I'm being a bit naughty this morning. Um, we've extended the hour just so you can uh, secure our, your opportunities, and it's time for me to show off your makes in the wall of fame. <laughs> Here's that, isn't it? We were talking about, uh, sorry, uh, nicknames earlier on. No, so then, um, yeah. Um, uh, um, me in the park shouting, Booby, come Booby, on! Booby! And there's me uh, in the other park shouting, Willie. Imagine if we were in the park together. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh. starting us off this morning with the, uh, with the Wall of Fame is Kerry. Good morning, oh, Kerry. Oh, that's oh, I was admiring this, Kerry. It's absolutely gorgeous. How pretty that is. And the photography. Stunning. Hi, Jim. I brought some of these sterling silver bracelets a while back from you. Um, they have little loops on, which were excellent for wire wrapping these Peridot gemstones. With sterling silver featherweight head pins. I really enjoyed making it, and I hope you like it. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. Thanks, as always, for the beautiful gemstones and the inspiration. And that's from Kerry. 
uh, Chapel Lewis. It's beautiful. 248 is from uh, Michaela. Oh, that's amazing, oh, Michaela. Selene, that's wow. hard. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Hi to everybody. Here is my latest make. Um, it's a gecko, 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 gecko bead Cellini spiral necklace thanks sorry if I pronounced that wrong uh, thanks to Alison Tarry's DVD unfortunately I did not buy enough uh, kits to make a full necklace so I used the Geiko beads in the middle and then continued either side with 6-0 beads to finish it it turned out nice take care and that's Michaela well it's absolutely gorgeous 249 is from Vera Hello, Vera. Wow. Morning, jewelry maker. These are gorgeous turquoise earrings made using all sterling silver elements from JM. Thanks for being there. Jewelry making has seen me through, uh, through COVID. Thank you. Lots of love to you, Vera. They are absolutely beautiful. Number 250 is from Joe. Hello to you, Joe. Uh, hi, all. This week's entry is a polymer clay pendant with turquoise and antique findings. I love antique findings. Good luck, everybody, in the draw. And that's from Joe. Beautiful. Number 251 is from Judy. Hello to you, Judy. Love it. Absolutely gorgeous. I made this little piece uh, as part of a suite for my sister in law, including a pendant and earrings using silver clay um, and a slider, all purchased from JM. Uh, love all the inspiration you guys uh, give us. Uh, good luck, everybody. And that's from Judy. Judy, that's absolutely beautiful. I think I read that wrong then. Love all the inspiration you give us, jewelry makers. Sorry, not you guys. Um, good luck, everybody. That's from Judy. Judy, that's stunning. That's from Silver Clay. Uh, 252 is from Julia. Wow, Julia, that's absolutely amazing. Hi, all. This is my third piece in my iconic jewellery in history collection, followed on from um, Amberlynn and the Wallace Simpson collect, uh, necklace. Uh, this is my take on another Duchess of Windsor piece, her famous unmatched pearl earrings. I hope you like them. Good luck, everybody. And that's from Julia Tinsley. They're stunning. Absolutely beautiful. 253 is from Kim. Hello to you, Kim Hopkins. You've been busy, that's beautiful. Uh, hi, it's a suite of jewellery and silver plated base metal, bubble style mukai, all from Jewellery Maker. Good, lu good luck to everybody entering. Got my die cutting machine and kits today and we'll be trying them out later. Thank you for the price. Stay safe, everybody. And that's from lovely Kim. And then 254, last but by no means least, we have Alan. Morning, Alan. Hi, all. It's a spiral macrame bracelet featuring multicolored beryl, which I think is morganite. Uh, good luck to everybody entering. Thanks for the shows this week. Stay safe. That's Alan Hopkins. I would agree with you, Alan. That looks very morganite to me. Loving those. Check out your baskets on your beautiful jadeite. We've got so much to bring you. We've got your amazing kits with uh, Debbie. Just before we step into those kits, we have the last opportunity for you to get hold of that JM exclusive Dremel kit. There are 10 left, um, a JM exclusive deal. Join Debbie and I after this. Jewelry makers, join us for Battle of the Beads with Hannah and Monaco going head to head. Date, Saturday the 23rd of April. Location, the Village Solly Hall. An epic showdown you won't want to miss. Hi guys, I really hope that you can join me for this uh, extremely special showcase. There's a lot of developing news uh, in specific uh, regards to this gemstone. Of course, we're talking about gem grade Madagascan grandidiorite, one of the most important, the most important mines uh, and gemstones in the last hundred years. Uh, and with everything that is happening right now in Bangkok and indeed in Jaipur, we wanted to offer you this very special collection of gem grade grandidiorite. Hi, I'm Laura, I'm a sound therapist and I'm looking forward to coming on to the Jewellery Maker for you to have your own experience of these beautiful singing bowls. Singing bowls are used as part of meditation and yoga practice to enhance your clarity and state of mind. So I can't wait for you to join me to learn more about the power of these amazing tools.
Applying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. We've listened to you, your ideas, your bundles, your demos, your makes, your Jewelry Maker Appreciation Day, this coming Monday. Look who it is. Hello. These beautiful Debs. <laughs> I've got to get used to calling you Debs now because I always call you Debbie. Oh, that's okay. But Debs is better. Debs, I know. Debs. <laughs> or Deb. Um, or Oi. Anything you want. Oi. Really. I answer to Oi. Yeah. yeah. Oi. Mum. <laughs> I see the usual one. Oh, <laughs> as per usual, beautiful, beautiful jewellery. Thank you. I'm, I got all of this last minute because I'm actually covering from Cla for Claire today. Um, and Claire did demo how to solder these and how to set the gemstones. Yeah. So I've actually got the date for you. It was on the 4th of March. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see that demo from start to finish, if you go onto our YouTube and go to the 4th of March, you'll see Claire doing that. Um, but I am very in love with the General Fortiflex. Oh, um, yeah. I have a very similar tool that I use all the time. Um, and I'm going to show you some slightly different techniques of how to texture this and talk about it in the demo. Amazing. So um, this is last opportunity for you to get hold of this jewelry maker exclusive deal we only actually have a handful of them left and it was something that was agreed between uh dremel or bosch um and ourselves mm. uh to basically give you an entire package so um have we got that photograph then ross that we can actually show because it's i mean this is this is professional silversmithing and jewelry making now aren't we we're talking into yeah. a whole other league you're into your I'll tell you the main reason why you might need this if you've got a, a Dremel flexi shaft already is the pedal. The pedal makes all the difference. And when you are sanding, when you are stone setting, when you are flush setting with your Dremel flexi shaft, you just turn your Dremel, don't you, to a speed. Mm. And if you want to change the speed, you have to stop everything, reach up and turn mm. it again. Yeah. Now, when you've got a pedal, which is why professional jewelers use these, you are completely in control of the speed yeah of your whatever you're doing so that if you're not sure if you're going to especially with flush setting if you mm. go too deep then that's the end so if you're not sure you can come off the pedal and just be much more careful and also the hand piece to this set is so light and you can hold it like a pencil and you can get real yes. detail yeah so this is in my opinion only my opinion but a tool that you buy once Oh, yeah, a yeah. bit like your jeweler's bench and you know any of your jeweler's torch and all of those more expensive items you buy them once and you use them all the time yeah i mean dremel is a an internationally recognized name it's yeah. known for being the best and also can i just point out because it was mentioned when we first launched this that this was product uh, one of our viewers suggested this was discontinued 
it is not discontinued. There's an old, there's an old <laughs> model. An older model. This isn't it. This isn't it. No, yeah. definitely not. This is not discontinued, um, and that wouldn't really be something that jewelry maker would actually do. But um, in terms of the jewelry maker exclusive as well, the fact that you are getting all these different attachments. So, other than just sort of gemstone setting, what can I use my Dremel for? <gasps> Takes a deep yeah. breath. Are we ready? Steady. Go. Sanding. Yep. Polishing. Mm -hmm. Drilling. Yep. Gem setting. Mm -hmm. glass engraving, yep. metal engraving. Um, if you're into pyrography, you can get special ends for your pyro pyrography. I can't say it, pyrography. Um, I use mine every single day. You can use it for making marks, but mainly the polishing, which is what you do on every item that you metal smith with. Mm -hmm. um, if you need to drill um, your polymer clay pieces, yeah. if you need to drill your silver clay pieces, um, you can drill with uh, pearls with your Dremel. You just, and I think the good thing about Dremel is recognised. You know, you're getting quality, <coughs> but also is all the accessories that you can get for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. I was in. I was in that. I was in BQ yesterday. And I, was <laughs> at, I was I was trying to think of a different way. I was like, I'll just say it. Yeah. I was, and you can get all your accessories for there because it, it's, it's really functional around your home too, isn't it? Oh yeah. I mean, uh, my husband nicks my Dremel. Yeah. So does mine. Yeah. And in my Pete, and I'm like, yeah. So does mine. Yeah. He was using. You can do things like you can you can sharpen your lawnmower blades with your Dremel. It really is. Um, it really is multi-purpose, multi-function. Yes, we had was um, the gold guru, didn't we? Stephen Goldsmith. Oh right. Um, who had a and he was literally polishing up some pieces of jewellery around. Now, we have 10 left. That's it. Um, so it comes with the foot pedal as well, which means you've got two hands as opposed to one. Absolutely. Um, you're always going to find it a lot easier that way around. It literally builds up. So you can watch the show back on the 4th of March um, with, with Claire actually using the 40 Flex right now. Um, it comes with the additional Jewellery Maker exclusive uh, set well you've got drill bits in there yeah um and i think the last time i bought my drill my drill bits um they were over 10 pounds yeah so the drill bits on their own were over 10 pounds i mean I don't, I don't know what this is going for and now i can see there you've got your sanding your polishing yep. um you've got your stand i'm not sure what those two are in the packets um if you've got lots of accessories you use these is that a multi chuck that you've got there as well that I'm seeing in the part? Yes, yeah, so you've got loads of accessories that you've usually you'd be paying ten plus pounds for, um, yeah. you know, each one. So the great thing is you can get this home and get it out and use it, and you don't have to go, oh, actually, um, I didn't know I needed that. Yeah, it's all there. It's all there. It is all there for you. Um, so we are going to honour the forty flex, uh, forty flex, forty flex <laughs> launch prize. Ten of these are left. That's it. That's out of 50 that we actually launched. We brought to you at, at, at the special offer price. Uh, first one's gone. Well done to you. You will find, honestly, because I bought the Dremel, I, and I'll be honest, I bought it not really knowing what I was going to be using mm -hmm. it for. Um, I've gone on to, not just in, uh, in terms of jewellery making, I've sanded my banisters with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, people would work with it all yeah. the time. Woodworkers, hobbyists, yeah. people who make models, yeah. they, have the, they have the Dremel. There's a picture that I'm seeing, I don't know if you can show the viewers that, of Claire holding it, Ross, because this is quite an important point to make. Can you see how she's got her fingers around that and it's a bit just slightly bigger than a, than a pen? Yeah. Now, it, you have to go into the little corners of your piece and actually sand maybe some excess solder. This is what you want to do. You don't, like sometimes with my my flexi shaft i have to get both of my hands to get it steady enough and yeah, i can't heavy. i can't get the precision yeah so this is amazing for pr precision um and she was do you see the different speeds then yeah when, uh, she was Claire totally was in control just, yeah she was literally just touching the top there we go you can see a little uh, a little foot there can't you um yeah adam i can remember you directing this yeah um, literally just touching it to get so if you work with silversmithing metal smithing um but actually wood wood everything glass. if you're a model maker yeah. um you know that's what people use is it's classed as a hobbyist mm -hmm. but a lot of professional jewelers have these and also one thing you might not know is that um andy who by the way who comes uh who, who's actually been on your screens before here at jewelry maker from dremel um they have 
the most amazing customer service team. So if you have oh. any questions, you can always get in touch with them. Um, they always say that. And you know, if you're having any issues, you know, that's an international customer service team. We have the final seven of these available. We brought this to you. The, uh, what's that? Yeah. If you were shopping elsewhere, yeah. everything that you see on your screens would be, would, would be what? £339.99. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem that bad. We did offer us full-way split pay. Yes, that's interest-free. We're not even done. Oh, not okay. even done. There are seven of these left. 19 of you with any baskets. There's only seven. I'm not going to get one of these, am I? <laughs> Have you not got one? I, no. I, can I just say that this is up there with uh, Fordman, which is one of the a very expensive handset. So these two are like the Rolls-Royce of pendant drills. Um, as I say, you might be thinking considered... Uh, of course it's a considered price but this is a professional tool and you can get so many different attachments for it and you buy it once and we're not even at the price so this isn't the price for no okay we could very easily hold it here but it's gonna sell out we're gonna honor the launch price oh I don't, know, no, I don't know what it went to I'm worried I you're not gonna get this my lovely £299.99, that's everything. So that's the, that's the stand, that's the, you know, the, everything that fits that's, the table. That's incredible. I mean, I, I was deciding, because I hadn't actually done my silversmithing for a while, <coughs> and then I came back and started it again, and obviously I was trained to do it. Mm. And I didn't know whether to get this or another brand, and actually, I'm so into this one that I thought to myself, I'm going to get this one. But I'm sure we'll get some more, won't we? I'm so. sure. You could, you could speak to us today, I'm sure. There's one left. Me. <laughs> There's literally one left. London, Maria, Helen, Arlene, Margaret, Lynette, Rachel, Tipperary, well done. Hayley, you've got yours. If you need help with it, people who've bought, come and find me on um, my social media, uh, Debbie Kershaw Jewelry Designer on Facebook, or Claire, or Hayley, um, yeah, anybody absolutely. who does, you know, um, metal work will help you. Uh huh. I had so much fun as well because we were taken down to Bosch. Um, and he did, literally didn't know what hit him. All of a sudden, there's <laughs> this, this group of excitable women. Oh, I was supposed to go on that, and I couldn't go. Oh. Yeah, I remember that. It was. It, I think this is sold out. But, yeah, we all went, descended on him. We had training on, uh, on the actual Dremel tool. And it's something he does quite regularly, and he was like, oh, it's exhausting, because we were so excited Asking about questions. It. Yeah. Oh, what about this, Andy? What about this, Andy? What about this? He's probably used to, yeah, not so... In your excited, face, excited well, group of women. I think your Dremel handpiece becomes like a part of you. You know when you've had your car for a long time and you just drive it and you don't even think about it? Yeah. When you've got a tool like this, like I've got a really expensive soldering torch <coughs> that I got when I was learning, and I think with a tool like this, it becomes part of you, but that only comes from practice. Yes. So if you've got, got it, well done. You, honestly, I, yeah, I don't amazing. think you'll regret it. Sold out. It's gone. Well done. Goodbye, Dremel. Sorry, Debbie. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Now, we have the last remaining quantities of your elasticity deal of the day. There are 35, that's it. When, when, and it was myself and, oh, uh, and, and Ross and Adam and Dan. We actually launched these, didn't we, guys? Um, I made it, took it home. I made a few stretchy bracelets. Came in on my day off. Wayne was like, yeah, you love a stretchy. Take this bundle away with you and away you go. And I was excited straight away oh, because you've colours. got, look, the colours. Yeah, straight away. Um, they're lovely, beautiful, kind of like silky metallic colours. But think about how, how, how wonderfully, Debbie, these are going to complement your gemstones. So imagine that going through citrine. And also... This disappears. That disappears. And if you, often, we're putting precious metal onto stretch now. That's yeah. what we're doing. And you put silver on there, and it's just going to make it look even more high-end. You know, when you pull it out and you see it, how pretty. I've never seen it that colour before. I know, they're gorgeous, aren't they? And there's the two sizes. So you've got 0.8 and 0.5 in both of those. Oh, that's amazing. So you can even use this on pearls. Then you get these. What are they? They are genius. I'm going to show you a picture on the back. They Whoa. are genius. If you thought making a stretchy bracelet was a bit fiddly, oh, no more. No, no more. I would definitely... What, what, what? Are we not doing... Oh, these are coming up after the demonstration. You can pre-order them now. I beg your pardon. Sorry. There are only 35. Ignore the price on the website because it is going lower. You feed your beads on and then you, you basically 
hook you pull the, the, the elastic through that is so cool yeah is it beadsmith beadalon 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 again <laughs> fabulous beadalon and beadsmith so just do fabulous tools you can tell that they're jewelry makers that are making for jewelry makers <coughs> excuse me yes absolutely and i had a go of them they are literally are like they? <laughs> just like that game changer yeah total yeah, yeah. right then right should we do right right <laughs> should we do the kit oh debbie 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 do you know how sorry i'm i'm getting excited but do you know how much effort goes into making a signet ring from scratch you have to wax cast a mold you have to take the metal and you have to make it molten so you need a crucible you need a very powerful torch you make the metal molten and then you put it into your mold mm. most people aren't going to have those tools yeah to be able to buy a signet ring that you can modify yourself i've never seen it before i know they're amazing and there's a lot of sterling silver in them yeah. as well isn't there um now we've got it in an oval we've got it in a heart and we've got it in a kite it's like a yeah beautiful kite shape mm. Um, they are all 925 sterling <laughs> silver. Oh, my goodness me. And then we're even supplying the gemstones to set within. Yeah, loads of them. M many more than you need. So if you work with your millipert or you want to practice your flush setting, if you've got some of our square wire, mm -hmm. you can flush set some of the two mills in there. Um, and they're lovely. Absolutely beautiful. The quality of those sapphires. Can I just say that if you don't gem set, these are beautiful on their own. Yeah. You can use the gems for something else and just literally make these into an adjustable ring. Oh, my goodness me, the, the quality. That sapphire is beautiful, isn't it? Completely eye clean sapphire. It comes certified as well. Um, here we go. There's the certificate. They, they, they will slightly vary in the colours because they're obviously mixed parcels. But um, the one on the photograph, you've got sort of a sunset orange. We've got some pinks. You've got some obviously pale blues. Um, I've got some of your deeper, uh, deeper, more bluebell blues and colourless sapphires, and there is the signet ring itself. Um, that's amazing. So not only can you size, you can size this yeah. perfectly. Yeah. You can engrave it, and you, you can, can set your gemstones. Yeah. Without any of the faff of the wax melts. Yeah. Not melts, mould. It's yeah, and that is a big process. It's a big, it's a big process. So basically, if you are not a metal smith, you can take this around a mandrel, mm -hmm. and you can either snip off the ends if it's a smaller size, um, and have an adjustable ring. Yeah. If you are a metal smith, you can actually solder this to your desired um, size, which Claire did demo on the fourth of yeah. March, so you can go back and see that. Um, if you're not into your gem setting, if you're not quite there yet, you can use your gems in your milliput or or any other thing that you want, and actually just polish this and it looks amazing absolutely my dad wore a signet ring without anything on it yeah literally it was just a signet ring he was my dad used to wear one on his little finger yeah and this is it, this goes up to big size i think i put it around my mandrel because i thought this might be a question that people asked and i think i got it up to a tu oh wow so that is so if you want to make it for the for a man in your life and uh -huh. maybe you don't want to put a gemstone in um you certainly can yeah absolutely and you could probably even add the silver to it if you yeah, want you to could, go yeah. even, far, even heavier than that but there's a lot of precious metal a lot of precious metal within <coughs> excuse me within uh the signet ring here we go so this is argos uh it's a size p oval um can't tell you the gram weight of theirs um but is it tell does it say it no doesn't say it um but ours is a heavy amount of sterling yes silver. it really is heavy amount of sterling silver um i can give you that detail in a few moments time 29.99 you're not getting the collection the parcel of sapphires obviously with uh, with argos <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice if they did, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? I'd want some free sapphires. Yeah, but people wouldn't know what to do with them. That's true. Would they? That's true. That's what they need to know about you. We've matched that price. Did we go silly, though? Is this not the price? Is this the price? This isn't the price. We've matched the Argos price, though, just for the sterling silver signet ring. And, uh, and listen, I'm not a silversmith. I could, turn, I could create that ring. Can I just say that the silver on the shoulders of this ring is so strong and thick that you have to anneal it to get it to go round the mandrel? Wow. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it down 
like from this angle you can bend the, the outer part of it. if you try and bend that part right next to the the round which I, if i'll borrow one in a minute and do it can you see yeah you literally can't no and that's how much because you've got to have thick metal because this is flush setting kit so it has to be at least as thick oh, as your gemstone you, literally, you can't can oh, you? that's how much i've managed to move yeah it. Barely. So you could hammer it if you don't have a tool, <laughs> but it's very, very... Yeah, these bits you can do. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, my goodness me. You're getting all of those beautiful sapphires that you can you can set. Um, obviously, Claire uh, demonstrated that as well. £19.99. pence for 20 three, quid. For three and a half grams of sterling silver and those multicoloured sapphires. That's the price of the sapphire and the silver for free, or vice versa. If I wasn't even a metalsmith, I'd buy this just for the ring. Put it round yes. my tap it round my mantle with a hammer. Job done. Job done. I like the idea of an adjustable ring as well. You can. You can just um, and then obviously you can make it. And I notice that the ends are rounded off, so they're not yeah. sharp. So that even if you didn't have um, any tools at all, you can just take it around the mantle. So there, what I've done is I've put an initial in it and a little butterfly, just to show you that you don't have to do any any settings of no. uh, any gemstones. Was that with your Dremel? That would yeah. Well, I've, I polished and sanded this after and used ev did everything with my Dremel. Ah, oh, love it. Absolutely love it. With ease with the Dremel. Yeah. £19.99 only. Any questions that you have for Debbie, do feel free to message us um, because uh, we are live here in the studio, 78070. Shall we do the heart next? It was the most popular at the launch, and I'm not surprised by that. Um, the elasticity stretch cord is flying out the door, says Ross, so a little bit of a warning. It is available on pre-order. Ignore that price tag because it is going lower than that. The heart, I guess we shouldn't be surprised, was the most popular on the launch. And also, on this one, you've got your round gemstones. So if you do your flush setting, you're more likely to have a round um, setting bezel. Mm -hmm. So these are easier to set. And you've got two, three, and four millimeter round stones. So if you want to know, go on our website and see what flush setting um, bezel you need uh, for this, it's two, three, or four. And look at the colors of the gems. Oh, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You can make your own, one of a kind, bespoke piece. Look at the, yeah, like you said, the colors of the gemstones. I had an idea of what to do with this and I didn't have the time because as I say, it was a last minute thing. But you know, like, um, Oh, what's it called? You know when they do the dot art? Yes, the mandala dot. Mandala, that's it. You could do a <coughs> mandala style flush setting on these oh, yeah. using loads of the gemstones. So start with a bigger one in the middle and then have like sun rays coming out. Amazing. Of flush set the stones. <coughs> Amazing. In the heart signet ring, mm. two and a half grams. It's substantial. Really that's is. A big, well, the average, the average uh, silver ring in the UK, and this is an average, mm. one and a half grams. Yeah, yeah. You've got two and a half in. You're setting alone. If I turn it that way, you can see. Look. I mean, signet rings, you, you, you gift it, don't you, for a piece of jewellery that they wear forever. And it's a substantial. The whole point of it is it's substantial. You d I didn't get this out and think, ugh. I, I got it out and thought, wow, this yeah. is good quality. Yeah, you can feel that quality. We are going to take this under £20 again. You've got far more gemstones in your collections of stones. I'm just looking. Did I just see? Let's go through it. So you've got within here specitite, amethyst, peridot, ruby, garnet, tourmaline, mm. definitely zircon, sapphires. I mean, the quality of... I think there's a, there, there's a sphene in there as well. Um, if you actually look, can you see? The one just closest in the top corner. Do we think that's a sphene? Because it's so so dispersed. I was looking at that one when I was working with it. I think it's sphene. Which how often do we ever see sphene? It's a hugely rare, very dispersive gemstone. Um, Twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence, but not stopping there. The heart one absolutely flew out the uh, out the door, and I can see why. You have got the sentiment. You might keep that parcel for another day, yeah. and you might just get hold of the signet ring, thinking, "Well, oh, wait a minute. I I know I'm going to save. We so we promised it under twenty. I know I'm going to save from the likes of Argos. Mm. I know I've probably got more sterling silver gram weight in this opportunity. I'm going to say you almost definitely have." Um, use that for another occasion. Yeah. Use that to set into your pearls or yeah. gemstone setting. You could literally engrave an initial on here or not at all. 
and use your mandrel. It's, it's that nice little step that some people will be making into, uh, towards silversmithing. Absolutely, and I'm going to be showing you how you can make marks into this when it's made up. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the blank, you can't have it flat on the table, and if you did, you'd ruin the shape of the shoulders there. Ah, oh, good point. So if you're going to stamp into it, so I stamped that, that D into it. Um, see what I mean? But like if you stamp into that, you're going to totally distort it. So yeah. what you need to do is make the ring first, and then you need to embellish. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I just tried ah. to think of something a bit different to show you. you. Know what, that's something I wouldn't have thought of. It's a really good point. Yeah, because usually it's flat, so you put it on your metal <coughs> block, don't you? And yeah. if you're doing metal stamping, you stamp in the D or the C or whatever. Um, but with this, if you did that, you'd flatten it. And it's shaped. That's the whole point of the wax casting is the shape that we have. Yeah. So you don't want to get rid of that. No, and, and I guess once you've done that, it's hard to get back. Yeah. Hard to get back. So there we go. I would have made that mistake for sure. £19.99 pence only to get hold of uh, the heart. We've got that kind of kite or diamond shape still to bring you. Um, they could be really nice little stacker style rings as well, couldn't they? Yeah, they're very, very on trend to wear on your little finger with your other rings. Yes. Yeah. So I've always worn my um, signet rings on my little finger, like next to my wedding ring. So I'd wear one on my little finger to match. So it's white gold, so I'd have like the silver. And it, it's like that. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Now we've got the kite. Um, and a lovely parcel of gemstones once again. 25 minutes until the return of Grandidurite. I really like this shape. Brand new strands, by the way, of Grandidurite. Never been seen before. I like this shape. And it's my favourite. It's, my, it's mine. I think I would actually gravitate. Oops, let me pull that back so you can see it. There we go. Um, I would actually gravitate, I think, towards this one. And if you wanted to do the mandala idea, you've got more surface to do it on this. Yeah. Um, a large one in the middle. I mean, I did a texture and then it, the gem slightly offset so that next to it you could put an initial or a, a number or, a, you know, you a can... A date. A date, anything like that. So you can... These are so personalizable. Have I just made up a word? Oh, we know what you mean by it, then. <laughs> I like you it. You know what you mean. <laughs> Um, it works, it totally works. <laughs> it's beautiful. I think it's really elegant. I think it's quite art deco, this shape. Mm. We're going to do it in one price crash, shall we? Yeah, go for it. Any questions? You get that beautiful parcel of stones. Oh, look at Look at those. those, uh, those def mm. That is definitely a sphene. 100% a sphene because of the fire. This one that's coming through the centre of the screen right now, that really beautiful, very rare... Um, sort of olivey cognac like colour. Oh, and again, nineteen ninety nine for the parcel of gemstones alone. It's amazing. If you haven't flush set before, start with the four mil. Start with the big one because you can see what you're doing. It's that's not so fiddly. Um, and watch Claire's demo and just uh, get a four uh, millimeter setting burr. Yeah. I think I was saying bezel earlier, but forgive me, I got up early. Um, a setting burr, we do them on the website. So yeah. get a four mil setting burr and start with a larger one. Yeah. Um, and it's amazing. It's, it's so easy to do. Are those the little, like, uh, um, conical shapes? Yes. Look like drill bits, but yeah, they're yeah. conical shape. So you literally you want, to, do you want to drill down about, um, with a drill bit that's about 60% the size of your stone, drill down halfway, and then you get your setting burr, and you do it in increments, which is why the Dremel's so good. Amazing. You're in... You're in um, and if you have a look at the ring, where is it? Is that it? No, where is it? The other ring. Have I stopped this one? Oh, it's here. Oh. If you have a look at that ring there, again, I've textured it, and Ooh, then I've set the... I love it. It's stuck to my finger. That's it. Um, I've textured it, and I've, I've just taken it off to the side so that you could fit an initial or a name, name or something. Oh, I love it. So that's what I'm going to show you. Love it, love it, love it. Check out your baskets on the kits, and good luck to each and every single one of you. Um, over to you then, Deb. Can I just borrow that? Because I just want to explain. Which one? Um, just any of the blanks. Here Thank you. Right. Certainly can. So, as I was saying before, <coughs> just make sure that I'm in frame. Yes, I am. Because these have been ready-made, and the whole reason that you would have to wax cast this is because of this shape that you see here. So you've got this kind of dome <coughs> shape. And this is something that you can't just make. You have to cast with a wax cast, which is why this is a very laborious and quite advanced 
um, project to do, you would need a lot of specialised tools. Now, if I decided that, oh yeah, I'm going to stamp a D into that, and I just went ahead, I'm going to totally distort that shape. So the best thing to do is to actually take that around your mandrel and make your ring first. If you want to see how to solder it, go to Claire's show on the 4th of March on YouTube, and she goes through that. Okay, so I've done that with the heart ring. I'll give that back to you. Mm -hmm. And what I've done is I have, I'll just talk you through this a little <laughs> bit. I've put it on my mandrel to my desired size. I've sawn through, or you can cut through, and filed and soldered and, and that's it so that I'm left with my ring so you need to if you're going to texture this you're going to stamp into it or whatever you need to do it at this point because now you've got your ring shape and you don't want to distort these lovely shoulders which make a signet ring what it is now I've come up with this way of doing it so I'm just going to move my mat and it's using your mandrel now this is or a tribbit as we call this in silversmithing this is very very old and used as you can see so we're going to work with this on on our mandrel let's call it a mandrel so you want to make sure that you've got the shortest part towards you and of course if you're lucky enough to have a jeweler's bench then a lot of jeweler's benches actually have a place for this now if I try to work on this as is I could try and hold it and stamp and it would just be really fiddly so the best way I found was my good old friend <laughs> the blue tack other versions of this are available um, you get a large piece of blue tack place your work where you're going to work on it and then push your ring and your mandrel into the blue tack so now I've got a really steady surface to work on and I've got both of my hands free I'm not trying to stop this from moving I'm not trying to stop my ring from moving and that really is enough to keep it secure now there's a number of things that you can do to texturize this you can use your Dremel Fortiflex and you can actually um, engrave into this if you want to that's absolutely fine I would suggest that you engraved into a spare piece of copper or something first and got the feel for it rather than go straight into your nice precious heart blank if you've never done it before now another easier way to make marks is with your punch I've got a hole punch here which I use to punch a little indentation into my metal before I drill it stops my drill from from skidding other things that you can use are your metal stamps now we have done metal stamps a lot here at jewelry maker and you can get numbers and letters it's a great way of personalizing your jewelry without having to do any etching or engraving and you can also get um pictures and images and this is a little butterfly that that i used on the ring now if you know anything about metal stamping or putting texture into metal you need to have it on a block so usually we'd use a flat block but actually using this round block, it's the same thing, but you're holding the shape of your metal as you go. So you will need a hammer. Um, you will need a quite a substantial, this is just um, a hammer from my, my workshop. Um, you can get specialist hammers, but this is just a nice short hammer. It, it works for me and it's nice and heavy. Now, if I was wanting to shape this ring and not make a mark, then you'd need to use your nylon hammer or your rawhide mallet, which we do here at, J at JM. So that's what I used to actually hammer my ring around my mandrel to make it round. I didn't want to mark it, I just wanted to hammer it. So these are perfect for that. So you get no mark when you use those hammers. But what I'm wanting to do now is actually make a mark in this. So what I'm going to do is use one of my Impress Art stamps, which we have done extensively at Jewelry Maker in the past. And we've also got our own JM stamps as well, which are really good. I've got all of them, mm -hmm. use them all the time. Very, very easy way of personalizing. Now, if you are wanting to, as I say, make the shape from a flat into the round after you've soldered it, then you will need that rawhide mallet. And if you need that, it's on the screen now. The great thing about a rawhide mallet, I would say, if I could list my top 10 tools that I use for metal smithing all the time, this is there. Can't do without yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Rawhide mallet. Okay, so that's on your screen there. But <coughs> I wouldn't use a rawhide mallet for stamping because it's not heavy enough. Just get one of your DIY hammers or whatever. Oh, 6 99 that's really good for a rawhide is mallet. Is it? Yeah. I'm loving his little face, by the way just made me smile oh, i did i forgot i did that yeah look i've made a face on my hammer because this is what i do i name my there he is hello <laughs> my name's harry the hammer <laughs> yeah, you made me smile i forgot i did that yeah <laughs> this is what i do so when you're stamping into metal let's say we're going to do an initial you will get the letter or the picture on the stamp and the reason is that needs to face you 
In the olden days, this, they never used to have this on, so I used to mark it with a permanent marker. So what you want to do is pop your metal stamp onto your metal. Just make sure, I'm just making sure that that's nice and secure. So I'm going to just push my blue tack in so that I'm getting no movement there. And then I'm going to make sure that it's facing the right way and I'm just going to bob it into my metal. Now I'm, I'm giving that a, a really firm hold there and then I'm just going to give it a whack. Now depending how intricate it is, you might just want to rock it forward and back and side to side to make sure that you've got an indentation. And then if, is, can we come in any closer on that? And then you'll see that you can actually see the little, the little D. If you notice, I'm putting Ds on everything. <laughs> D for Deb. Aha. And Daisy and Dylan. There's lots of Ds in my, in my um, house that I didn't do on purpose. <laughs> I haven't got an A with me. What a shame. So you can just keep it like this. And I would say to do all of your... Okay, the next thing I need to say as well, which I, this is a tool we also do here, I don't know if we've got any left, Ross, is our ball vise. So if you're going to flush set your gemstones, a ball vise is a really, really good tool to pop your work into to actually drill and then flush set. But of course, if you're using a Dremel, oh, we don't have any left. Okay. So if you um, have got the ball vise, um, that you bought from us a little while ago, I know we launched it not too long ago, then this would be a great thing to, to start with. Now, if you want to actually make this stand out a little bit, you can get special enamels, you can use your patinas, which we've also done. But one of the um, ways that I do it is I just get a permanent marker and then I just go into my indentation. You can do this with hammer marks as well and just really go in there, really, really filling in the uh, groove that you've created and then I would usually get a little um, cotton bud and pop on some nail varnish remover and take it off and then that gives you that you know that sort of indentation but also you might want you know a hammered effect on your metal as well you might want to get one of our ball peen hammers and and make sort of a nice hammered effect rather than a flat effect so anything that you choose to do to this ring after you set it, pop it on the mandrel because yeah. that way you're going to hold your shape. Mm -hmm. And as I showed you at the beginning, you've got those shoulders. So if you're trying to do any of this on a flat block, mm -hmm. you're going to take out the whole beauty of this kit, which is the fact that we've got these beautiful shoulders on the side, which is what essentially makes it a signet ring. Amazing. So if you want to know any of the um, flush setting, any of the soldering, go back to the 4th of March to Claire's demo. She did that in great detail. And then I just thought, I was trying to think of something else to add to it. And I hope that that's been useful. Definitely. And I, I, I wouldn't have thought to actually texture it. I bet they look lovely textured. Really nice texture. So some of our texturing hammers, maybe you want stripes on it. Yeah. Because cool. quite a lot of men's um, rings have like little stripes that yes. you could you could do some stripes on it. But then again, you wouldn't want to do it flat because you would distort it. So you can yeah. just do it on your mandrel. Amazing. Um, absolutely amazing. As per usual, I'm lovely dead. <laughs> Um, all that sterling silver as well for just under £20. It's incredible. It's a it? really, really nice ring. Yeah. Really good. Um, oh, it's been cracking already this morning, hasn't it? But how can we make it even better? Well, Dave Troth with the return of Grandage, right? Brand new Premier strands, and these strands are insane. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, we've spoken about Jade. We're talking about another of the world's rarest gemstones. That's coming up as today's deal of the day. Don't forget, you've been able to pre-order this amazing uh, uh, star buy opportunity. I launched it with you not that long ago, and they absolutely flew out the door. Um, four, how many? 18 have sold already, so this quantity is limited. It was literally purchased together. You have your beadle on elasticity. You have the beadle on revolutionary stretchy bracelet needles as well. It's coming your way, but be quick on this one. It's a start. How, how many? Are we doing it now? Ooh. In a start by.
I think this is going to sell out in a nanosecond. <laughs> Me too. Um, because no matter, you said it earlier on, Debs, no yeah. matter what skill set you are, even the most advanced jewellery maker will step back to do like sort of your basic yeah. macrame or stretchies. Absolutely. Stretchies all the time. Back in the day, we used to make a stretchy and we'd say, oh, that's a beginner technique. Now designers are doing it. Yeah. And who doesn't love wearing a stretchy? I Precisely. love it. Just pop it on and there you go. And it doesn't take a long time. I've never seen these colours. So yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? They are amazing. So, I mean, I had, I had a little go with these. It was something that our sales manager, Wayne, actually gave to me. Um, he said, come in. I was on my days off, that was. And he's like, come <laughs> in, I've got a bundle for you to actually take home. And it was this. Um, yeah, it was the launch of these lovely colours. You've got the gold, this kind of pinkish tone. 400 sold on launch, yeah, That's and then nice. you've got the lovely silver. Plus they're 0 0.8 and 0 0.5, which means I can even do things like pearls. Yeah, that's really important. Yeah, um, and I worked with, was it citrine? I think so. Citrine, which, let's be honest, was, were gemstones like citrines yeah. or maybe your rose quartz or your beryls? It's a bit of a predicament, really, what elastic you yeah. can put through, because even some of the clear elastic can sometimes yeah, sure. show. Whereas these, with, with the coordinating colours of the gemstones, enhanced it. They actually in, encouraged yeah. the saturations. And also lift the colour. Yeah, like totally. Especially citrine, if you use sort of like gold colour. I, I bet that's just beautiful. It is beautiful. I also worked with, I cut one of my own strands from my stash. I bought a colourless topaz, uh, faceted round mm. strand, four mil rounds, which I just loved ages ago, and I've never done anything with it. Um, I put this it onto this silver. You Ooh, can't see it. Lovely. You literally can't see it. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Now, you're not just getting uh, the six reels of wire, uh, sorry, of elastic, which are five metres each. You're also getting your two needles, which are genius. If I literally flip them round, you can see the photograph on the reverse, how these work. So, uh, basically, on one end, you've got, uh, you've got a very tiny little hook. Can you see that there? Mm. That's where you put your elastic through. Uh, then you basically feed the beads on, on, the, on and all the way down. Um, if I move up, there we go, on and all the way down uh, to the desired length, and then you just pull the elastic through. So it's a coll collapsible eye, is it? Does it squish It's fold through? really small. Yeah, collapsible eye. Really, really eye. small. Yeah. That's amazing. Isn't it good? Yeah. Isn't it good? Not $49.99. Everybody pays the final low price tag. This will work with the jade out, for example. Mm hmm Ross, were you not with me when we launched this? Oh, it was your birthday? Well, yeah, fair enough. Ross says, I thought it was £34.99. Mm-hmm. We're actually about to half the price that's on your screens. 400 of these flew out the door on the initial launch. We're down to the final few, and I do mean few now. Yvonne, Linda, Davinia, hello to you, Tamina, Carol, Debra, uh, Deborah, sorry, Pam, Staffordshire, Suzanne, Alice, Linda, uh, Renfusha, you're there as well. Good luck, because that's, that's literally the live quantity that we actually have available. I mean, these are reusable, because Claire actually asked me that question. Are they reusable? It's like, yeah. Yeah. Don't throw them away. They're collapsible eye needles, which um, are invaluable. Yeah. Because you can even use them for things like um, if you're stringing your chips on to do, um, what's the word, crochet? Yeah. You can use these. Um, I've got, the, not, the, not as good as this. My, my, I've got something and it broke and it wasn't as good as this. But these look substantial, these little end loops. Yeah, they are good. Um, Unless you just hook your elastic on. So I would definitely get some of these. You feed them, it does, you, you think, God, oh, do I really need to make a stretchy bracelet easier? Yeah. It certainly <laughs> speeds it up, let's just put it that way. Shirley, Trisha, Jane, Ruby, Karen, Catherine, Karen, Neil and Linda. Angela, Jan, well done to you. There are so many, oh, I'm so sorry. We're hugely over allocated. There is a queue on the phone lines as well. You can always wish list it because um, I've got four left. If I had hundreds of these available, they would have all have gone again today. There are 77 <gasps> of you with it in your baskets and I can see lots of people with it on the phone. Oh, Beatrice, you, you've just been answered. Dawn, you're about... I just, people are going to miss out. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, have I got a big bundle? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Larger than I'd like. Let's just put it that way. Okay. A massive bundle. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, this will be perfect with your elastics. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at the gemstones that you've got within. Oh my goodness. They're long strands too. We'll go through them all. Fancy Jasper, Peridot, uh, Aqua Green Terra Jasper, Pink Terra Jasper, Fluorite Ombre, Faceted Rounds. They're all four mil, by the way. Ocean Jasper, uh, Jasper, Ombre Amethyst, Red Jasper, Silver Color Coated Hematite, and um, Aquamarine. I'm just giving you some more room. You could do... It would work really lovely with the pearls, actually. Ooh, yeah. Lovely with the pearls. Nice for spacers. And I've got it literally just draped over the back of my hand. But, Debbie, I could probably make at least two bracelets out of each of these strands, couldn't I? There's 12 oh, strands. I just want to fill the bath with those and roll in them. <laughs> I mean, when you, I saw this, it, I immediately wanted to reach over and grab yeah. them. What a lovely <laughs> thing. Absolutely. If my postman bought me these. I'd be very, very happy. Me too. You've got a really lovely cocktail of gemstones You really there, have. You? And every colour there is one that I would use. Sometimes you bring bundles, and I think, yeah, that's good, but there's about four or five strands I wouldn't use. I would use every one of those strands. Yeah, me too. Amethyst, look at the amethyst. That's £10 per strand. And we are no way near. Hematite, terra jasper, fluorite, ocean jasper, which hasn't even been mined anymore, What's ocean that jasper. pink one? This one? Yeah. Terra jasper. Oh, I love that. Isn't it cool? Because yeah. it's matte, too. I love matte. Me too. Amethyst. A, a beautiful amethyst. Peridot in there. Oh, it's a lovely, it's a lovely bundle, isn't it? That's working out at five pound per strand. So, if you got the elastic deal a, a few moments ago, pick a strand, any strand. Pick a strand, any strand. This one. The blue, the blue, the yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, without the additions of any spacers, without <sighs> any of those. That's two stretchy bracelets in amethyst. Uh, sorry, in aquamarine. And the lights really bleach it out because it looks much nicer in real life. <laughs> yeah, totally. To we're not even done there. We're going to clear the vault. We've got 35 of these available. Oh, look at that. Beautiful multicolored beryl. Got to go, says Ross. What do they, though? Because they're really pretty. They are. And four mil. I mean, four mil is. My favourite. That's four pound per strand. Four <gasps> mil's my favourite. You can do so much with them, can't you? You can use them in your in your looms. Loom, y yeah. You can use them in CB designs, stretches, everything. Spacers. I love four mil. Well, talking of spacers, hematite. Ooh, it's a nice alternative. There's another one of your Terra Jaspers. This is one of the favourite bund my favourite bundles that we've done. You know, yeah, when you put all the lovely. gemstones together. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, look at that one. That's Terra. Uh, that's fancy Jasper. Isn't it a lovely strand? Yes. No, it's not. That's the ocean jasper. I beg your pardon. That's I love the fancy. jaspers. That one's not even being mined anymore. Oh, really? Ocean jasper, yeah. It's all mined out. Uh, then you've got that beautiful oh. peridot. Look at the quality of this amethyst. Oh, hello. I'm so glad I took the time to sort of, you know, just space them out that little bit more so you can really appreciate the quality <gasps> of the stones. Is that fluorite? That's fluorite. <gasps> Look how they've ombraid it. I know. Look at that amazing fluorite. Oh, wow. How? No. That's they should have flown out these. Sorry, Ross. There's 11 of these left. They are. Oh, here we all are. A little bit slow on the uptake. It's because I've only just, you've seen them separated. Look at the quality of these. So many of you now have it in your baskets. That's £4 each. Good luck, Carolyn, Gabrielle, Janet, Lanarkshire, Christina, new customers. Um, unbelievable. How many strands are there? There's 12, Deirdre. Four pounds per strand. Sorry, yes, I can see our graphics don't say that. Um, yeah, 12 strands. Unbelievable. They're really lovely strands as well. They're all four millimetres. Some are faceted, some are round. It's a clearance seal. That's way lower than it should have been. Um, apologies, I was so engrossed in the gemstone, I looked up and saw that basically the core screens, weren't, we weren't anywhere near busy enough. That's why I went, what? You do get 12. Oh, it's 10 gemstones, but yeah, 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 yeah. That's the confusion. You do get 12 strands, 12 separate strands of 10 gemstones. I know it's confusing. Uh, Karen, Gabrielle, Janet, Nicolette, Beverly, uh, London, Oxfordshire, Durham, Jane. Uh, they're so beautiful. That is a clearance deal. And you, I, I would get these. Yeah, I would too. I've got to move on. I've got to move on. Emerald under 10 pounds 
Ooh. And this is not emerald, which is so heavily included that it's borderline black. It's got a little bit of oiling, which is no different to you and I putting our moisturiser on in the morning. Brightens up the skin. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Brazilian, because you have that wonderful, deep, rich forest green. 17 carats that you're getting. Oh, they're beautiful. I mean, that's, as, uh, you know, that's almost as natural as it comes. Um, I love I love emerald. So I absolutely I. love it. And, and it used to be, let's be honest, Brazilian emerald used to be kind of shunned to the sidelines because it was always about uh, Colombia oh, yeah. and then really um, places like Zambian emerald stepped into the market as well. But these days we're really embracing gemstones more for their characteristics mm. and their inclusions. Look at the world of pearls. Yes. Same with emeralds these beautiful markings referred to as le jardin often add to the value of this gemstone what, did we just price promise this no i did yeah i did we price promise for those of you that were, were paying attention i'm almost doubting myself now ross Yeah, but I'm doubting what I said. What did I say? Under £10. Do you know when you have that moment thinking, nah, that can't be right? These are going under £10. And they, yeah. For emerald. A genuine emerald. That's... How many did you get? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. So that's less than a pound per emerald. <laughs> Genuine emerald. Oh, and they're that, so beautiful. It's a mm. parcel, isn't it? And so workable as mm. well as jewellery makers. Mm. If you just did, you know, think about the jade eye earrings that you've yeah. created. You could easily do a pendant and earrings mm -hmm. three, four times over, couldn't yeah. you? Can I borrow these just to show these? Of course you can. What about something like this? You know, just suspending. Yeah. Literally I, just suspending one emerald from a length of chain. How classy and elegant I would that be? I love doing that. I've got loads of earrings like that. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And they glow, don't they? Yeah. Um, and, and a piece of information that I've always taken with me on my, uh, in my gemstone journey, um, a family friend who actually owns a jewellers back in Wales, uh, um, was my, my dad's best friend. I remember him saying to me when I would have been probably, I don't know, early teenage years mm. um, and I was always fascinated by gemstones but I actually said, okay, we were talking about emeralds and these, these words, he was like, an emerald should have presence. So it's not about the clarity mm. or anything like that. Or it's about the presence, the luminosity yeah. um, that that beautiful gemstone actually brings, it, uh, brings to you. That's always stuck with me. You know, some 30-odd 30 uh, 30 years on, um, I've always remembered those words. £9.99. And would we all agree they've got that presence? Oh, they, and also I'm thinking petals. Oh, lovely. And leaves, if you do your sort of organic nature designs. I think, yeah, beautiful strand. Um, 9.99. It's silly, isn't it? <laughs> it is silly. Poor little emeralds. I know, and it, 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 you kind of think this is where I think this is where I think jewelry maker is so right, but also so wrong, <laughs> so so wrong. Yeah. Because we'll get complacent with that price tag, mm. and we'll think that's that's normal, mm. and that's what we should be doing mm. for emeralds. Absolutely not. Look at this. Nobody in their right mind can set, sit uh, and eyeball me and say that this quality of emerald should be anywhere near the price tag that you're about to see. Anywhere near. Would you agree? I don't know what it's going to. Hmm. Well, if you love it, start dialing. Does this emerald have presence? Yes, it does. It's beautiful. The colour's amazing. It's, it, it's, it's got a luminosity to it, hasn't it? You can t I know what you mean by that, because you can tell when you look at an emerald that it's an emerald. It doesn't matter if it's highly faceted, if it's you know, more of an organic shape, if it, 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 there's something magical about it. Well, I mean, if you look at step two, one of his, I always say siblings because it's member of the big five, but think about rubies. Mm. You know, inclusions in rubies are widely accepted, as yep. they are, of course, within your emerald. In fact, inclusions of the rubies, they call it silks, can actually enhance the price yeah. of, of that gemstone. Yeah. The same with Le Jardin, the patterns that you see, you know, they can make some... Inclusions can enhance the price, as long as it doesn't hinder the luminosity of the actual gemstone. I love this strand. 
If there's any of them left, I've got a hundred of them. Pardon? Under twenty pounds. You know we had those amazing uh, Monica and Ada corded bracelets earlier on. I'd be Ooh, putting some of these yes. on. Yes. With yeah. the black or with the oh well all of the colours. I'd be putting just a couple of your, yeah, maybe three. I was working odd numbers. That's a yeah, three with two spaces. So one larger one. <coughs> yeah. And two smaller ones either side. We're going to take it under £10, but we are, we're going to have to be quick about it. Start dialing through. You've heard it. Wendy's responded. So is Beatrix. New customers in London. Uh, hello to you, Yorkshire. Hello to you, West Midlands. A strand of this quality, like I said, it's not so heavily included that it loses its... It's, it, it's vibrancy, um, it's, I'm trying to think of another word now for presence, it's liveliness, it's energy, yeah. that saturation. You can see it all there, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you really can. And it's can. undeniable. It's a lovely strand. The, the trouble is we get used to JM prices and then you see things elsewhere and you think, how can they justify that? But not everybody makes no. jewellery, do they? No. Like, not everybody is actually, whether you think it's an advanced technique or not an advanced technique. Some people can't make earrings. Some people just don't make jewellery. <coughs> and so we can get the benefits of strands like this because we are jewellery makers. We Absolutely. know what to do with it. And also we kind of see, like, you've got to be really careful outside... Um, out, where you shop and source your gemstones from, obviously, because there are many synthetics yeah. out there. You know, I, I quite often hear, I'm not saying they're all the same, but I quite often hear sort of auction sites and things like that. So, oh, yeah, well, I can buy this from, uh, from a certain auction site. Yes, but please be mindful. Grand Didgerite's a prime example, actually. There's so much synthetic out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. You really have to trust who you're sourcing it from. We fully laboratory certify each and every single one of our gemstones. You can get that certificate of authenticity um, for just 25 pence or free off the website. And you have that certificate to say exactly what is on the graphics is actually true. 20 carats of beautiful Brazilian emerald. Um, you've got the measurements there as well. And it will just say one thing. Treatment O. Oh, that stands for oiling, and it is no different to us putting moisturiser on, uh, on in the morning. It's not polymer impregnated or anything like that. Uh, stay where you are on those phone lines. Right then, I'm about to bring you. Oh, I love this. Um, we've spoken about Vincent van Gogh quite a lot this morning, haven't we? Have, we? Yeah. It's beautiful, Ben. This is for me. It's like oh my goodness, this is a meter. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, this for me is that Vincent van Gogh inspiration again. It's that perfect starry night. A man-made wonderful treasure that you love here at Jewelry Maker. It's great for things like your, um, amazing for things like uh, looming. Yes. Crochet because Crochet. it's so long. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, seed beading. Seed beading. Mm -hmm. um, when you use spaces in between, like we were talking about this starry night, can you imagine some little citrines, either oh, smaller yeah. or larger in here? It would just be so stunning. It really would, wouldn't it? That little injection of the yeah. sort of golden colour. Um, it, it, it's like the most beautiful starry night uh, um, captured within a gorgeous four millimetre round. The blue is hands down the most popular as well. 12 99 that's not just for a 38 centimetre strand. We're talking about a metre long length. So anybody that does do things like looming or marla mm. necklaces or yeah. um, you're weaving, what are they called? I'm trying to think of the... The ladder, loom. Ladder weave. Oh, the ladder weave, yes. Can yeah. I do ladder weave with this? Yeah. I mean, you can, um, you can do your, your seed bead techniques, but instead of using sort of bicones or glass beads or fire polish, use a gemstone. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, you've got gemstones in there as well. Just get gemstones in as many of your designs as you can. Yeah. That's what I'm like. Absolutely. Can I get a gemstone in this? I'm going to do it. I'm going to squeeze it in there. <laughs> £12.99 pence only. Um, I do have the golden colour to bring you as Ooh. well. Love it, love, love it, love that. it, love it, love that it. That would be lovely with those macrame bracelets. Oh, yes. With the black, quite beady unisex. Beads. Yeah, beady beads, yeah. Could do some beady little beady beads. Beady beads. Beady beads. Beady beads. Oh, they look beautiful together. They and do, actually. See. Yeah, they do. Amazingly uniformed. You could do your, um, I keep going on about these, the leather wrap bracelets. Yeah, love those. Wrap, you know, with these, that would be really lovely. 
Love those. Well, you actually have a piece of leather that kind of wraps around. Well, oh, you have two pieces of leather and then you weave these gemstones in between the two pieces. I love it. Really good. Oh, I know what you mean. Um, they were based on the, Ch is it Chan Lu? I don't know if I'm saying this correctly. Yeah. Um, design that they brought out a number of years ago and um, where you have two pieces of cord and then you just weave the gemstones in between. I know what you mean. And it wraps around and round. Yeah, yeah. And then you're, sometimes I have like a toggle or a bit. That's it, a little like button. button. That's it. Yeah, totally get it. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Nine ninety nine. These are, again, absolutely flying out the door. It's stunning. It is stunning because you have these lovely little suspensions um, of glitter within uh, each and every single one of these. Nine pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of your golden sandstone. And whenever it's brought to our screens, it literally flies out. Um, you know, you know the, the days. Where I love gemstones, of course I do. Sandstone is actually created, mm. um, which is which is absolutely fine. You know, sea beading is the world's biggest medium of jewellery making, yeah, exactly. and you can cross those mediums. Exactly, can't you? and you know you're <coughs> going to get this the lovely sort of glitter effects if you weave these in with your bead embroidery <coughs> or your sea beading. Yeah, absolutely. They're the ideal size as well. They are perfect and guaranteed that uniformity. For me, I look at them and treat them almost as uh, in the same way as you would do a shell pearl. Yes. I love shell pearls. Me too. I love any pearl. Me too. <laughs> um, should we carry on with some under £10 deals? Oh, yeah. Oh, Labradorite. In your plain rounds, I have 10 mil, then I have 8 mil, and I have 6 mil. Oh, it's that lovely soft cashmere grey. Very useful to have the same gemstone in different sizes. Oh. So I'd get, are these all, to, do you get all these together? Separate auctions. See, so I would get all of those together. Yeah. All guaranteed under £10. Oh, okay. Mm. Love it. Uh, it. This is truly one of the most magical gemstones, isn't it? Because you have... This lovely, you can even have a very dark labradorite colour. You can mm -hmm. have a greeny light colour or you can have the grey, can't you? Yeah. Which I really like this, this sort of grey. Um, but inside, you know, this is a gemstone, quite unassuming, and then it turns itself towards a source of light and you see this magic light up. It is magic. I love it. So my top three. It was my favourite for a long time. £9.99 and pence only, and we're not even closing there. Um, we were noticing this the other day. I can't remember who I was actually discussing it with, but we were, we were talking about how little labradorite we actually have on our screens now. Yeah, I've not seen it for a while. Especially in rounds. Good point. Yeah. We used to have it on every single show. Yeah, yeah we did. Every single show. And now we, don't, we barely see it. No, the last time I did see it was cabochons, as Ross said, yeah. because I bought some or I went in after the show, um, mm. which I've used since. And no, we don't. We did used to have it all the time, didn't we? Yep. Especially in rounds. Rare to see it in rounds. Are you ready? Now this does kind of have implications. There's like a, a snow, a, 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 you know, a knock-on effect. Six ninety-nine wow, for the general, the largest good. size. Um, so we, I always discuss about. In fact, I did the other day with Dave. Was I was saying about the jadeite and creating that long line mm -hmm. rope with the graduation, how oh, beautiful lovely. that yes. would be, the jadeite. I mean, we're talking about legacy there. Much more affordable when we're talking about labradorite, and it's still beautiful. Yeah, you have these flashes of the aurora borealis, which is uh, basically created from microscopic platelets within uh, your labradorite. How they capture the light, where they capture the light, the distance that light actually has to travel equates to what colours you will see within the gemstone. These are the 10 mil. We're bringing you the 8 and also uh, the 6. So if you are looking to create a graduate, maybe a mala oh that would be nice a mala and I'm thinking a mala and instead of a tassel you could put the smaller gemstones on oh. and make some drop tassel Herodot. yeah it would be beautiful and because you've got all of these sizes then you've got so many design options and you can make bracelets and earrings to match yeah um, I always love to be able to get the same shape and the same gemstone in different sizes I always think that's a treat yeah absolutely. design wise absolutely I'm loving that, and I, because there's, I can see the green colours coming from this labradorite. I'm thinking about those peridot that we had a few moments Ooh, ago to actually create a gemstone mm. tassel, or alternate. Let's do the eight mil. So you can see it's it's from the same parcel as well, can't you? Because of yeah. the quality and the consistency of the actual colour itself. So beautiful, so beautiful. From distances, you look at labradorite, and there is this. Yeah, it's this. Um, elegant, understated gemstone, mm -hmm. but then when you see it sort of turn itself towards the actual uh, source of natural light, 
that's when you see um, the glimmering mag uh, sort of magic of the gemstone. Should we do something extra special? Now, Grandi Dry is coming up. It's a little bit delayed. Bear with us. Do bear with us. One price crash. Should we take it under five pounds? To get, yeah, get yourself all ready for the next hour. We've got the return of Grand Didgerite. Also, we've got the singing bowls. And then we've got, Debbie, your amazing masterclass. Under five pounds for a gemstone that we seldom ever see. Again, it goes back to what we were saying in the first hour, Debbie. We get complacent, don't we? Like, ah, oh, you know. I have noticed our prices recently, I feel like they're going down. Like 4 99 for a strand of, is it 4 99 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 4 99 for a strand of labradorite and just you know the prices that i've seen we yes we've got our considered but then that is good because it it caters for everybody it caters for the professional jeweler and the person that's just started yeah, absolutely and i like that and debbie we were never allowed to do a 4.99 price tag no that was basically you didn't non, see it no it was, they always went on uh you know they were non-broadcastable that's not me is it no 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 that. No, that, no that was a genuine rule we weren't allowed to do it because it's basically counterproductive if that makes sense. And I know I had a break. You know, I was at Jewelry <coughs> Maker a number of years ago for yeah. quite a while, and then I had a break and came back. And I thought maybe it's because I'd had the break. I don't know. But definitely seeing prices that... You're totally. You know, and I think it's really brilliant because people who are wanting to start out £5 yeah. is less than a bottle of wine. It's, you know, a couple of coffees. So you well, can... give us a try. To give us a try as a channel. Exactly. And, you know... And so many. But just go for it because, honestly, <coughs> if you've not... Sometimes when you look at Labradorite, you think, oh, it's, it's grey, I don't know what the fuss is about, but wait till you see the magic. Oh, it's lovely, <laughs> especially, in a in, especially in a natural light. I mean, yeah. this is a gemstone that's features, uh, featured on the red carpet. It's a, yeah. it's, there is no gemstone that has quite the magic that Labradorite does. And it, I like the fact that it is quite understated from a distance. And then, and then you get up close and you see that Aurora Borealis <gasps> magic yes. um, reveal. Let's bring you now the 6 mil, always the most popular size. There are 50 of these. Again, it's got that knock-on effect, hasn't it? This is Marla's every day of the week, six mil, Labradorite. I mean, if it's going to a, just get three of them and make a Marla. Yeah. I love. I, or rosary linked. I don't tend to knock between my Marla's because I find them too heavy around my neck. So I just rosary link. These rosary linked, gorgeous. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Last auction before we cut to a break and we then return with, oh, rare, rarer than rare, grandage, right, that beautiful teal blue natural gemstone right now. Oh, can you imagine that? Can you imagine that with these beautiful Ooh. cashmere greys? Um, loving this, £3.99 pence only. What? Um, yeah, and, and like we said, you know, we can bring you the most, you know, sort of your legacy, your museum gemstones, and that's, and, and we do, we do. Um, but the fact that we can uh, sort of cater for all different budgets, still bring you fine quality gemstones, um, in this case, a member of the Feldspar family, um, it is magical, it's absolutely beautiful, and it has always, in our almost 12 years of broadcasting, always been one of our number one favourites. Yeah, it's just there's, it's like Rainbow Moonstone. It's mm -hmm. just got that magic. Yeah, totally agree. Well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Do not go anywhere because we haven't seen this gemstone in months. I think it is months, months and months. Um, and we are talking the rarest of the rare. A beautiful natural gemstone that exhibits one of the rarest colours, not just in the gem world, that Mother Nature actually offers. Dave Troth, wonderful Dave, is joining me after a very short break for the return of Grand Digirite. Jewelry makers, join us for Battle of the Beads with Hannah and Monica going head to head. Date, Saturday the 23rd of April. Location, the Village Solly Hall. An epic showdown you won't want to miss. Hi, I'm Laura, I'm a sound therapist and I'm looking forward to coming on to the Jewellery Maker for you to have your own experience of these beautiful singing bowls. 
Singing bowls are used as part of meditation and yoga practice to enhance your clarity and state of mind. So I can't wait for you to join me to learn more about the power of these amazing tools. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. We've listened to you, your ideas, your bundles, your demos, your makes, your Jewelry Maker Appreciation Day, this coming Monday. Hi guys, I really hope that you can join me for this uh, extremely special showcase. There's a lot of developing news uh, in specific uh, regards to this gemstone. Of course, we're talking about gem grade Madagascan grandidiorite, one of the most important, the most important mines uh, and gemstones in the last hundred years. Uh, and with everything that is happening right now in Bangkok and indeed in Jaipur, we wanted to offer you this very special collection of gem grade grandidiorite. Oh, here is a gemstone that hypnotised me from the moment I ever learnt it existed. Um, we are really talking about one of the rarest of the rare, and there is no better person to relaunch it with you all today, this Saturday morning, than the man himself, Dave Trath, everybody. Uh, thank you, Al. Thank you very much. And, and it's wonderful to be here with you guys this morning. You know, you just said, like, it's hypnotised you. It's a gemstone as well that, you know, we thought uh, as a company would never have the opportunity to own. And not just us, you know, we're talking about anyone in the industry never thought they would have the chance to work with this material. You know, it was discovered, you know, almost 100 years ago. And even the gentleman that discovered this stone mm. never got to see a gem quality specimen of it. Never got to see it, you know, it was, it was a mineral, uh, essentially. And they knew how rare it was for something like that to crystallize. And it was, you know, put into the literature and they were like, this is a really rare occurrence. And then in, I think it was about 2010, maybe 2001, the first ever, for like 100 years, nothing had been seen, the first ever uh, transparent specimen was cut. And it was a third of a carat. Wow. The wow. first ever. And that's like within, you know, living memory, it's what, like 20 years ago, 10 years ago? and it sold for $50,000 for a third of a carat. That's the reality, and we see that. We were accompanied, and we saw it, we were like, 
wow, it's incredible, but we're never going to, I mean, we can't. No. There's one that exists, and that makes it like $150,000 per carat stone. That's just the, the reality. Um, one of the rarest gemstones in existence, far rarer than Alexandrite, far rarer than Bixbite, far rarer than any of the gemstones that we constantly see on that list, like Painite. It was the rarest stone of all time. Mm -hmm. And then something happened in 2014 that changed the world, okay? And they found a mine, which is incredible, in Madagascar, about 60 kilometers from where the first discovery was ever made. So we're talking about the, 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 the same location because there have been deposits discovered, you know, like in um, America, in, in some, uh, you know, Central African locations, uh, Sri Lanka, but none of it has yielded any gem quality material. They just find these specimens and they're like, it's incredible. But they found this mine and, you know, the GIA went over there, everyone covered it and they started finding gem quality material. It meant that the biggest jewelry houses on earth had the chance to bring their clientele, their elite esteemed clientele, uh, you know, quite rightfully, the rarest gemstone on earth. Okay, and we live through that time. That we, we're so fortunate that we live through that time that we got to see and own. You know, generations before us never got the chance to own this material, and we got to bring this material. And today, it's on Jewelry Maker, which is it's crazy, isn't it? Really, I mean, it would be yeah. crazy if it was next door. It's crazy that it's on a shopping yeah. TV channel at all. Yeah, talking about a gemstone that you know, 20 years ago was 150 thousand dollars per carat. Same gemstone, 100 percent natural. Uh, from the ultimate location is on your screens today and we're going to bring you strands, we're going to bring you carrot weights, but I don't want it to get lost on you guys because just spoke, speaking to producer Ross, we, we, we've just openly agreed. We said, look, we know we can't get this again. And I know that. I've, been, I've just come back from Tucson, El, so have mm -hmm. you. Um, I've got yeah, friends in Bangkok who have worked with this material from this mine uh, um, in, in Madagascar. And we know what's happened. And the world is finally now understanding what's happened. We've had this amazing run of this mine producing this material. But under the kind of guise or the curtain of COVID, remember no one could travel, so no one knew really what was going on in the world, especially somewhere as remote as this location, uh, the Tranamora district in Madagascar. You know, you don't really have internet there or anything. You know, mm -hmm. no one's posting on social media. It's a very remote mining location. And now as the market emerges from this curtain, we understand, oh, right, they're not mining there anymore. It's gone. So now it's as rare as it was when it was $50,000 per carat. I'm not going to mislead anyone. There was a period of time, like I said, from 2014 to 2019, very fleeting, really, on the grand scale of things. But there was a time when this material was being pumped into the market. It was the same way Tanzanite has done for like yep. 70 years. I mean, let's not forget that's happened as well. Yeah. And we still talk about Tanzanite like this and that. This has got like a four-year window, which is the same window, by the way, as Kashmir Sapphire. Kashmir Sapphire. You know, although it's been known for 150 years, its mining window is four years. Wow. That is exactly the same as this material. And we got complacent and we got you know, involved and we bought as much as we could. And we're like, right, let's bang it on a strand. Let's, let's. But it's true, you know, yeah. that's what we did. And we, we, we put it on Gemporia in silver. We did all this stuff. And now we're going back to the market. And we're like, um, can we get any more? You know, we're planning for our birthday, probably both here, but I'm suddenly involved in the planning mm -hmm. for our birthday, which takes place in October at Gem, Gems TV or Gemporia, where we bring you finished jewelry. And we're like, right, what, what stones do we want to bring across that 19 day event? That's what it is. And we want to do new collections every day. One of the ones that I bought last year was Grandidia, right? Obviously, it was wildly successful because it's Grandidia, right? And I said, I'd love to bring our collectors their next uh, incredible collection of Grand Didier. Can't get it. We've been quoted prices that are astronomical. Astronomical. Like, for, for a one carat stone, you're being quoted like $4,000 per carat now. And I want you to understand that that's happened. It has happened. And now, you exist in a time where Grand Didier, again, is the rarest gemstone on Earth. Three years ago, it wasn't. Okay? It wasn't rare because it's been mined heavily. Today, it is. And everything's disappeared. And the Rob Report, which is something that is compiled after every major gem show by an incredible body um, that, that people always look to, talked about the seven ultra-rare precious stones that they saw at Tucson Gem Show. Okay? Uh -huh. uh, Kashmir Sapphire was one of them, so that's one of the seven. Imperial Green Jade was another one of the seven, and we've talked about that. One of the others, for the first time in about five years, was again Grand Didier, right? And um, Ross, you might have to click it because I don't know if my click is working, but that's fine. There you go. And this wow. is it. So two, and look, it's not like a gigantic carat. It's a stunning piece of jewelry. But it's not like, oh my God, look at this 50 carat stone. It's a 2.21 carat grand idiorite. 
you know, surrounded by Alexandrites. It's world class. It's a one of a kind. And that was at the Tucson Gem Show. I got to see it. And they said a blue-green gem mined in only one place on Earth, southern Madagascar, and named after the French explorer Alfred Grandidier. Grandidierite is among the world's rarest gem varieties. Southern California-based Omna Prive said a 2.21 carat oval specimen in a platinum ring framed by nearly a carat of Brazilian Alexandrites and could legitimately call this uh, the resulting jewel one of Tucson's rarest finds. Bear in mind, they're talking about $2 million suite of Imperial Green Jade. In the same article, they're talking about Kashmir Sapphire, which is $150,000 per carat. And they say, if you're looking for something no one else has, nor has ever heard of, this one's for you. And the price tag on it is $90,000. Wow. And that's the reality <laughs> as of the 7th of February, 2022. Yep. You know, we're back in that, 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 that uh, time frame when again, we are now talking about one of a kind jewels, rarest gemstone on earth. And we are about to bring you a jewelry maker showcase. But by the way, it's the same mine. The exact same mine as that $90,000 piece. Yes, we don't have a two carat stone today but we are talking the same mine, the same team that mined it, quite possibly the same team that cut this material as well. This is all cut in Bangkok and it's on your screen and we're gonna do jewelry maker prices, which is outrageous. This was the, the piece that I was talking about. It's 2003, so it's 2003, it's exactly uh, 19 years ago. The first transparent fasted grandidiorite from Sri Lanka, it's 29 points. Uh, that, that is what we're talking about. Wow. And, then, and then you look at all this literature that came out over the last five years when people started to understand what is this gemstone. And they say five things to know about grandidiorite. Number four, it's extremely rare. They say despite the number of sources, grandidiorite is still extremely rare. Pockets tend to be small and quickly become depleted. Much of the material that comes out of the ground is opaque. Uh, you've seen our material today. Yeah. It's not opaque. No. It's not gem quality. It's gem grade. Yeah, I agree. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we have lapidrists watching who are going to recut a lot of these big, the bigger tumbled stones into maybe smaller stones, but with, because the clarity on offer that we have for you is unrivaled. And they say um, it's often translucent or, or semi-transparent and is cut into cabochons ranging in size from about one to 10 carats and up. Um, and they say, according to GIA's Gems and Gemology, gem quality grandidiorite, a fastable size, was almost unheard of in the market before the summer of 2015. The Bangkok-based gemstone dealer Multicolor Gems, and ours are cut in Bangkok, said on its website that the ratio of gem quality crystals to rough is 1 in 10,000. The company noted that the Tranamora deposit, where the 2014 discovery occurred, has produced only 300 carats of iclean crystals. Wow. That's it. That's, I mean, th th we are talking about th the rarest gemstone in the world. They say given its rarity, fine grandidiorite can, be, can demand significant prices. And on top of that, they say, for example, Gem dealer and art mineral manager Bryce Gobin is quoted in the Gems and Jewelry article as saying that a buyer paid $50,000 in 2003 for the first known transparent facet grade grandidiorite, which weighed 29 points, a fact confirmed by the GIA. So there's a gentleman out there right now who you know, paid $50,000 for 29 points less than 20 years ago, and we're going to be offering you carrots and carrots of this material from the legendary Tranamaro district. We see single pieces like this, even in the current climate, where it, where it was mined and it wasn't as rare over the last five years at the Phillips um, auction house. And they talk about the century uh, that has passed since Grandidiro was first discovered you know, in Madagascar. They talk about how one gem quality crystal for every 10,000 pieces of rough. Uh, they talk about the facet grade material is difficult, difficult to own. And the price on this material, it's offered with an AGL report, was $52,500, which is $11,000 per carat in 2019. <coughs> in 2019, that's taking place, that's happening. This is the reality. And then the GIA were one of the few people that went out there when it was producing before COVID. And this is why no one understood that the mine had stopped producing because no one could travel. But when they went out there, they give you this kind of synopsis. You know, they call it in brief about their article. They talk about the new deposit material discovered in 2014. They talk about the, the chemical composition and they say it makes these crystals together with samples from Johnsburg in New York, the purest candidate I ever found. So it's finer than that material from Sri Lanka that that gentleman paid $50,000 for. It's, it's, that's the GI, it's a lab saying that. It's the purest material ever found. Again, they are quoted, this is a quote that you'll see a lot, one in 10,000 pieces would be on this table that allows for you today. One in 10,000, this is gem quality, you know, it's not mineral specimens. And then they literally say, 
In this article, which was written in 2016, a few dozen rough transparent crystals have been fasted, yielding small but eye-clean jewellery quality gems, including fewer than 10 that are above one carat. 10 that are above one carat, the GIA says. There are stones here that will be over a carat. Yeah. And they're here Easily. and we're part of Jewelry Maker and we're doing this crazy deal. But I, don't, I want you to understand what you're getting. You're probably getting something that your children, your grandchildren, their grandchildren will never have the chance to get. Mm. Okay? Because the gentleman that discovered this over 100 years ago, his children, his children's children, never, ever, ever got to see this material. That, I mean, that it's such a brief moment of time and we are so complacent in the gem industry to be like, yeah, we've got granddaddy, right, we're going to do this, that, that. And now we understand, we come back to the market and it's gone. It's gone. And now we're in that same situation that we were in 2003. We were literally just saying that, Dave. Yeah. Literally just talking about that. It, but it's is, it is what we do. <coughs> and you see, even, even on the Tranamoro <coughs> Deposits website today, the, 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 own, the mine's own website, okay, grandidorite.com, they are listing stones like $28,000. Five carat stone, it's incredible, right? It's, it is amazing. But I've sold a five carat stone on, over on Gems. I've sold one. But this is the reality of the mine today. And remember, even when you're getting one, say, from me over at Gems TV, of course, you know, we like to say we cut out the middleman. But in that scenario, I am the middleman. I didn't mine it. They did. There is no middleman. You can go direct to source. You can go to their website, for goodness sake. And for a 5.6 carat grand idea right today, it's $28,000. And here you go, here's some others. You know, that's less than a carat on the left, mm -hmm. three grand. 1.2 carats, 3,600. 1.6 carats, $4,800. And these are the guys that are seeing everything come out of the mine. And they are realizing now that the time has run out on their deposit. And they're like, right, OK, we're selling them singularly now. They're not selling parcels to Bangkok. We're going to sell them singularly. And these are the kind of prices that they are going to yield. These are the prices that we are going to set because we know we'll never get this opportunity again. Then there was this article about Gem Adventure, one of the first to break the news, and that news being now depleted. Oh. This mine's gone. This mine's gone. And, you know, anyone else, and this is why we are so unique uh, across the whole group, you know, whether it be Gem Collector, whether it be Gems TV or indeed Jewelry Maker, this is why we're so unique because we never look at the market price. We never do that. And we, we, if we get a great deal, we just pass on the great deal. Because we have to, because we're alive all the time. You know, next door, we're 24 hours, 365 days a year. Here, we're, we're not too far off that. You know, we're bringing you jewelry all the time, consuming gemstones all the time. We have tens of thousands of you tuning in from like New York to, to Devon. You yeah. know, and, and, and Australia joined me earlier. You know, this, this is the reality. We have this global audience that have an insatiable appetite for the rarest stones on earth. And anyone that was, you know, business-minded would say, okay, We've got the rarest gemstone in the world. We're so lucky that we got it in a time when, like this four-year momentary window where it wasn't the rarest gemstone in the world for the first time ever. We've got it. We've got this big parcel. We've got these incredible stones. We, let's see what the market says. Oh, the, the, the mine's closed. Let's hold these stones. Okay? The mine's doing it. The mine's literally saying, okay, we're changing our prices now. For, for a 98-point stone, it's like $2,700. You know, that, that's, that would be the smart move. But we say, we can't get this again. We'll probably never have the chance to get this again. We're just going to give you those incredible deals. We're just going to give you those incredible deals. And I'll be honest, you know, the, the, we've had discussions about this as a business. We had this material. And this is the ultimate material for us as a business, okay? Because it's hard for us to, if we have, if we have set jewelry next door or in our vault, it's hard for us to take the decision to be like, okay, we'll sell this back into the trade or we'll do this or that because it's, it's complicated because it's set into jewellery. So you've got to melt down the metal, you've got to get the stones out. Mm. Here, this is perfect for us. We can offer this as a parcel. Yeah. We can just strip them off whatever they're on, you know, these, these um, strands or whatever, collate a parcel together and yeah. we go, right, this is this great, this is this great, this is, these are these sizes, and sell it back in the industry. And there was discussions that were had because that's why you haven't seen Grand Didier, right? It's not like it hasn't been here. It's been in our vault. And we paused, you know, I got back from Tucson, we heard what's happening in the market, you know, we debrief with our team, you know, uh, our board and the bank, and we say, look, um, what have we learned? Okay, well, we've got, we've just bought these deals, we've got these, 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 oh, uh, you know, anything else developing the market? Yeah, the Grandidiorite mine, that's closed. We make the call, we ring up India. How much, how much Grandidiorite do we have <coughs> in our vault in India? We have to ask the question, how much yep. do we have and what's, what's the right business move for us? Because one, one thing's for certain, we'd never, ever <coughs> make you pay a higher price. No. You know, we'd never go, 
the market price for this has changed. So like I said, we'd never look at the market price, so we'd never ask you to pay those prices, but we'd ask the trade to pay them, if it made sense. And we've done it before, we've done it with Mandarin Garnet, I've done it personally with Cameria Garnet. You know, if the price changes drastically, you know, there was Cameria Garnets that I bought for like $20 a carat, and I went to Tucson and they were like $600 a carat um, in the space of about 18 months. And we sold about a third of our parcel back into the industry because that liquidates a ton of cash. It means that we can actually bring the cost of our Camarilla Garnet down mm -hmm. because we've already made our money. And then we can go and buy other gemstones with that cash. Yeah. You know, we wouldn't make you guys do that. So we, we had the conversation. We said, what do we do with this Grandi Durant? You know, what makes sense? Do we sell it back into India? Do we sell it back into Bangkok? And then we release a large sum of cash and we can go and you know, put that towards our budget of buying new gemstones. And the decision was made this time to give you this incredible deal. And you're going to get it, but you won't see it again. And that's not, me, that's not like hyperbole. It's not me getting carried away saying, you're never going to see it again, so you better get it today. It's me saying, there isn't a mine. Uh, you know, I, I, no I physically can't get you this material. And it's not to say it's not in the market. It is in the market, as you're going to see from my guys in Bangkok right now. But the price has changed drastically. And this is the price list. And I don't mind sharing it with you. These are the same guys that I bought this material from like four years ago. And this is, I said, do you have Grandi Durant? He said, yeah. And he showed me the pictures, you know, we, we talk on WhatsApp. And it's like for Grandi Durant right now, like one carat size, I told you, two to four thousand US, uh, thousand US dollars. Yeah, you go up to like three and a half carats, it's four to twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. Obviously, there's a massive disparity between the grade. And this grade here, I'm not going to lie, it would be at the low end of those prices on okay. any of those categories, because this guy deals with the kind of goods that you might like to see in Omni Privé and the material that you're seeing here, okay? So, you know, realistically, you probably... But there's still thousands. There are thousands, yeah. You're not, you're not getting, no one's getting a deal on Grand Divide right today. No one, except you guys. And that's the truth. The only people that are getting deals on... And remember, this is natural. It's natural. And you're getting this legendary uh, Grand Divide, right? This has been written about from, like, the GIA, Forbes, jewellery editor. I mean, everyone. Anyone who's interested in that, that world is run by this. And also, it's got the, it's got the perfect story. Yeah, again, the gemstone world loves a story. It's got the perfect story, okay? With Tanzanite, their story is single locational, so is this, okay? Their, their, their story is, look, synonymous with Tiffany <coughs> & Co. And any mine wants their jewels or their gems to be worked with by the biggest jewellery brands on earth because it elevates the whole mine run in the collection. It doesn't get bigger than Omni Privé. Does not get bigger than Omni Privé. You know, two carat stone, 90 grand, surrounded with Brazilian Alexandrite. And yours came from this same legendary deposit. The same legendary deposit. When the field gemologists from the GIA went out there, they went, um, okay, there's only ever been 300 carats of material that is gem grade. One in 10,000 pieces of rough is gem grade. And to date, they said uh, that uh, in 2016, there had only been 10 stones mined over a carat. Our decision as a group, as a business, was to say, let's give you guys first refusal. And we're not going to charge, you know, I'll show you those prices, I'm not going to charge those prices. We're going to do the craziest deals you've seen today on the, on, on the rarest gemstone we have in our vault. It's the rarest gemstone we have in our vault. It's, a, it's a, an objective fact. This is it. The legendary Grandidi, right? The gentleman, Alfred Grandidier, never got to see this material. There's a gentleman alive today who paid a staggering $150,000 per carat for material like this in 2003. And we have that incredible diamond cut strand. Ombre. Oh, it's so beautiful. Ombre of Grandidier. I, I mean, not to sound complacent, I've seen a few Grandidier opportunities, not many. Yep. Nothing like that's this. gem grade. It's transparent. That's so well, gorgeous. Yeah, you know, in 2014, we there, 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 if we'd have got hold of this, it'd probably been as is on Gemporia with an yeah. 18 karat gold clasp sure. for four figures. I mean, your reaction as well, Deb. You were like, oh, this is one of the best strands that I've ever seen yeah, of totally. anything. I mean, the colour is yeah. absolutely beautiful. And 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 just just so you guys know, there's. There's only a few people on earth that can produce something like this, okay? You can't, get, you can't order this. And, and one of the guys that can do it is the guy that we deal with in Bangkok. And the reason he can do it is because he bought so much Grand Didier, right? Mm. Mm. He, he was one of the few, because he owns one of the best cutting facilities in the world. The, the mine want their material cut by him. You need someone who's got access to all of the Grand Didier, right? To be able to ombre. 
Because he's got to have all the colours. Of course. You yeah, know, yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not like, oh, we, yeah, we'll find you, we'll do that. It's like, you've got to have the mind run so you can create something as, as stunning as this. Let's do a 60 second clock and bring the first grandidiorite strand of today to you. Diamond cut, scintillating domino effect of light that is cascading and dancing on the neckline. And then you go, you transition, you transition through the most expensive natural colors in the gemstone world. That's it. You know, you've got those deep oily peacock greens running right the way through to those kind of petrol blues. You've got those sea foam colors. That is the, the iconic grandidiorite collection on the neckline. And, and this is actually one of, not just in the gemstone world, this is one of the rarest colours on our planet. Name me another stone. Yeah, well... I can't yeah. think, you know, there Birds. is... Pardon? B flora and fauna. Oh, 100%. It's, it's yeah, you don't find this colour, like these kind of unbelievable... Like we talked about, the sea foams, those, those mm -hmm. petrol colours, those incredible, uh, wonderful colours that you just don't... You're right, you don't observe in the natural world at all. No. You don't see it. It's like, you know, paradise for the neckline. Those wonderful colours. This is an absolutely incredible. It's a long. 20, I mean, strand. for goodness sake, it's 25 carats. It's 25 carats, and how do you put a value on that level of matching? You know, to to be able to, like I said, transition through the the colours of Grandidi, right? Straight away. Well done to the collectors that are joining yeah. us this morning for the legendary Grandidi opportunities. Like I said, you know, the news is that the mine is no longer producing it is no longer producing okay, and we've heard that time and time again which means there is a shortage of this gemstone and it now resumes its kind of throne as the rarest gemstone on earth that, i mean that the thing they do change in the gem world that status changes doesn't it, obviously and and grand is a prime example of that yeah it was so. it was top of the tree yeah. and it fell out of the top 10 because it was being mined commercially yeah. mined for the first time in its history in the Tranamora district of um, of madagascar southern madagascar and now you have to kind of recalibrate your thinking because we're back in that moment Yep. I don't know if you guys used to watch us back in 2012 or 2011. Mm. We didn't have Grand Didi, right? No. We couldn't even think about Grand Didi, right? So there was no mine in existence. Maybe we referenced it a few times, but it was that gemstone. And now you're being offered 25 carats of this diamond cut, scintillating, translucent material from, as the GIA calls it, the purest deposit that has ever existed of Grand Didier. Yeah. And this, is, this is like the Kashmir Sapphire, like I said, mm -hmm. four-year mining window. And Kashmir Sapphire is the purest version of Sapphire the world has ever known, that velvet blue that you don't find anywhere else. You don't find it in Burma. You don't find it in Thailand. You don't find it in Australia. You don't find it in Montana. There's a reason that it is the, the mythical stone, and that's what this is in the rare gemstone world. Now, um... Or, uh, of course you're there. I would be there too in a heartbeat if I could. I love this strand and I would do exactly as you just, you just suggested, 18 karat gold clasp. Mm, that's it. You always come up with the best idea and I always love it. Go and get like an antique clasp. Antique clasp. Yeah. Yeah. I looked the other day actually because uh, I, um, my, uh, um, some of the jadeite that I've bought with you Dave yeah. um, and I was thinking right okay I need to get that clasp, sort that clasp out. So I bought an 18 karat vintage clasp off one of those auction sites. It cost me, it cost me, I think it was just under £200. It's 18 karat gold, though. Yeah, absolutely. 18 karat gold. And it deserves it. And it justifies that absolutely. precious metal. This is exactly what I would be well, doing. Well, I mean, at 99 you're already saving more than £200. I think yeah. we're aware of that. So, you know, it's paid for itself, that class. But on top of that, you know, how many times have, you, have, have we said, I know I've said it, I'm guilty of it, oh, my God, I wish I'd been alive when they were mining Kashmir Sapphire. Mm -hmm. Now, I wish I existed mm -hmm. in that little time frame, the four-year window in, in the late 1800s when that landslide revealed the finest sapphire that's ever existed. So we see them at Christie's now, we see them at Bonhams, we see them at Sotheby's, and that's the only place you see them, by the way. And they are $100,000 plus per yeah. carat. For rightfully so, even for heated goods. And they're not heated like the modern stones, they're heated in a rudimentary way. They used to bury like a clay oven and leave the stones in there. Even for those goods, they are like $100,000 per carat. And I'm thinking to myself, I wish. You know, even someone from my lineage, imagine if they'd have just acquired some of that Kashmir Sapphire. Mm -hmm. And yet, you guys are alive at the same pivotal moment. You guys have just lived through the four-year window of Grand Didi Wright. That's it, you've, you've done it. You've, 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 you've existed in that 
momentary time frame where they found a mine for the rarest gemstone that has ever existed. And you've got a chance right now to earn 25 carats of it. It's, it's certified, it's lab certified grandidiorite. So, you know, when your children uh, inherit this, when your grandchildren inherit this, and maybe you create something with it, maybe you create, like you said, you put the clasp on it, if this ever goes to get valued in the next 10 years, it is gem quality grandidiorite from the Tranamora district. That's what you've got. That, the, the mine that the, all the labs are, agree is the purest that has ever existed. And you can see it. Oh, you can totally without see a shadow that. of a doubt. Because Grand right is one of those gemstones that we should expect to have inclusions. And uh, yeah. sort of, uh, we should expect it, shouldn't uh, we? Yeah. And yet here we are. We're um, at 50 quid. I mean, it's absolutely outrageous. And I'm happy for you. I'm thrilled for you. Like I said, we don't look at the market pricing. We don't, I mean, it's, it's actually climbing the rarity scale again. Uh -huh. You know, we see it in the Rob report. We see it, they're saying seven of the rarest gemstones ever. And it put it in the same category, rightfully yep. so, as cashmere sapphires and imperial jade. Not just any jade, imperial jade. In fact, the suite was 49 uh, carats, and I think it was $2 million. It was the Pillar and Stone booth, the guys that yep. I met. And, and those were the stones that existed in that article, and, and they're talking about Grandidira again in that vein. That's why we have not shown you Grandidia out for a month because we were having <coughs> internal discussions as to what we do with it. You know, the price has changed so dramatically, and it does. That's what happens in the gem world. It happened from 2003 till now. 2003, one of the, the you, want, you want to call it a rondel, one of the rondels on here would have been, I don't know, 10 grand? You know, literally back in 2003, yes. it would have been. I'm not saying, oh, you know, it's adjusted for inflation back in the 1600s. I'm saying, no. One of those stones in 2003, any one of them, you can pick it, would have been 10 grand. Yeah. That's the reality of what you've got But this right is now. the kind of strand that, as a jewellery maker, you wait for. Yes. It's a privilege to work with. Yes. I mean, you take it and you put it in that special box and you wait for that special commission for that special birthday. I mean, if you could only see the colour. For me, it's all about the colour. It's stunning. I absolutely love what you said there. You know, you said you, you, this is the one that you, you get and you put away. You know, you, you put away for. and you wait to have that inspiration. Yeah. Or the, you know, but the, the key is to get it. Yeah, it's only here today. You don't want to wait until you've got the idea and then go, if no, they've got any more of that grand idea on the website, because we won't. We won't, and I've told you that. I think that's the smartest way to do it. You acquire it, I mean, it's a 49.99. You put it in your drawer, you put it in a box, and then, you know, five years' time, ten years' time, you might think, I've got that parcel yeah. of, of, of wonderful gem grand yeah, right? yeah. with that incredible colour, and I, I know what I want to create now, whether that's like cascading earrings or oh, something, wow. you know, dramatic for the neckline, whatever it may be, you've got the stones to do it. Well, Dave, you had the discussion. Yep. The, the, the team of all, uh, you know, the, the, the board all got together and uh, sort of discussed, you know, what... Yeah, what do we do? What do we do? Half the stock of this has gone. Congratulations. Wow. Congratulations. It's the, it was the... Oh, OK, there's a clock. OK. The, the, I, the, I said to... I even said to Ross... There was a moment it? where you liked the... I know, I do. I like it when I'm in charge, but, like, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I spoke to Ross this morning and he goes... He literally said... You're, you're not going to moan, are you? I was like, nah. He's like, do you want to know the price? And I said, no, I don't. I literally said to Ross, you know, usually, guys, I call the price, don't I? I say, this yeah, price, do, that yeah, price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there he is, look, happy as Larry. He's like, <laughs> you know, and he said, do you want to know the prices? And he took some kind of enjoyment in that. And I said, no, I don't. I don't want to know the prices. So I'm just as in the dark so this as you is, So you're learning these, this is... You're learning this as we yep. go along? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm going to love the reactions uh, then, Dave. Well, I mean, look, uh, uh, 99.99 I thought was done. Remember, <coughs> I don't have the earpiece. I don't have the earpiece that Elle's got. I'm not plugged into the uh -huh. gallery. I don't hear what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I never know if they're like, OK, we, we've got another price to come or this or that. I thought 99.99. I saw how many of you on the phone lines. That's great. You know, it's a great deal. How amazing. Yeah, 25 and carats. Yeah, did you write? Gem quality. And then we go to 50, right. and I'm like, yeah. And then the phone, the, the TV screen's full of names. I'm like, this what an incredible deal. And then I just see this little egg timer come on yeah. the screen. I'm like, OK, here timer. we go. <laughs> here yeah, we welcome go. to Jewelry Maker. That's exactly, yeah. I mean. Oh, 40 quid. 40 just pounds. Get it. The price of a candle next door. Get more than one. Yeah. You know? Yes, we have we have some most the most amazing pearls. You've brought some absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh can my you god! Imagine oh. little sections of the Grand right dotted in between. It's phenomenal. I mean, the, the, there's a multitude of things that we can do with this. Oh my goodness, they're absolutely flying out the door. That hundred quantity have just uh, it's lit up. Yeah. I I've never seen. We both. You no, know I love though. I love how 
are you guys at home recognise? Yeah, the, the yeah, yes, they do. You, you know, yeah. almost every single one of you is multi buying. <coughs> you're multi buying, which which means obviously you're doubling your saving. Yeah. But you're you're now getting 50 carats of that material. That's and incredible. there's not really another auction that looks like this. We've got tumbled stones, but if you want this and you're thinking, uh, I've got a great idea, but maybe I'd need more than one of these. Well, Ross has made it absolutely accessible to be able to get more than one. In fact, Rachel, you've got three. Corolla, you've got two. We've got uh, Maker and Greta London's got three. We've got Gabrielle's got two. Suzanne's got two. Uh, Bristol, you've got three. So many of you are multi-buying, which means you are giving yourself this incredible chance. A bit, Paul, you've got two. Nicolette, you've got two. To Can be able you just to take a some. moment to absorb that? You've multi-bought on Grand Digiro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like a three for two or something. Like it's, you know, Yeah. It's Can we just, you know, and we are our own worst enemy in that kind of conversation. The fact that we make it... Too affordable. Please understand the rarity of what you've just purchased. I mean, and don't just take my word for it, for goodness sake. You know, I'm showing you the literature, I'm showing you the GIA, I'm showing you the Rob report that says the rarest gemstones that we found at the Tucson Gem Show. That's yeah. literally the title. That was written February 7th of this year. Yep. That, that, I mean, that's not me. And they go there and, and they literally say, for 90 grand, you can have something that no one else can own. Or today, you can have, for 39.99. You can just buy 25 <laughs> exactly. carats of it. Oh, my goodness me. Well done, guys. Um, there are five left. I'll leave the final three. Now on to... If I could change one thing, this is, not, this is a briolette. A briolette is so much more complex than a faceted drop. Yes. It's 360 degrees, Oh, 100%, right? all the way around. It is, yeah. <gasps> oh, I love this. The, uh, this is the one piece that I would, I would <gasps> buy, and I don't know... You know, whatever takes your fancy, whatever you want to do. Oh. But to be able to, just because when I see it like this, I mean, I don't have the same imagination as you guys because I'm oh. not actually a jewellery maker. Oh. So I don't know what we can and can't create. But I look at that and I just see this daring piece on the neckline. These, oh. these incredible oh. drops of Grandidiorite that are f like that. That's what I see. I've got a couple, uh, I mean, it's, you, you're getting one. <laughs> We're ooing and ahhing. showing you the quality that you get across. Oh, stunning. Lends itself so well to everything. Earrings. And again, like I said, that wonderful... You can see what it looked like on the neckline. Oh. You can see it. Make flowers. Make Grandidiorite flowers. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't know what this is going to, but if, if you can afford it, make Grandidiorite flowers. I mean, come on. What Who's an incredible got idea. Who's got Grandidiorite flowers? I what mean, an incredible idea. Imagine, imagine oh. that. I mean, I never even thought that that was a possibility, but to have the petals of Grandidiorite yeah. and then maybe find something special. Because it might take you five years to find the stone you want to put in the centre. Maybe it's going to be a Burmese ruby. Oh, my maybe God. Oh, yes, please. But oh. We look at those things and we think, OK, we're going to do something something no one else can do. Oh, they're stunning. They're absolutely nice. gorgeous, aren't they? There's 150 of this opportunity. Right. I mean, seriously, look And it's at graduated, the and it's graduated. Yeah. You know, all, you know it's not, this is what makes this so phenomenal as opportunity. That, by the way, that on Elle's hand is textbook Grandy Dry Colour. Yes. Textbook Grandy Dry Colour. You know, we were, this is the thing, when you had that discussion with, mm -hmm. the, with the board, Yeah. These would have been single grand digerite pieces of jewellery on our sister channel, right? Yes, 100%. 100%. Well, I'm, actually, I'm actually thinking to myself, why on earth didn't we say we'll create flowers and sell them on gems? Yes. Yeah, why didn't we no, do no, that? No, we'll do that. Don't worry. Yeah, don't <laughs> worry. Yeah, exactly. Jewellery makers will do that. Like I said, I don't, I don't have the imagination that you guys have. 35 carats. Yeah. Hang on. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. So we are averaging... Go on, I don't, can't do the maths. Go on now. <laughs> Hang on. So we're averaging just uh, under two carats. 1.84. Wow. One point Obviously eight. the ones... In the let, me take you, let me take you to the Grandidier website then, and we'll see like what a 1.84... Look, there's, you can see larger than life. They're not, they're not transparent. They are translucent, which is incredible. So these prices would differ, but there's a 1.6 carat Grandidier right there. For four thousand eight hundred dollars, yeah, and that's that's transparent. It's still included, but it's transparent. So let's say, let's say you pay a third of the price for translucent goods. Yeah. Okay, third of the price. Again, I can't do the maths, but let's let's say it's a grand. Yeah. Let's say it's a grand, thousand dollars. And then still you've got. And by the way, we are actually talking about just one of the. <coughs> stones, <coughs> yeah. Necklace, one of the stones. <sighs> God, if you, if you wanted to pay just, if you wanted to say, okay, well, that's transparent, what about this? Let's say we pay 10% of the price. Exactly. It's like, still $480. Exactly, exactly. Oh, my goodness me. 
and the mine is now closed. I, we've learned it at the same time as you. Wendy, Maker in Lancashire, Sanika, Claire, Carolyn, you're in so early. We're in double figures. We have split pay. It is 35 carats. It is the, the yeah. world class iconic Grandidia right color. They are translucent gems. The light passes through them. It, it's it's as, as good as it gets for me, I think. Yeah, totally agree. Especially the price we're at right now. Totally agree. I mean, I'm just showing one. Mm. Look at this. Just one. Yeah. Haven't even gone for the largest. Imagine that. Yeah. Imagine that in a ring. Oh my gosh, yeah. Now, in 60 seconds. Oh God. Here we go. Right, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you, I'm in the dark as you are, but I can hear the excitement from the gallery. I yeah, kind of and the I'm reaction. I'm going to say, just multi buy is what I would suggest. Did you just, just multi buy. No, because I was staring at the, the. Do you know some of these are teal? Yeah. Mm. I mean, they're teal. When do you ever see a teal gemstone in the? It's out of your price range. I just, I'm not giving the strand back. No, I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but honestly, if you could sit here and see them in the flesh and feel them, that's well, so the, That's the, another beauty of the, of the Gemporia partnership. We're about to say to you, look, shall I say it, Ross? Oh, go on. We're going to match the price. Oh. Uh, but, even but, though uh, these are f bigger. I mean, I, yeah, and, and what? Well, yeah, we're, we're bigger individual stones, bigger collectively, so we're 10 carats larger is, as, a, as a proposition. I don't think we've ever sold a single Grandidia Wright piece of jewellery that's collectively 10 carats on, over the road. No. And we've sold Grandidia Wright for thousands. And you've got this unbelievable, unrivaled, unparalleled opportunity right now. And we're matching the price, which was oh, 39.99. Yeah. 39.99. And again, here come mm. the multi-buyers. How many did we have of these? 90 or so? 90. Uh, what, quantity? Yeah. Just over 100. Okay, so 50 people multiple, it's gone. It's and gone. you can see how many people are multi buying right now. You know, you know, I think you've made a really, really valid point there. Has our sister channel ever done a 35 carat grand in jewelry? Never. Never. No. Never. And that's the opportunities that, uh, and it also highlights how challenging it is really for our gemstone buyers um, to supply you with the world's most coveted stones. £20, you can get this home. This is the thing, we trust our viewers, and you said get it. Interest home. free. We're about to send one of the rarest gemstones yeah. in the world to our viewers. Can you imagine being at Tucson and finding someone, oh, I don't know, Omna Prive or someone who had yeah. Grandi Dura, and you went, do you mind if I just take this home and, and, and show a few of my friends, and uh, if I don't like it, I'll send it back. And, and then you just handed them 20 pounds. Yeah. And you just went, <laughs> just take that, and if I like it, I'll give you another 20 pounds. Yeah. It's just insane. It's it's, but that's why we're so busy. That's why you're in a queue. It is a free phone number. If you can use the app, it would help us out. If you can use the web, it would help us out. But you've got to check out because uh, telephone bidders will get priority if it's stuck in a basket. It's 39.99. That's your deal. For a Briolet cup, which is so much more challenging. Uh, next door, and I hate to say this, but you know, you'd never even see a split payment of 39.99. <coughs> you see split payments of like either. 99. Yeah, we're not meant to do it either. Crazy. Not meant to, but we do. But. Oh, I've just seen it. You guys have seen it. 60 second clock. And, I mean, is this not the best deal we've seen this week? And we're, we're bringing Grandidia right. Uh, it's been promoted, so it's extremely busy. <laughs> and we're at 20 pounds on split pay, and there's a clock on your screen. Ha you can see it across we've the room. We've just learned over yeah. the past few months that this mine is closed. Yeah. It is deplete. It's gone. So we can't ever get any more? Nope. Not unless they find a, a mine. And Another there's only been one mine and that's in 100 sure. years. Yeah. Wow. So once this is gone, it's you can't gone. get it again. No. So you need to get it while you can. Yeah. And, 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 and like I said, there is, there is granted you're in the marketplace. It was a big commercial mine. There are vendors with it in Jaipur. There are vendors with it in Mumbai, in Bangkok, in Chantaburi. But the problem is their price has changed. Course, the price has changed because they, they can't it. replace it. Yeah. So they change their price. We can't replace it and we're keeping our price the same. Wow. Which is nuts. In fact, Ross is going again. Well, yeah, we can't replace it and we drop our prices. Yeah. We are um, a unique business. Long may it continue for you yeah, guys. Yeah, totally. Maker, but 17 oh my pounds. goodness. <laughs> that's a pound per carat. I, I'm sh pretty sure that's the kind of standard price of like a reed diffuser next door. You're the rarest gemstone that has ever existed. Yeah. For 35 quid. Yeah. And it's 35 carats of yeah, translucent What is that all goods. about? 
Um, well done. I, I love this strand. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Yes. I, and do you know, might I say at that price tag, I might even multi buy. Yeah. Oh, you have and, to. And go for yeah, but go for the full thirty-five yeah. carat necklace. Yeah. Oh yeah. 100%. You can get what seventy carats a grand did you write? Yeah. For significantly less than a hundred. Oh, it's, it makes me feel a bit uh, uncomfortable, like a little bit, if I'm honest. You know, when we we said. Oh, you know, well, what we'll do is we'll just give it to our collectors. We won't sell it back in trade, we'll give it to our collectors. We'll tell them, can't get it again, we're going to give them the best deals. And it'll be crazy. Well, it is crazy, but I forgot, you know, how crazy it would be to say these prices. Crazy. Yeah. Um, there was just over 100 of these available. I mean, the, the, the fact that, you know, it's been, well, how long has Chimpori been? Uh, uh, 18 years. 18 years. And when did you first welcome Grand Didgerite into the partnership? Uh, it was probably 2017, I would say. 2017. We were a little bit later, I think. Yeah. Um, but relatively... It might have been recent. 2018, if I'm honest. I know it wasn't 2016. But it's recent. Oh, it's so recent. It and it's gone. It? Yeah. And it's gone. gone. And, and we've had Tanzanite since we started yeah. until now. Mm -hmm. And we're there worried about, we're like, look, one day it's going to run out, one day it's going to run out. This is gone. This is already there. This is gone. It's done. Precisely. Oh my goodness me. Stay where you are. There's only a handful of those. I've got loads of you well with done, baskets. Guys. Congratulations to you all. Um, I've got six more pieces to bring. That's it. I don't know if you're familiar with this term, Dave. Go on. It's a, it's a little bit of a jewellery makerism. Right, go on, let's I hear think it. you're going to like it. Okay, okay. <laughs> it, it might grow on me. I might not like it immediately, like no. the clock. <laughs> I've got to be honest, it's probably the, not, not the choice of word that I would put with one of let, the let, rarest gemstones. Oh, planet, God, let but, me hear it. But... A bundle. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't get on board with that. I can't get on board with that. I can't. It's, for me, that's sacrilege. A bundle. <laughs> it's nuts, isn't it? I mean, like, it's amazing. It's great. And it probably, to you guys, it gets us all excited. And I understand that. I knew you'd like that. But a bundle should never, ever happen. A bundle. Of... That's a car boot sale, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like we'll, we'll bundle it all in, mate. We'll bundle everything in. Ten pounds. We're closing up now. We'll bundle it all in. Ten pound gets you that. And we're talking about Grand Didier and we're doing what we call a bundle. I know. I, know. I mean, I know. Hello to you, Maria. Maria. First time buying this gemstone. If it looks as good at home as on screen, I'm just putting it away it in my collection oh. and wait. It looks okay. better. It looks better. I'll be honest. And, and the reason for that is really simple. When you walk into a jewellery store that is carrying Grand Didier, right? Well, they're going to have to be elevated. So you, it is going to be on Bond Street or it's going to be the likes of Omna Privé in California. But they, they spend more on their lighting yeah. than we spend on our car. You know, that's the <coughs> truth. They spend like $70,000, yeah. $80,000 on these LED bulbs. That's why when you walk into Bond Street, you see this jewellery and it looks amazing. I get it. The problem is that's the best that jewellery is ever going to look. Mm -hmm. So when you walk in and you spend you know, $90,000 on a Grand Didier Ring at Omni Privé, you look at it, you're like, you're taken by it. But unless you're spending $90,000 on your kitchen lights, it's never going to look that good again. Whereas we're the other way. That's a good point. That's, yeah, a really that's good true. Point. That's the best it will ever look. That's, yeah. And then today, we're going, this is the, don't worry, this is the worst it's ever going to look. <laughs> we have, no, but it's true. <laughs> it's true. true. Yeah. That, that is, is the worst so it's true. ever going to look because we have floodlights. And, and the reason for that is because, you know, we're people and you have to light people and you have to light a whole studio. Yeah. So we can't, we can't just hone in on the jewellery. So we have to, it's a TV set, so we have to light it as such. So we have like 15 floodlights around the room, which is awful for gemstones, yeah. absolutely awful. And this is how you're going to see it. We're all falling in love with it like Maria. And it's going to look so much better by daylight. It's going to look so much better by your incandescent bulbs in your home. This is... The worst this jewellery is ever and going to look. I have to say, I, I, again, it's also the fact that we've got these... It's really hard for me to hold this because there's so much. Yeah, so which one are we doing I can't now? really just... All of it. That's Everything. A, that's a bundle, yeah. A bundle is multiples. I thought the bundle was that, what you're holding now. Like, you bundled the stones together on that strand. No, 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 that is all of these. So you, Right, what are we doing? Pack of five. <laughs> like, it's chewing gum or something. What are we doing? <laughs> it's Grand Diddy, right? <laughs> I cannot get my head around this. I cannot get my head around this. I knew you'd like it. Oh, yeah, I love it. I, I, love I, it. I, I knew love you'd love the whole 50 bundle. quid. This is a joke. This is Ten unbelievable. Pound a strand. Amazing for you guys. I'm thrilled for you, and I apologise if I sound disparaging. I don't mean to. It is amazing value. It's unrivaled value. It's the best well, value I've ever been involved right there. in. There's yeah. a sweet. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I thought the bundle was. No. You know, these three incredible kind of heart cut stones, the briolettes. 
I thought that this was our suite. Ridiculous. And then we, yeah, it is. Do you, do you want to tell Dave what, what, what Ross I, just said? I want to run to the car and get my phone because I know what this is going to now. I've just heard. Oh, God. So you need to... Uh, can, can we just say it's a pack of five, OK? It's a pack of five. <gasps> um, it's 50 quid, so that's £10 <laughs> per pack. We're even calling it packs. <laughs> like, isn't it? That's mad, isn't it? Like, our terminology here is so off. Isn't it? It is weird. Can I, you make, can I have a pack of Grandidi right <laughs> Oh, well, you might like this. We're doing, we're actually bundling together five right now. <laughs> like it's a HMV DVD set. Yeah, I know. Can you imagine using that terminology oh my over God. in two It'd be disgusting, as well. wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, what? Do you want, to, you want me to do what? I mean, you would look like Bundle. you have no idea, but look, we don't. I mean, oh. We're just doing this. <laughs> It's it's for it's forty nine ninety nine. It's the alter. It's the best deal today. No. It's the best deal today so far. That is the best deal. It's getting better. Oh. This is. My God. It's going nowhere. I know. I can't believe it. I've just I, I'm just putting this one around the wrist because seriously that shouldn't be forty nine ninety nine. Right. I'm, I, I like I wish at the moment we uh, we don't share because we're still merging. We don't share the same internal system. But if if we did, I'd say to Ross, take a look at Gem's history and see what a bracelet like that. Because I know I've sold bracelets like that. I've granted you right, would go for on gems. Mm -hmm. And it's here today as part of a multi-pack of deals, which is just outrageous. I can hear Ross, he, and he's getting excited. I can hear Ross through, he through a door. Yeah. And I've just heard him go, right, I'm going to do it. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's happening. I thought he was going to oh ready. Oh, my God. How many are left, Ross? There's quantity of these. OK, what is the quantity, Ross? 150. Right, that's nowhere near enough. I know, uh, may maybe it is a jewelry maker, I don't know, but uh, Gemporia, Gemporia this morning at 9 a.m., we had some incredible naturally colored papaya pearls and we were selling quantities oh, of 200, amazing. right? And there wasn't a papaya pearl that we sold that was less than this, and this is significantly rare. You can't culture Grandidia, right? No. You can't, like, farm it. You can't <laughs> have a harvest of Grandidia, right? <coughs> Excuse me, um, isn't it a case with yeah. Grand Didgerite, the elements that are present within Grand Didgerite yeah. don't naturally form together, that's why it's so rare? So uh, That's why it's unbelievably rare, you know, like I said, it was discovered, it was like an anomaly. They discovered uh -huh. it in Suriname, they discovered it in um, uh, Sri Lanka, we've seen it, you know, mm -hmm. Antarctica, they say they found it, you know, like they find <laughs> everything in Antarctica, you just can't get to it. And this is it right now on your screen, in a bundle. In a bundle. In a yeah, multi-pack. You love it's it, a pack Dave. of Monster Munch or something. You, lo you love Monster Munch. <laughs> it's oh, my goodness me. <laughs> uh, there's, yeah. there's, there's 150, or there was 150 opportunities. 50 of you have got this already. Yeah. I don't, I, I'd be multi-buying immediately. And this, this gives you a multitude of options because of the size of the stones on offer. And the cuts. You've got really yeah. different quirky cuts here. I like, we call this like a, 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 an ir irregular... No, Ross. <laughs> No, Ross. That is amazing. 25 pounds. Wow. I can do that maths. That's five pound per opportunity in this. Mm -hmm. No. I, it's almost like, you know, sometimes you just want to like, we should have where this wall gets removed. And there should be deals that are that good that we just open it up to gems as well. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah. I wish we could do that. Where it just The graphics just transition over onto gems. And it's like, yeah. guys, did you know what we're doing next door? We're doing a, a, a bundle of Grandidia for this price. <laughs> I, I'm going to ask the team if we can do that. We're in the same building and we are next door. We should just knock that down. And maybe once a day or once a week, maybe once a month. Whenever there's a deal this good, we just, you know, we sound a little foghorn or something oh. and everyone <laughs> can you just join. You want to use a foghorn? Yeah, I, I do. Like yeah, why not? I, I love mean, it. It's, why not? Let's just do it. Just a big old foghorn <laughs> or something else. I don't know, a bell or something. Yes. I don't know. And uh, everyone, all of a sudden, whichever number you call, we'll be all come through to the same contact centre anyway. Yeah, exactly. OMG, that's nuts. Yeah, Jane. Yeah. Thanks, Jane. It is nuts. It At least is. we recognise it though, Jane, don't we? And this is the thing. I mean, I think it's absolutely wonderful um, that you know, we, we, Dave, you're making uh, you're making Grand Didgeri accessible. No, I'm not. You. I'm not. Sorry, Ross is. <laughs> Ross, I'm not. If it was me, if it was me, I would make it inaccessible. <laughs> I'd have a zero on the end of this prize because yeah. we're dealing with a huge carrot. We're dealing yeah, with gem material. That's the guy that's doing it. That's there the guy is. you have to thank. Happy little face. I'm not even going to take the. Credit. I don't want the credit. <laughs> I don't want the credit. I don't want you to. You know, when I go into the board meeting on like Monday and they're like. Um, <laughs> Did you do the twenty four ninety nine grand deal right bundle pack of five? I'm gonna go no, nope. no. It was uh, it was Ross. It was Ross. I didn't yeah. even uh, you know just absolutely deny any knowledge of it because I don't have an earpiece. Yeah. I didn't know. Well done, Chantal. Thank you. Now, oh, uh, well done, Chantal. Yeah. Well, this is the thing. 
Um, but you will recognise that obviously this is no reflection of the true value or worth. You know that. The we have closed. lost the plot. We have lost the plot. <laughs> yeah. We have. Isn't uh, that amazing? Okay. Like, oh, we must be the only jewellery house in the world that like our clientele say that to. No one walks into Tiffany and go, <laughs> only 30 grand for that. Have you guys lost the plot? I'll take two of them, please. <laughs> that never happens, does it? <laughs> Yeah, but here it does, and we're bringing you the rarest gemstone on earth. Actually, can you bundle it? You guys are nuts. <laughs> I'll take three. <laughs> you know, it never happens, but today it is. Today, yeah. you're literally multi-buying on a pack of five. Pack of five. And we, you, know, you wouldn't walk into Van Cleef and they're going, well, actually, we're doing a bundle. We're doing a bundle right now. <laughs> so you get a pack of five. There you go. Never He's happens. You're really offended by that, aren't you? Oh, bundle. my God. A bundle. A bundle. Yeah. Is anybody else just thinking about rainbow? Can I, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yeah, yeah, I am. But, fungal. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually not, actually. I'm actually thinking of things that are bundled and jewellery is not one of them, no, or gemstones are not one of them. 12, I mean, that's when you know Nine, that you've gone too low. That, you know, when, like, your own customer base are telling you you've gone too low. <laughs> I know. Like, that, there, there's no other business in the world. No, I know. No and other we business. Know this. We actually know this. It would never happen on a BMW forecourt, would it? No. No one would go, are you nuts? <laughs> You've gone way too low on that. I'll have three. <laughs> it never happens, does it? And I, I understand we're, we're joking around, but seriously, I've never bought a car. <laughs> it's I paid true. way too low for this. <laughs> and if I did, I'd worry that the brakes didn't work. Or something. <laughs> it's true. But this is lab certified, lab verified. This is the real deal. Absolutely. Gem quality. Well done. Down to the final nine. Well done. Oh, you've got to laugh, haven't you? There's seven left of those. Yeah, well done. Congratulations to every single one of you. Pairs. Oh, my God. I'll take one of these, Ross. I, uh, look, I don't know what his price is going to do. I don't really care. And I haven't had time to have a look at it all because I've been next door uh, oh this morning on, on Gems TV and I've jumped straight across. But I've just seen what you're about to see and I'm happy to take one. I'm happy to take one knowing what the Gems TV price would be on that. Knowing what Ross is about to do, that's mine. It's available on pre-order. And by the way, it's, I've just seen it in the studio on, on Al's hand. Yeah. And remember, this is the worst it's ever going to look. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about anything. If that was in uh, some of the jewellery houses like Goshwara or, or wherever, where they work with stones like this, and I love this, this kind of cut. That it's, a, it's a cabochon, but it's, because it's three-dimensional, it's tumbled. And that reminds me of like, the stones that you see in antiquity. So like yep. the first spinels that were ever traded. That's how they were cut. It's a native cut. That's how the first diamonds, believe it or not, were cut. When John Baptiste Tavernier was bringing the Hope Diamond back, that's how they were carved at the Golconda mine, the kingdom of Golconda. That's how those gemstones appeared to the world. And I think there's something really, really romantic about that cut. Those, you see the spinels in, in the, the Altani collection, which is the largest ever private auction held at Christie's. Mm -hmm. And it's the Maraharsha's jewellery. It's got the finest spinels, the finest rubies, emeralds, and, and gold condor diamonds. And they're cut like that. Amazing. And they're in these wonderful, incredible pieces of jewellery. And I've just seen that. What was the carat weight on that, just out of interest? It's the biggest carat weight, right. 40. Yeah. You can pre-order it. It's okay. coming up in... Yeah. Next 10 minutes. Perfect. Also, yeah. the singing bowls, they are a little bit delayed. Apologies. Don't go anywhere. They are coming up. They're really beautiful, actually. I know. I've heard them. Um, okay. Now, where to? Oh, he can't. Faceted rounds. I mean, I'm going to need to see a, a photograph. I don't think I've got the rounds here. Sorry, sorry about this. Oh, yeah. Rondells, I'm going to call them rondells. Wow. Um, oh, my goodness, look at that. <gasps> can I borrow, uh, Dan, could I just have a, um, a white? Because that, literally, just re-stranded. Yeah, phenomenal. And you know you were saying about, about transparency? Yes, that's it. There is transparency. In 100%. There. There's also, uh, like uh, on this particular recording, I'm not going to say it's present in all of them, but just show you the gem quality nature of it. There's, if that was a clock at um, 8 o'clock on your screen right now, that, that almost pure blue stone yep. that's coming round on the left side. Yep. That's phenomenal. See, yeah. I've never seen that before. Amazing quality. That's why I've kind of asked for the white bus, so you can actually <gasps> see. Look. Yeah, you can see it. You can see the quality and clarity of the stone, which is... Well, that's, uh, that's... That's the Holy Grail. Yeah. Right? That's the Holy Grail. It doesn't get any better than that. No, and it rarely gets bigger, believe it or not. 
Look at this. In, in, gem, in transparency times, it really gets bigger, I mean. Now, we're going to do something, and I, I, I use uh, Ross's words. Go on. Crazy. Oh. Mm -hmm. When I say crazy, it's crazy. When Ross says crazy, it's next level, isn't it? Yeah. There should be another like rung on that ladder. Mm -hmm. The deals that he does are just... Well, uh, as, as, I think, who was it that messaged and said nuts? Well, he even said it himself. He's like, uh, um, it's he's a loose cannon. His prices are embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> that's that's our own customer base telling him that. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And this is twenty carats. You said earlier on. I mean, is the kind of thing that yeah, I would get clasp. I would get it from one of the auction sites, like a vintage clasp, yeah. Debbie. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is something that I would get more than one yeah, because I want one for me. Definitely. Uh -huh. A piece of jewellery for myself. Because making jewellery for yourself that you can't afford to buy is one of my things. And then I'd have another one, as we were saying earlier, to go in the special box for that special birthday, for that special commission. You know, it's just... I don't know what it's going to, by well, the way. But the reality is we, we can... It's a fair assumption that we're not going to be able to purchase Grand Digirite back, even if... Can, I, can I just yet. say, by the way, um, that price, I've just... Uh, like, I'm... I'm ex I always talk about we exist in like a bubble, right? So mm -hmm. whether it's a jewelry maker or a jamboree, because they're the prices we see all the time and we think that's real. But, you know, I'm very fortunate in my role that I get to go out into the world, as you did out, Tucson mm -hmm. and, and whatever, and I see the real world pricing for stuff like this. And I just found myself then. I've only been here for what, half an hour, 45 minutes, and I'm already in the bubble. Because I was just about to say, yeah, that's a better price. That's not, that's a mad price. It is. That's 20 carats of transparent grandidi, right? With the premium transition ombre effect of colours. Yeah, all exactly. matched. And, and I'm telling you now, right or wrong, if that was on Gemporia, we would be in three figures, okay? We'd be in three figures, and it would be an incredible deal. We'd have a clasp on it, it'd be yeah. phenomenal, but we'd probably be at something like 179. 20 carats. That's By the way, and it would, uh, we would need a thousand of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. we'd need a thousand of them because 179 is ridiculous. They've never had the chance to own 20 carats of Grandi Dirac. Add into that the actual matching that's taking place here, the, the, the time, the, 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 the labor of love that's gone into every single one of these. It's probably the most time consuming piece of jewelry we would bring you. That is right there. You've got like 30 people sorting through the Grand Didier, right? almost on like a studio production line, putting this together. And at 60 pounds, a Gemporia, I would assume that was below cost. I would assume that was below cost on Gemporia. And yet um, we're at 60 pounds and, and that's probably nowhere near where Ross is going to end this. So, oh my goodness me, I've, uh, uh, yeah. This is the thing, you know, you have, the skills, or we can teach you the skills, the likes of our lovely Debs, can teach you the skills to make that high-end piece of jewellery that Dave was just talking about. Um, look, you guys could do something amazing with it. Debs, you could do something amazing with it. I mean, I'm pretty confident that, that just putting a clasp on this does something exactly. amazing yeah, to it. I was going to say that. Yes, it's, I it's, could. It's, <laughs> it's one of the few times yeah. where... I, I agree. I, when I come over here, I'm, I'm way out of my depth. Everyone here is so talented, and like I said, they have this wonderful imagination. I see the creations everywhere; it's amazing. I look at this and go, "I'm putting, I'm going to put an 18 karat gold, you know, vintage Hallmark clasp on yep. this, and I've got something that should be in a boutique shop window for north of two to three thousand mm. dollars." Well, that bundle was 20 carats, wasn't it? Oh, get out! We've matched the price, even though there has actually been. More work. But, and also, the, the, it's, it's serious gem grade. It's transparent. Yeah. It's not translucent now. It's not you know, semi-transparent. It's transparent goods. We can see the, the, the string running through the center of these beautiful Grand Didier Rats. Unbelievable that we're at 24 pounds and 99 pence. The mi just for those people that have just tuned in again, Dave, yeah. news on the mine location. Yeah, so, you know, with, with COVID taking place, without the labs being able to travel, without the news coming out of Madagascar, the market had no idea that this mine that we've been so fortunate to exist at the same time as is now depleted. Yep. It's gone. There is no Grand Didier mine anymore, which makes this, again, the rarest gemstone on the planet. We've seen the prices escalating dramatically in the market from our vendors because they can't replace those goods. And we now, again, exist in that pre-Grand um, Didier time mm -hmm. when you know, the, the going rate on this material was $150,000 per carat so or more. We said earlier on about maybe invest, having a little look at all the auction sites, mm -hmm. investing maybe in 18 karat gold. You know that you're going to be paying 
More for that than you will do the gemstone, which is just odd. It shouldn't yeah, be that way around. Odd. It should totally be the other way. We've got a big quantity of these. Mm -hmm. No, no, not today. <laughs> not today. We are an amazing deal, and if it doesn't go, that's fine. We will put the clasp on, and we'll bring it next door. We can't go lower than 25 quid. We actually can't go lower than 25 pound on this. Even if your system says you can, Ross, it, that system's wrong then. Like, whatever has happened here, this is 20 carats of Grand Hydra. There's no way that we bought this for less than £25. Do you know what, Dave? I could make that piece of jewellery. Do it. I, it's oh, super yeah. simple, isn't it? Yeah. Super simple to make. This is, abs this is a travesty what's about to take place. And I'm all in favour of, like, uh, doing great deals and giving you great deals, and that's what we're about. But this is actually a travesty that's about to happen. Uh, hello, Jane. It's because of Jay and Prices that I have been able to keep adding to the gem collection for my granddaughter. Um, and as an 18th birthday present in 12 years' time. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a birthday. Well, that, that is the thing, you know? What a birthday. It is one of those auctions. Yeah, you might not know what you're going to do with it. It's the acquisition. The acquisition... Oh, well. Here we go. I can genuinely... I, I've, I'm getting the vibe, Dave. Go on, what is your vibe? Uh, you, 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 you disagree with this, don't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I've made it abundantly clear. It's 20 pounds. There's going to be a perfume next door today. That'll be more than that. A perfume? A, perfume. a room spray? Yeah. <laughs> and no one's going, we're running out of perfume. We can't get any more perfume. No one's doing that. We, we've got <laughs> Grand Didi right, right now. The <laughs> rarest gems on earth. Forbes aren't writing about no. perfume. You know, they're not going, well... Twenty thousand dollars a millimetre. A lavender, millilitre, yeah. lavender oils. Of, yeah. you know. This is just insane. It's insane, and I love the cut on this. I think it's it produces the perfect piece for evening wear. You know, we're yeah. going to get mm. that scintillation, like a starry, starry night. That cascade effect, that domino effect of of lustre that is just, you know, twinkling on the neckline. Yeah. And then you've got the these, these incredible, beautiful. Uh, rare colours that you don't find and anywhere else. And at this kind of price, you know, obviously you're going to multiply, which so many of you have. Um, you, you do the one round the neckline, and then you take sort of the dark to the lighter colours on a, on a long, what we call a head pin or a piece yeah. of wire to create some sort of. I'm sorry, but it's £19.99. £19.99, yeah. It's £19.99. For Grand Digi, right? Gem quality, yeah. That's, I know. And Honestly, I, look, it's, it's crazy, it's insane. I'm, I, I wish we had a thousand of them at that price. We're at 20 pounds. I know. Uh, for, for, that's a pound a carrot. That's one pound Ooh. a carrot. Uh, it's nuts. There's a 45 that's one pound second per wait on the phone line. Please stay where you are. Stay where you are on the phone lines. Don't abandon your calls. 65% um, of people have not chosen to multiply. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've just seen um, a collector in West Midlands buy three of these. You've yeah. just got 60 carrots yeah. for £60. So what did that buy that you said? Yeah, way in 2003. We say way back when, but it was 2003. 2003, yeah. 2003, and uh, the first ever transparent gem grade Grand Didier was unearthed in, in more than 100 years of knowing of its existence. They found one piece of the Holy Grail. They cut it down. It was 29 points. Wow. It wasn't like a one carat, two carats, so 29 points, and it was acquired for $50,000. And Ross is going, well, we do ask for a pound a carat. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I love Ross. <laughs> I, I love Ross too. And, it's, and, and you guys love Ross as well. You love it's, it's the, it's the, he's the star of the show, not isn't He's not even it? sorry. Look, look, no, he's not. not sorry. He's not. He's not. <laughs> I mean, just giving, giving it away. And uh, he deserves all the credit. Oh, my goodness me. Ross, 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 that's absolutely awesome. Um, the last few, make sure you stay where you are on those phone lines. We can see you there. Hannah, I can, you'll be answered in a second, new customers. Ooh. A brand new strand of a... Oh, this. Oh. Let me see this. Oh, I bought... Me? Have you been ogling over mm. this? I would as well. Mm. I bought a Grand Digerite last year on a gem collector show... Uh, gem investor show, sorry. Um, and I can tell you the one I have at home, all certified, yeah. oh. looks like this. Yeah. I paid significantly more. Yeah. Well, you should, you bet you wish, uh, coming up. bet you wish Ross had been producing that, don't you? Mm. You <laughs> wish yeah. Ross had been producing that show. We, uh, the singing bowls are coming up. I know a few of you are asking, but bear with us. It's about t in about ten minutes' time. This. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Is, oh, that's lovely, isn't it? 
Look at that. There That's you go. One Look, of the this is, you know, my, the, the vendor that we talked about in Bangkok. This is the image that you sent me. And then you look at that. You look at your strand and you've got that kind of goods. And, you know, he's wow. priceless. Let's not forget he's priceless. His priceless is that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I can understand why you paid significantly more out and, you know, you're happy with that because you, oh, know, totally. you, you know you made a significant saving. It's just I still got makes a deal. no sense it's, about what we're doing that. right now. Yep. I still got an amazing deal. But again, this is the, one of the things that we kind of, oh my goodness, we, we take for granted. Also as well, it's yeah. the gemstone immediately. That if you know it, you know it. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, if you are aware of Grandidia, right, you see that on someone, you know it's Grandidia, right? Because like Al said, this colour is so rare, it can't be anything else. No. Can't be anything else. What, 30 carats? This is a How many do we have of these? 181. You got your scales? You got scales. Your scales. Uh, I don't have it here. Don't worry. Um, we'll have a little look. Yeah, I mean, that one in the centre, what do you think? Well, we're going to find out. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. We are basically sourcing. We, we use the word strand yeah. as well, which is yeah. obviously what we're buying. And I know that is a, a terminology that you use with high gemstones, yeah. much like your jadeite. But this is more than a strand. This is a parcel, isn't it? Yeah. And this is the thing, again, the challenge, you know, if it was on our sister channel, these would all be in, I don't know, pairs of earrings. They would be pendants, solitaire rings, necklaces, whichever it is, as single stones. You have a parcel. This is a parcel Sorry, I am of grandidurite. So let me count them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen solitaires, but that one in the centre is a giant. Yeah, that is. That's gorgeous. An absolute giant. I know I'm quiet. I'm just trying to figure this thing out. That's all right. I want to show you. Look how amazing this right. one is. You got any scissors? Uh, yeah. Thank you. I'm going to cut this one. I'll, I'll buy this. I'll keep this, whatever. But I, I want to know how big that stone is. That's huge. Yeah, it's massive. And is it, is Grandidurite, you know, it's not of like... Of course. It's like every gemstone, you know, with the, like the height... It's not like that naturally forms a bit larger. No, and Before. also as well, like every gemstone. Sorry, I'm, yeah, I'm going to cut this up. Um, you know, the, the higher the carat weight, the higher the price per carat. Oh, my god. You know, what did, the, what, did, what did the GIA say? They said there was only 10 above a carat, wasn't there? Well, oh my goodness. Ah, uh, this is amazing. And already we're at £65 on split pay. This can't be right. The next price that you're about to see... This can't be right. ...is not the closing price. Why, what are you reading? So you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it can't be right. Let we're me... not even stopping about uh, what you're going to say. Well, we should be. <coughs> Absolutely for that one stone. Oh, my goodness me. I did pay more than that for my single stone. Did you? Yeah, and I'm happy. I, I was going to say, I'd be OK with that because, you know, it's going to go in the special box. Look at that. It's and I would be happy for this one. It's one of the biggest carat weights yeah. that we've seen. Well, that, that's got to be wrong because it's saying that that stone alone is 30 carats. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, a little bit way off. We Either our graphics about. are very wrong. I am a little bit concerned. Or our scales. I am a little bit concerned. I must um, like want to get like a, a something that we know the carat weight of, just to see if that is right, because that is a massive start. It is massive. Right, let's start the clock. How many do we have? 180, did you say? It's one of the biggest carat weights. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I, I mean, the simplicity of this, I think I love. Absolutely, and, and with a stone like this, like Dave was saying, it's so easily recognisable. I don't know if you could even make a stone that pretends to look like this because of the colour and I just think that you don't have to do much to it. Well Dave you've said before exactly showcase the actual just showcase the beauty. the beauty. Dave if we talk about what other gemstones are slightly remotely bear a resemblance. Yeah so in sapphire there are some kind of peacock sapphire peacock sapphires. Uh, like a montana sapphire. Would you see those for 49.99? Nope. What else maybe maybe I have seen the occasional spinel weirdly from Sri Lanka that that tend towards the green. Okay. They're extraordinarily rare. Again you know you're talking thousands of dollars per carat. I can't think of another gemstone off the top of my head. Maybe a, uh, 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 maybe yeah an indicolite tourmaline maybe uh, a uh, 
a tanzanite, like a, a bicolor tanzanite yeah. or something, you know? Uh, but nothing else that really I can think of. These are rarer than all of those stones. Yeah. Oh, God. And we've just <laughs> made that possible at £14.99 pence on your split pay. Well, I mean, we say possible. I don't even know if it is possible, but Ross is just doing it anyway. Yeah. He's just doing it anyway, um, which is great for you guys. It's phenomenal for you guys. We're going to honour it. We're going to give you the best deals. And Ross is empowered to give you guys the best deals. And that's what this is about. What... What are you doing, Ross? I've got to say, what are you actually doing? Because <laughs> even I'm asked that to doubt. I don't know what's going on here. How, uh, we've got the biggest quantity. Well, I mean, that doesn't mean anything, though. I mean, like, it does mean something. I get it. But this isn't like a, you know, a, a show where, like, that quantity, we're like, we've got a big quantity, we're going to go low price, because that's always a reflection of we can get it again. Um, and, Dave, again, we could take this, we could slice the Grand Digerite, literally yeah. down the centre, yeah. turn them into cabochons, yeah, two yeah. cabochons. Would love that. And do a showcase Finish, next and door. And a showcase next yeah. door. How many, how many of those stones? Let's count them. Uh, did I say 19? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. So that then could be turned... Oh, my... We can't go any lower. That's... What's he saying? Every pound is about to cross that price tag. It already has. The mine is closed. Oh, uh, my goodness me. <laughs> do you do Grand Digerite showcases on, on Gem? Yeah, the last time I did it was our birthday last year. Okay. Yeah, and there was nothing of this caraway, of course. <coughs> there was nothing that we brought to our collectors that was below three figures. Mm -mm. And you're at 24 99 No, that is stupid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're wrong. I don't think you're wrong. Ross is in love with us. Uh, JM customers, we are in love with Ross. Oh, I, I mean, of course you are. Of course. But that's the thing. You know, if you think from a business stance... Right. I'm just going to let you know right now that both myself and Adam have looked at this and assuming that it's right. Assu I'm not saying it is or whatever, but I'm just going to be... You know, we're both, like, dumbfounded by it. So we put that down. Yeah, we can look at the camera okay. above us. Uh, I don't know if you're sick. It's not that bright. Okay. Maybe we will. It's on Carrot, yeah? Yeah. It's zero, 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 zero right now. Scoot you down. There you go. There we are. So yeah. that, you, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up. You'll be able to see it though. I can see so it. So it's yeah. on zero, zero, zero. And you can see the denomination or whatever the units is carat weights, yeah? Yeah. Can you see that? I it's can. At the top here, yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to put this big stamp, yeah? Yeah. Wait until it goes to zero. zero. I'm just saying, like, Something what is, is going... Something's not quite right. It's either our graphics or... I'm, j I'm just saying, not, not all of your stones are going to be like this or whatever. And yeah, isn't, that, or isn't that always a, a minimum carat weight or something? Yeah. That we have on our screen? I'm just... Because I was just like... I, I bought this strand, by the way, so I've cut it up. But I was just like, I need to know how big that stone is. I need to know how big that stone is. That's crazy. It's just crazy. I'm not saying that... I mean, uh, I don't know if those scales are wrong or right or whatever, but it's a massive stone. It's a massive stone. Uh, hello, Liz. Uh, saying, got mine. Going to restrand and put with spacer beads uh, in between. Yeah. That simple. It that's, does... that's what I do, Liz, too. Absolutely. Yeah. That simple. That's crazy. Um, yeah. I mean, this is the, you, you're right, you know. You would think that across the whole partnership, and we are run very separately. It's still quite new to us, isn't it, moving, um, moving oh, God, together yeah. and obviously things like that. But uh, as soon as as soon as some of our friends and colleagues get wind of the Grand Did Right Showcase, that oh they my get God, yeah. twenty-four pounds. Well, don't say my name. Don't say my name. I said oh, everyone's oh, getting yeah, used right. to everything in the partnership. Everyone's just getting used to Ross and the way that he's just like, <laughs> I do the best prices and like just stuff like this. Yeah, stuff like this, which is just insane, as you guys know. Oh, uh, sorry. What was that? Oh, we're gonna go straight into that star by it's that huge. The one, one that you've got me, Ross. Before we bring graphics like yes. To see. The one that I told you, it's like the Altani collection. The, the oh, Mughals and Marahajas, Christie shirt. 40 carats. It's huge. 40 carats. Look at the quality of these. I've got a couple again to show I you so you can this. see that, con uh, you know, the consistency oh, of so quality So like well. a designer, like Italian inspired, like oh, Pilato or something. That is unbelievable, isn't it? Perfection. Absolutely unbelievable. So just to show you the consistency. and oh, Look at this stone. Yeah. Well, the one next to it is the one I'm in love with. The big one at the bottom. This one? Oh, God, yeah. 
Look at the translucency through that. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's another stone uh, that, that could pass for this. Paraba. Paraba, yeah. Not quite as hypnotic, I don't think. No, I agree. I like Paraba, don't get me no, wrong. No, no. I mean, a good Paraba, though. Like, yeah, I'm talking yeah. Brazilian Paraba. <gasps> I don't know what Ross is do uh, doing to this, but I'm hoping I don't that care. It's I'm, I'm with you guys on this one because I've got it, so whatever. I'm <coughs> Would you, uh, again, as a designer, uh, Debbie, extraordinaire. Again, you know, you don't mess with perfection too much. Mm -hmm. And I just, I love this. In my opinion, it's, the colour is just divine. I would take one, that middle one, and I'd have it as a pendant. Yeah. Mm. And I'd either do a sterling silver or a gold bail and just have it on a chain. And then and we're already at 99.99. Sorry to interrupt. That's OK. The rest doing? for earrings and, you know, you could get a lot out of this strand, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they, I mean, they're individual grand right pendants. That's what I mean. You could get loads out yeah. of the strand. So you can get it for you, the biggest one's for you. <laughs> and then you can do, you know, sell them or pass them on as presents, put them in the box for later. Um, just stunning. I, it'd be nice to see, like, um, a gold chain, like a oh, long yes. gold chain, and, yeah. but then have, like, stations of grand right. Yeah, that would like be the, beautiful. You know, just dangling, but uh, equally spaced, but only about six on the chain. Mm. Beautiful. I'd love that. There are so many of you there already. It is our star buy. It's huge. Your singing bowls are coming up. I don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. They are individual solitaires. And again, think about the average carat weight. This is a gemstone that naturally forms small. Oh, tiny. When the GIA went out there two years into the mining of the, this Tranamora district, they were like, there's been 10 stones over one carat. Wow. But if that's <laughs> still the case today, they're all in this necklace. They're all in this strand, <laughs> yeah, aren't they? Yeah, that's true. Oh, my goodness. How many, Russ? Oh my goodness me, we've got we've got a big quantity of these. Incredibly, I don't even know how. Wow, that's again. He's gone to his classic. His classic. That's. Let's look at this price sheet here. This gentleman in Bangkok, Ross is is just flat out pound a carrot. That's what I do. <laughs> One pound per carrot, mate. Uh, whatever you want, forty carrots, twenty-five carrots, pound a carrot. That's uh, that's what I do, yeah. And I'll bundle it together for you, and you can have five <laughs> packs of it. I'll take it on your way. Go on. <laughs> that's wrong. The busiest guy in Bangkok, wouldn't he? He literally would be. Oh, yeah. Not wow. 2,000 to 4,000 then. No, well, we'll do one pound. One pound. One pound. Carat. What about if they get bigger, though? Does your prices go up like this guy's? Because this guy goes up to three and a half carats and they jump to $20,000 per carat. No, one pound a carat, flat rate. <laughs> the big ones, the small ones, whatever, one pound a carat, take them or leave them. <laughs> I love it. And, uh, well, guess what? Oh, my God. Isn't it? I, I mean, I feel like you've kind of, you've, you've poked that dragon there now, I know, I have, I have, I have. It's like, oh, I'm going to stick to that price point then. <laughs> I know, you're right. I'm going to go even lower. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my, look at the quantity. Oh, these, I see it now, 192, wow. These are huge, and they are gem quality. They are beautiful. Oh, pick a, which one? Have you got a favourite? I, I can't choose, because I think they're both amazing. Which one? The one on my hand or the one on my fingers? Mm, you can't choose. They're it's just, hard. It just shows the consistency, the yeah. quality exactly. across the... That's the word. OK, well, I'll tell you what, I'll do both. Yeah. I'll do both. But look, imagine this now. In, oh. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> look at it. Oh. My God. Space to be in between or chain, as Dave said. Just amazing. 40 carats of natural... Genuine grandidurite. What's he gonna do? I, 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 I have no. <laughs> What's idea he gonna there. do? Am I going back? Yeah, there you are. Oh wow! What is that, a carrot, Ross? Uh, seventy-five p. Oh god, he's he is, he's gone for it, isn't he? He's gone for it. Seventy-five pence per carrot. That's you know when you insane. spoke, did, did you speak to anybody in Tucson about Grand Digirite? Yeah, yeah, did, did, like I spoke to a couple of the guys, some guys that mine Paraba in Mozambique, <coughs> and they used to do a lot with the Madagascar mine, they used mm -hmm. to be involved in it. They also were involved in the Cameria uh, deposit, a gentleman's called Eunice, uh, the Fruit Brothers, they're, yeah. they're famous in East Africa. And I was asking them about Grand Digirite, you know, because I still want to bring something for the birthday on Gems TV, and they were like, the mine's closed, it's gone. It's gone. So can you imagine if you went... 75p. I mean, that's like, uh, that's like an old-fashioned sweet shop, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
You know, like 75 pence. Yeah. Like a little mix in a bag. Yeah. And he's, got, he's shoveling Grandidi right into the little paper Happy Shopper bag. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah. and it's amazing. And, but look, this is why a jewellery maker is so busy. This is why you're in a queue. This is why yes. it's one of those incredible weekends. It's Super Saturday. And when we can do the deals, we'll do it. You know, it's one thing to say, you know, we, uh, we talk the talk, but Ross walks the walk. You know, it's to say, oh, we pass on the saving. You can see it right now. Oh my goodness me, look at that. 40 carats of Grand Indira for 30 quid. Look, I'd pay, 20, I'd pay more for that one central stone. Oh my gosh. That one central more. stone on, on Gems TV, just with the gold bell, 18 carat gold bell, as it should have, Yeah. you'd be in three figures. And that yes. would be a credible deal. And I said, like I said, you'd need a thousand of them. Yes. Mm. And yet we're here today, we're going, you get that and you get uh, like the rest of all of this as well. <laughs> Sensational. Everyone's multi-buying, I don't blame you. Um, so, uh, should we go and hide now? What's we, the, uh, denial I see it. knowledge. I see it. It's purely quantity driven, apparently. Please know that this is no reflection of the true value. Of go and get it valued. Right? Just go and get it valued. Yeah. Go and get it I'm valued. And then tell the person when they give you a valuation, just say to them, "I paid seventy-five pence per carat for it." And, and then Ross would become like famous in the industry. Like, who is this Ross guy? Who is this Ross? Roscoe. <laughs> yeah, who is Roscoe? What's good? You mean he's doing all this stuff? Uh, yeah. Uh, this is your Rock chance. Rock and roll Roscoe. Oh, for sure, 100%. There's how many? 25 on the strand, solitaires, give or take. Remember that number. Oh, oh. I know what he's doing. Uh, we know what he's doing, don't we? Yeah. You know, gemstones like, bear with me, rose quartz. Jaspers. Yeah. Uh, you get quartzites mm. and your agates and things. You know when you go to somewhere like um like a, a a wildlife safari park and you have like the gobstopper machines and you can put yeah. a couple of pounds yeah. in there and get a loose stone. <laughs> yeah. Right now. Yeah. Oh god. Twenty four nine nine. Ross, you've single handedly put the grand digerite what the wow, rare wow, gemstone. Wow, what a what a great deal on beautiful gemstones. Just got these my daughter's eighteenth in October. Mm. Congratulations. Happy birthday to your daughter Claire from from Ross. May Lottie. Because <laughs> he's just done yeah. that for a ridiculous person. And you're right, it is the gobstopper machine, isn't it? It is. It is grand grand that, that right. machine, you know, the soft play that you just have to turn and then a little gumball drops out or something. And yeah. That's what he's doing for Grand yeah. Mom, Mum, I've got well, I've got a I've got a lab certified four carat grand <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, imagine that. <laughs> but that's what Ross is doing. That's what Ross is doing, if, effectively. Unbelievable, unbelievable. The final 60 opportunities. I, I'm, I mean, this is exciting. The fact that you can get Grand Digerite and multi buy on it. Ridiculous. Please know that this is not the norm. This is not normal. I actually, can we do that one day? Can, can we get one of those old machines in here? Right, and that's what decides what our star buyer is going to be. And in those little, you know, the balls, yeah, and yeah. you open them up, and the, the toys inside. Yeah. We put in like a hundred different auctions, yes, and, and they're in there. Yeah. And we have we have like a uh, a jewelry maker token. It's like a coin. <laughs> and we go like at one point every day we have to go over and see what is today's star buyer. We go over to like the jewelry maker machine, put it in, and we the turn little, it, and the thing drops out. The little gobstopper. Oh, you're brilliant! Totally need to do that. Hello to you, Maria. Thank you, Ross. Oh, I missed it. Um, I spent a lot today, but worth it. I'll tell you what, you saved a lot, Maria. Yeah. You've saved a lot. And I understand what you're saying. Of course, you know, when we spend money, we know about it, but I'm telling you what, what Ross has just done. Yeah, it's never good. been done in the business before. It's never been done. I think Jenny so, has hit the proverbial nail on the this head. This is going to be one of those, remember when JM did this days? Mm. Yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Madness is. days. Yeah, madness days. Mad, you go, uh, did we seriously buy? Do you know one of the things I used to do, and I've, I haven't done it for a while, but literally, you know, you get your cards, your certificate of authenticity cards, mm. which cost, what, 25 pence, which is yeah. madness. Oh, um, my God. They cost more <coughs> than the Grand Diddy, right? <laughs> for carrot. <laughs> that thing that we throw away all the time. Get your, get your lab cert. It's only 25p. Yeah. And, and Ross is doing Grand Diddy right for 25p per carrot or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. Wow. But you can write it on there. Don't, if you do have it uh, um, insured, don't tell them what you paid for your grand did you right? No. Don't, don't tell them. Make them work for the money. But seriously, yeah, you'll look back on that moment, Jenny, and we'll go, what on earth? Yeah. Madness. Now, what's that? One more. Have we? Pears? 
There are more trillions. They look more trillion. They look like this hearts. This is the last auction, yeah. They look like hearts. From here, by the way, I haven't This seen is the last of the Grandid, you right. Thank God for that. <laughs> Never lie down. Because these prices oh, are crazy. wow, okay. There is 100. Mm. Sorry, 200. Oh, look at the title. Close out deal, exclamation mark. Like he needed any encouragement. This is all Wayne, apparently. Oh, God. Ross and Wayne together. 200. Okay. These are hearts, by the way, and what I mean by that is, and I know we're going to do a close out deal because Wayne's put that on the title, and you've got Ross in the gallery, so, you know, I'm not taking away from anything that's going to happen right now, but these are the, the most gem uh, stones we've had so far in terms of how gemmy they are, uh, how incredible they are. And on top of that, these are heart cuts. So, with gemstones as rare as Grandidi, right? They never put the cleave in the heart. They no. won't put the cleave in. Mm. Because, you know, the, the, how many broken hearts are left on the lap wheel? You know, it makes it such an expensive gemstone because so many break in that process. These are huge. They're 32 carats, and they are the wonderful hearts of the Tranamoro deposit, the last ones. And there's a 60-second clock, and you know it's going to be the craziest deal. No, we are going to do this in one price drop. Yeah, let's do that. Sorry, sorry. No, sorry. no, let's do it. Let's go out of the it's bank. It's the last one. We know we're behind. The singing bowls are coming up. Coming up immediately after the break. I love the singing bowls as well. Me too, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Don't worry, I promise you they are coming up. Very delayed, but they are coming up. It's worth the wait. Oh my goodness, one price crash. Ah, these are beautiful, I agree with you. These are really gemmy. They're very gemmy, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, they're sizable as well. They're huge. Oh my goodness me. Is there a price already on the website or something? Because people are just multi buying right now. Like, they know got, the price. I think they've. They're they, getting the gist of it. Yeah. <laughs> and we've said close out in front of it and. And rock and roll Roscoe, yeah. Also, as well, when we promote these shows, we, we shouldn't even have a picture of me. We should just have Ross. Because <laughs> if people, people tune in that, oh, Dave's here, but if they go, Ross is producing, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be there. I'll book yeah. the day off work. Ross, can you, do, can you give us your best, uh, yeah. uh, best poster, poster? And he should just have a calculator. You know how I'm holding a gemstone? He should be on that there image on the poster. There he is. That's a great there image of is. Ross. But on this, you know, sometimes I'm holding the, the gemstone or sometimes I'm just there. We should have Ross holding the calculator, but upside down, like he doesn't even know how to work it. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Just like, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> and he's written hello on it. You know, as he used to do a math. Oh, the other one. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. I chose that <laughs> deliberately. <laughs> um, you had to go with that, didn't you? Yeah, I, I think you actually it. said it as I'm well. I'm not even sorry. I actually think you actually said it. It's probably all right for you to say, because you're a woman and you could say that, but yeah. I can't. Yeah. I, can't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get Yeah, $19.99. Probably lose my job. Um, Actually, saying that, I don't know if I would because Ross hasn't lost his job and he's giving money away. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, I, mean, I think we're all immune here. Yeah? Totally. We've already, we've already mentioned that today, haven't we? We have. We've what? already spoke, said that word out loud. We were talking what? about nicknames. Uh, right. And how... Whose nickname is that? No. Well, I'll go on. My, my Shih Tzu dog right. is Booby, is his nickname. And okay. hers is... Well, I short Willow. Short and Willow a lot, and I've got to get out of this habit because when I'm stood in a supermarket shouting Willy, oh, yeah, I no. get some funny looks. That's hey. amazing. <laughs> That's great. And um, there you go. I, it, and I didn't say any of those words. No, no. No, no. tell you not you. And I'm ever so sorry about this close-out grand digerite deal. I don't know how I've gone down that. What on earth is actually going on there? <laughs> because I have to also take in a moment of realisation, Dave. Well, I mean, why is it even on split pay? Why is it even on split pay? That's what I don't get. It's, it's crazy. It's ten quid. On split, on split pay. Oh, um, my goodness me. Oh, right, let's do it then. Let's, well, do, let's do it. There's one more auction to bring you. Keep uh, on dialing yeah. through. It's the first time we've seen anything like this. The, this the only round. Yeah. Bigger carrot weight. Yeah. Graduated rounds as well. Yeah. Mm. Perfect for the next Should we take round. it under 20? No. <laughs> How about the lowest price? Oh, no, why? Price? Why have you just said that and, and said the stuff you said before, where you like bigger carrot weight? Um, you know, why, why say that? It's How bullshit. many are there then, Ross? 200 of these are available. Do you know, this is the, this is the, uh, this is how These I are know. so gemmy, they look like marbles. <coughs> they don't do. they? They actually look like marbles and that's because they're not opaque. Look at that one. I know. Ooh, yes. Oh, look at that one. 
Which one? This one? You got it. Yeah, look. Yeah, that, that is peacock beautiful. colour. Absolutely amazing. This is how I and, know and that we but, have but stepped into the world of crazy. Ross is doing this for, the, for probably a better price that you could buy marbles for. Mm. Isn't it? You know, he actually yeah. is. If you want to bought like a set of marbles or something, or some nice marbles. I can't believe I'm going to say <laughs> this, but today I got 72 oh, carats no. of Grandy Dry. Now there's a sentence and a half, Janet, and County Down. Well done, yeah. Janet. Well done, Janet. Well done, Janet. We have stepped into that bubble again, haven't we? We yeah. We're all re sense of realisation has just yeah, gone out the Yeah, we've fallen window. down the rabbit hole, haven't we? Totally. And I the mean, Mad Hatter is in the gallery right now. <laughs> totally. We're bringing Grandy Dry to under £20. Yeah. You've just said boobies. I've just said, you know, it, 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 it's that. What on earth? <laughs> welcome Lowest to Jury price. Maker. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Jury Maker. Right? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's me. amazing. Look at that. I like the fact that everybody can get it. Yeah. You know, like the last split pay. Oh. That means that everybody yeah. can, well, hope, hope, you know, most people can afford to own it. And I really like that, that any jewellery maker yeah. can work with it. I agree. It's, really it's so cool. accessible. It's so affordable for the most rarest and one of the most expensive gemstones on the face of the planet. We're bringing you huge carrot a multitude of options to add to, to you know, your portfolio of creating incredible gemstones and jewellery. Um, and, and you're paying these kind of prices. And, and, and I've been looking. I've been looking at that. What do we call that behind you, Dave? Picture. The plasma, the plasma, yeah, the plasma picture yeah. and everything. But, you know, the Grand Deed right above you, it literally has this aura about yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. so. Absolutely. I completely agree. It literally glows. And that's what you're going to see. Remember what Dave said at the beginning of the show, that this is actually the worst you're ever going to see, the Grand Deed Oh, right God, this screens. is the absolute worst. Unbelievable. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Everybody, well done. And Dave, thanks for joining us. Oh, no us. problem. I wouldn't have missed um, it. Yes, uh, yeah, really incredible. Thank you for having me. So, we now know watch this space with Grand Digirite. Oh, absolutely. And you know, like I said, you guys, you know, like you said, Debs, you know, keep it to, to one side. You've got it. That's yeah. the hardest thing. That's when you've got 72 carats of it. Yeah. Keep it and just wait for that moment of inspiration to come, whether it's commission, whether it's, uh, you know, you acquire something else. You think that would go nicely with that. You've got something that we know you won't be able to get going forward. Mm -hmm. So congratulations and well done to you guys for, you know, being informed and making the right decisions and, and, and acquiring this. And those of you that are buying for future generations, what, yeah, what an totally. incredible thing to do. The singing bowls are coming up immediately <laughs> after the Blake and then are, uh, then sorry, what? Masterclass with uh, Debbie and your wonderful uh, demonstration, which I'm really excited about. Don't go anywhere. We'll keep the graphics on your screen so you can keep adding to your order. Deb and I return after this. Jewelry makers, join us for Battle of the Beads with Hannah and Monica going head to head. Date, Saturday the 23rd of April. Location, the Village Solly Hall. An epic showdown you won't want to miss. Hi, I'm Laura, I'm a sound therapist and I'm looking forward to coming on to The Jewellery Maker for you to have your own experience of these beautiful singing bowls. Singing bowls are used as part of meditation and yoga practice to enhance your clarity and state of mind. So I can't wait for you to join me to learn more about the power of these amazing tools. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, 
everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. We've listened to you, your ideas, your bundles, your demos, your makes, your Jewelry Maker Appreciation Day, this coming Monday. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Welcome, welcome, welcome and firstly an apology, an apology that we are, we run behind but I promise you Dave was actually on Gems, our sister channel, earlier on this morning, and he came, bless him, straight across to us, so everything's been knocked on. But I can guarantee you will still have your masterclass, um, so don't worry about that. But it's with uh, it's immense pleasure to introduce to you Laura May Deacon. Oh, thank you, well. Laura Vision, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Look you look so beautiful, as thank are you. these. They're amazing, aren't they? They so really are. Beautiful. I'm so glad that they finally... Arrived. Finally Hello. arrived, and I must, uh, yeah. we've, we've all been, um, yeah, really looking forward to this show, and probably one of the most anticipated items. I think so, definitely. You yeah. Know. So, Laura, um, I mean, you're here to, uh, to talk to us about what singing bowls are, and yeah. um, they've been around for centuries, right? Been around for centuries. You know, I first discovered these ten years ago. I was living out in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and I used to go to lots of like yoga practices, and mm -hmm. I didn't even know what they actually were then. Yeah. I just thought they were like a form of yoga, and that they went with the practice. Okay. So when I was there and involved with my yoga. I would come away from a class feeling, you know, electric. My vibration was was just higher. And then when I come back to the UK and, and started to do yoga and realised that this was a separate form of holistic healing, I was I was kind of like that's when my interest in it started. Okay. Um, and uh, the last few years they've started to enter the UK. Yes. And that's where. 
people are starting to open their mind to this amazing tool. It's fascinating because I know this is something that our sister channel have also done recently yep. with presenter Ellis and they went absolutely crazy. Um, and we've, we've briefly kind of touched here at Jewelry Maker on the fact that, you know, maybe, be it on the back of the pandemic possibly, lots of us Definitely, are looking for 100%, other yeah. ways to make us feel a little bit more positive and, and... Just bring in the calmness, you know, we're back busy, aren't we? Yeah. We had that period where we were still, and we might have created that space within our homes, mm -hmm. within, within ourselves, um, to kind of bring that level of other forms of happiness in mm -hmm. you know and then all of a sudden we're back to the grind we're yeah, back doing what we did and it's a shock to our system yeah and i think that's why i really wanted to bring these into the area that i live in solihull birmingham um and say like you know step out of this zone against we're not designed for this constant 24 7 overwhelmingness and that's where i was like people need to tap into these to the sound yeah yeah it brings you away straight away the minute you hear this it brings for me uh into another dimension uh, and and a lot of our viewers are very passionate about uh, about sort of crystal healing and yes. um you know chakras i know that uh, designer debbie you're you, you love singing bowls don't you yeah it's like a sound bath isn't it well, it is a sound bath. Yeah, yeah it's where it, yeah. it kind of you feel it on every level. It's not just sound, is it? It goes through vibration. The vibration goes through your whole endocrine system. Wow. So while you think you're present with the sound, actually, the the, the tunage of these chakra bowls are going into each element of your energy system, and that's where the alignment just comes in. You know, um, and that's where the the self care comes in. The self. Mm -hmm kind of healing you know you can go yeah. to a sound bath but you can equally you can do, it do, it, do it yourself yeah. and you're so right you know we're all we're all uh you know so so caught up in i liked how you worded it the grind if you like you know yeah. and, you know life can get frantic and busy of course and it can. i'll be the first to admit sometimes i don't take that time to just go okay just stop stop breathe yeah um yeah, and having something like this at home is almost going to well encourage us to take that time it encourages you because you know and once you do it as a practice when you don't do it that's when you'll notice for me anyway your mood sinking mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of anxiety coming in mm -hmm. the stress the lack of sleep um and you're human you forget things don't yeah. you? you forget your rituals sometimes you forget to do what is good for you yeah. but i think having this present within your home and within a space that you love it is so simple to tap in for two to five minutes. If you mm. want to make it an hour, whatever, it just starts that level of groundness off and works from the root chakra up to the crown. Wow. And it, it sets that alignment. And for me, if ever I've had a bit of a day where I'm feeling a little bit, you know, of anxiety or stress, I, I hit into my room and I'm not just saying it. It goes. Yeah. It I mean, fixes. I mean, uh, even if you, because obviously there's, there's, the, this has been around for for centuries, as for we said. Centuries for Tibetan years. China, Tibetan, Tibetan um, sound bowls. Um, yeah. that, that have always sort of thrown their weight, you know, their weight behind this kind of concept and idea. But even if you're maybe a little bit more sceptical about it, just taking that time out is surely a good thing. Yeah. Just yeah. I think I think the you know the power of the Chinese medicine, what they do. You only have to look at their culture to admire it. Yeah. Um, you know, Chinese people tend to live that little bit longer. They're more peaceful. They're more calm. And I think the Western, us Westerners, I've said hello to that and yeah. realise that this doesn't belong or the spiritual journey doesn't belong behind closed doors no, anymore. Absolutely. We're not living behind a closet where this is kind of oh seen as a little bit, you know, different or woo woo. It's real. Yeah. The energy that these bowls create, what they do and how they can heal from your mind to your soul, right through to your body. It's magic, honestly. That's amazing. They really are. Now they 
They do come with these beautiful bags as well. Yeah, these are the I'm gutted that mine didn't come with these oh. when I first started my journey. Because if ever yeah, you know, if you're going away and you want to take and it with you, you can do you that. Can. You yeah. can, yeah. Because they're all protected. Yeah. Um, so obviously you've got the large bag for the large bowl and the smaller for, I say smaller, because it's not by small. I think this is needs. an eight inch, is it? And this is a 12. Wow. So you can and just... And a beauty. Yeah, yeah. I love, I just think that, they're such a beautiful talking point for the home as well. Yeah. Um, now, now, before we bring the graphics onto screen. Okay. We can see so many people already on the phone lines and people. You won't be able to see it yet. But oh, I can't, are there. No, you I can't. can't yet, but you will see in a few moments' time. Can you give us a sort of a, a demonstration of how yeah, we work? Yeah, of course I can. Things? Like, you know, I'm self-taught. I have done my online sound therapy training, but I've taught myself how to use these. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really simple. So you've got your mallet. Um, and it's got a rubber, obviously, little end, and you can just tap them from any dimension. And that was so gentle. And I tap that. That's you can feel that vibration go. I mean, I don't know whether the viewers at home will be able to hear how powerful that is. So what this does, each time you tap it from each direction, kind of slowing down those alpha brain waves Amazing. and that's when you when you do go into a meditation it will help you go deeper so then you can just simply bring the mallet around the rim and that's when the waves are intensified and you can feel that vibration increase Depend. You, can't feel it. you can feel it all through. It's in your head, to your throat, to your heart. So we've got a couple of messages uh, for you uh, from Heather. Um, I have had these bowls for years and used them in my yoga classes. They're very special. Special's a, a great description. They are special. Special. Yeah. Super special. Um, here's another message for you. Uh, they are even. They're even just beautiful to have on display. Totally agree. That's yeah, they're so tasteful as well. Yeah. You know, it's not at all daunting. It, it is just a tasteful piece to have in your home. Yeah. As well as, you know, the start pack to your spiritual journey. Uh, Maria's asking, what chakras are they tuned to? They're beautiful. So this chakra is tuned to your heart. This is the 12-inch bowl, is that mm -hmm. correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and this is your heart, so if you're feeling a little bit unaligned, you know, there's there's messages or conversations that you feel that you need to have with people, um, and it's coming from the heart, you will tap into this bowl. Okay. And this is our throat chakra bowl, so any communication that you need to deliver, or an interview, or again, another conversation that you feel you have, need to have, or have had that has caused any level of anxiety, I'll use this on one of my clients, mm -hmm. and that will help with basically clearing any blockages that wow. you have from within, again, with the heart. There's, you, can, you can carry so many of these bowls to all different elements of the chakras. Yeah. Um, and I would just, like, you don't have to have the whole collection, but it will fix and align one area which will help the other energy system so this is guest designer Susie who is um, uh, this is absolutely up your street Susie isn't it saying I have both these sizes and I cannot rec recommend them enough um, I use them every day to balance the home and that's yeah. guest designer Susie oh it's amazing she's very um, yeah. much like our, our Debbie very very passionate about chakra mm. and uh, alignment and those kind of things now we're gonna open this opportunity comes with the bag Comes with the bag, comes with the little stand, and obviously stand. the. Um, did you call it a mallet? Yeah. Yeah, with the mallet itself. There are 50. It's very exclusive. Now the clock is ticking away. They're so rare as well. And how, how when I was speaking to a friend the other day, she was saying, like, why, why do you need sound healing mm -hmm. when you're doing a guided meditation and I just said it and I just thought it was quite a good point like I wouldn't go to the gym without my trainers on true I wouldn't go to the gym without my leggings on that's very true so I wouldn't go into a meditation well I even when I first started without this you know that's a really good point 
Really, really good point. And mm. you can, I, I've ne I'll be honest, I mean, I, my first experience of at the singing bowls was actually a couple of months ago when I went over to Tucson and I could see, and they, they had a lot of, um, oh, I'll say a lot. There was a few different places that actually sold them. They were very busy stands. Yeah. So hugely popular, uh, popular internationally. Um, and I didn't really understand what it was all about until um, really I came back at, uh, back to work and we was talking about them and everyone was talking about the vibrations. Mm. And it's not until you actually physically hear them. Until you're live with you, it. You, yeah. you realise... Mm the reaction that you actually have. the reaction and you know there's so many sound therapists online now that are trying to deliver these from a computer now do what you've got to do but i don't get it yeah because you cannot feel the power of this tool without being present yeah without being next to it without being a room it's mm -hmm. not the same magic it's like putting on the radio in comparison to going to a concert yeah you're not getting that it's same great, great, you're not getting that technology. same um, concept basically um, and yeah I'm, I'm grateful I found these I'm one of these people that will run that will want to find some element of mm -hmm. escape whether that be shopping you know going to different places always filling my time with stuff since I've introduced these into my life I have found such an element of like inner peace yeah mm -hmm. I've got it here but I need to reach that element of happiness it's not a glass of wine it's not the food it's this and I'm just grateful that, that they're here and that I can, you know, help deliver. Like, as you said, so many of you have messaged in already saying they are absolutely beautiful. Now, the phone lines, now you can see. Let's have a look. There are only 50. So on the one side, these are confirmations. Okay. On the other side, you can see B is for baskets, A is for app, and the one will be for telephone calls. Those are people that haven't yet confirmed, but you've got to remember, we're not at your jewellery maker price tag. I mean, no. for, uh, th th this, that's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty and it's rare and they're not that accessible, are they? No. Do you know, um, even the frosted element I've of only them, seen how the they ones. look, the Tibetan, yeah, it's a bit, you could pick them up on Amazon. Yeah. You know, £10 delivered. Yeah. Yeah, do they, that's where I started. Yeah. Do they do the same powerful as the frosted, pure crystal singing bowls? No. You can't, visually, you're not seeing that. No. Sound-wise, you're not delivering it. And, um, yeah, you'll always see people, yeah, I've got the, Tibet t the Tibetan bowls. That's great. They're beautiful. They do the trick. But these babies, these are the ones that, for me, are the guys. These are the fixers. But you can see it. Yeah, you know. I mean, there's so many holistic treatments on the market, isn't there? From oils to scents. And this one, for me, is, yeah. It's absolutely stunning. It's absolutely stunning. We're at £499.99. pence. It comes complete um, with the stand itself. I mean, if, I don't know if you can see if I just literally tilt it forward. Oh, gosh, I felt it then. Did you lovely. feel it? Yes. Oh, lovely. When I literally, uh, it was still vibrating. I'm going to do this very carefully. So you actually, so all crystal, and you have that high shine you hear, inside. You can hear the crystals you can. moving from within. And of course, crystal is known you know, to you be say powerful. say 500 pound. Yeah, I'm not saying that's not a lot of money, but you would spend that on a holiday. True. You'd spend that potentially a weekend on a retreat. weekend or a retreat. Why not bring this into your own home and deliver this and start your self care with these right here, right now? In your own home, you know, we're quick to go and spend £80 on a massage that lasts an hour, but we're not quick to invest in something that's going to last a lifetime and, and help not only you, but family members. Mm -hmm. you know, how many people do you have a conversation with now that have got issues? Yeah. This week, I seem to have to speak to loads of people and they've delivered it to me. And I, and I say to them, meditate. Yeah. And they're like, I'm not going to meditate, but, but I will go and... And I think, do you know what? Do what you've got to do, but I know it works for me. I know it works for hundreds and thousands of people. Absolutely. All over all the, around world. the world. Yeah, and what this will do, it won't... If you are <coughs> struggling to switch off, which I think most people who have tried to start with an app mm -hmm. meditating, mm -hmm. you're not really going to get those benefits. No. Um, you might a little bit, but with these, it kind of just 
sets that tone for relax, for soothness and stillness. We are not finished there. There is a big price crash coming your way. So many, these are going to, I think, sell out in a nanosecond. Um, you can still get hold of it on your split pay. Um, wow, they're, they're, they're just absolutely beautiful. And, and like I said, I've seen a few around, nothing like this. You don't get tell. them. There's nothing, honestly. What I, I'm just grateful that I've even been able to set up my own business with them. I say business, I do it because I love it. Yeah. Passion, you know, you, you can even start your own workshops. Mm -hmm. Deliver them with your friends. Deliver, go into schools and do them, help the children. This is a helpful tool. For me, it can bring you from not a great place to a great place. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, they're visually beautiful, but it's how they work. How they actually how work. How they actually work. And that's where the magic in them. And, you know, anything that works, you kind of do have to pay a price. Yeah. Well, £49.99 on your split pay. Um, there are literally 50 of these available. What a beautiful gift. Yeah, amazing. They are a beautiful gift. If you know someone, as you said earlier on, that maybe that's struggling a little bit or maybe is maybe 100 mile an hour all the time. You see them. You see them everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You, know. you just want them to slow down a little Pause. bit. Pause. Yeah, yeah. Just take a little bit of time yeah. for themselves. I might be describing you right now. I know I'm describing yeah. me. <laughs> How many? 57 of you have it in your basket. Someone, that's excluding telephone callers. Um, we only have 50. We are not even done on the price itself. Um, something, as you said, it's an investment for you, isn't it? An investment for you, um, an improved mood for you, um, coming into that open mind for you, a commitment to you, a commitment to the people that you love. Are you, you know, are you short? Are you snappy? Are you yearning for that element of peace mm. and calmness mm -hmm. within that you might not be getting on a daily basis because you can't get to the gym or you can't get to that class? You know, yep. trying to get to these classes, especially if you've got children, well, it's hard work. It is, yeah. It is hard work. Yeah. But, you know, getting the children off to school, sitting down or, you know, doing whatever you've got to do in the day, not just children. I'm only saying that because I'm a busy mum of three. But coming back to base with this tool. Yeah. You know, starting your self-care rituals with this tool. I love that. I love that idea, and the fact that you know, again, I can only speak from my own uh, from my own point of view. Yeah, like you, I'm running around here. I'm looking. I'm yeah. dashing back and forth to see my mum down in Wales, and I've got kids, and then, of course, you're doing a full-time job. And Debbie, you'll be exactly the same. It can, life can get crazy, can't it, from time to yes. time? Actually, having it there when you start getting to that point, or I know I get to a point where it's like, oh. And I just you feel get like exhaustion I'm exhaustion now. Yes. Yeah. You know, uh, it happens. We all reach that point where we don't connect mm -hmm. to our breath. We don't connect to the stillness. We're constantly stimulated, whether that be with conversations, televisions, our phones, people, supermarkets. Phones is a good thing. All yes. of it. All of it. Mm -hmm. Where are you switching off? Yeah. Where is that stillness coming in? And I know if I was. Well, I, I have mine out at yeah. home. My children use them. And when you're sitting there and you're looking at them and, and you know, you do buy things sometimes, don't you? And you think, it's, it's there and it's accessible. You mm. haven't got to run to that class. You put your Alexa on, you put, you know, your, your Enya, your soothing music on, spray your nice scents and tap in, tap into you, come back to you. Because when you do do that, life is better. I love this. I absolutely love that. It is, right? Yeah. Nobody is going to pay no. $100. Running to yoga classes, running here, running there, rushing traffic, children, childcare, all of that. I know it. I've been there. I am in there. I'm yeah. still doing it. But with these at home, my self-practice, I'm lucky because, you know, they've helped me massively. I love it. We recharge our mobile phones, don't we? But how often do we recharge ourselves? And I think that's what I'm looking at that as. Yeah. And they're um, so easy to do. Like you haven't got to. You, you know, I've, I've done the sand healing course, and I'm on my journey with it. I've still got so much more to learn. I want to learn more. Um, and I just think even just to listen to it. Sounds powerful. Pe people forget the power of sound. Like you know, when people go to like dances mm -hmm. or nightclubs or sometimes even raves that dopamine that's raised those hormones that are raised and released 
when mm -hmm. sound does go through, how good that makes you feel. Mm -hmm. um, the senses, the senses are massive. I was about to say it's the senses. The senses, isn't and, it? And sound is, is a privileged one that we've got. Absolutely. Um, there are literally 27 of these left, loads of you uh, with us. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Yeah, and this Same one's beautiful because this one's very powerful as well. And say you just want to do a little quiet one in the morning, this one's lighter. As you can see, the frosty bowl's slightly thinner. And then you will feel a higher wow. pitch with this one when you go into it. Now, we have 20 of the large ones left. 43 of you still have the large in your baskets. We're going to take it lower. This, was, this wasn't planned. Everybody pays the final low. Again, yeah, just absolutely beautiful to be able to um, to actually have, take that, like you said, two minutes, five minutes, an hour, whichever it is. That switch off. You time. £129.99. Wow. Oh, reaction. Yeah, how much I paid for mine. I wish I'd come on here before. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. That's <laughs> Over £1,200 I pay for my collection. Really? Really? And I don't regret paying that. No, all. because think of the happiness it's actually brought you. It's and brought, this is what... it's, it delivers it to me, and I carry it. I carry it, I just don't sit down for two minutes and I'm fixed. When I do my sound healing and I do my session, I believe that I carry that within mm -hmm. and penetrate it out yeah. for my husband, my mum, my well, you're three children. You're very calm and, and, and very, it, your whole persona though, you're very calm to be around as well. well thank you. So, no, <laughs> and, and I, as soon as the first words I said to you just in that very short break, you're very calm, um, and relaxed and very gentle, lovely, a uh, lovely persona. So I appreciate you saying that. You know, yeah, we, we all have different elements of our personality. Mm -hmm. I'm not always that, you know, I'm a busy mum of three, but this does help. It helps bring that in for me. Mm -hmm. um, it's a practice at the end yeah. of the day. You know, you're not just going to sit down one time, tap that and deliver, yeah. you know, get that calmness or bring that space, that stillness space into you. It's a practice and a promise. Um, commitment that you give to yourself. We're going to start with the 8 inch because this is on the verge of selling out now so well done to those of you that got hold of it. Enjoy. There are only four left of those. Again they come with the carry cases um, which are absolutely beautiful. Graphics straight on to your screens and these are um, these are the, the you know the, the crystal singing bowls. The pure crystal. The pure mm. crystal and you know they're they're not available everywhere a rare um, especially with delivery i mean our post and packaging is just about 395 i was just thinking that that's a large i think item. i paid 300 for mine because mine come from germany when i first bought mine so, so ours is 395 and if you get two it's still 395 that's so brilliant. yeah it's amazing isn't it yeah they deliver safe um so let's 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 Talk about the eight inch one. So okay. you're saying that this is all about the throat? So this particular bowl is connected to the throat chakra. Mm -hmm. So if you have had a conversation or a day that hasn't gone too well, from my past experience, I will feel that anxiety around this area. Mm -hmm. And what tends to happen with that is it can travel. It can travel into your, you know, your solar plexus um, mm -hmm. chakra. And then that's when the unbalanced feelings comes in. That's when the blockages comes in. Because how do you know how I'm feeling without this being clear? Mm, you, don't, you don't know how I'm feeling unless we, we are open to our communication mm. and we can talk. Um, so with this beautiful tool, I believe, and from the training that I've done, by tapping into this, it helps break down any uncertainty that you might have with a little bit of anxiety, any worry that you might have. Um, if I just do a little uh, experiment here, it kind of takes you away from your thoughts, the power of this sound. And when you come away from your thoughts, you come back to your breath, you begin to connect. And that's when calmness steps in, that's when your connected self comes in. That's when you're clear, mm. when the clarity is delivered um, with your brain and your voice and what you're trying to say is delivered. Now, how many times on a daily basis do we have miscommunication? Yeah. With everybody, it's so easy. Yeah. 
going back to what you said, we're busy, but communication is the key to life. Now, if you're feeling any element of stress, oh, by the way, they help massively with sleep. Aha. Uh -huh. Sleep. So if you're feeling any stress from lack of sleep or anxiety, these, these will definitely help. There's, there's so many benefits health-wise as well, which I don't know whether we discussed. But, you know, they really help with lowering blood pressure. I know that they help with any of my clients that have insomnia, lack of sleep. They can help with imp improved sleep as I well. I mean, that is a, a huge thing, isn't it? Mm. Um, how many do we have of these? Had 100, but 25% of the stock has gone already. Now is not the time for you to be all calm. Now is the time for you to rush and get these, though, <laughs> because they will sell out. Yeah, they go. Sure. Yeah. They will sell out. There's a lot of you wanting to get hold of them. And, uh, and they're, they're beautiful. They're a thing of beauty, but the sound is, is, is mesmeric. It's, and you can f I've never experienced it before. Listen, I'm a complete novice, too. Uh, the, uh, the idea um, of the singing bowl itself, and I physically felt you it. You feel the tune the travel. Yes. You feel, it, you feel it come into your body. Wow. And you, I feel that you can actually feel the energy systems. Mm hmm a line. Yeah. Love it. Because uh, you, know, you said this morning to me, Debbie, you know, you're a huge fan of singing bowls yourself. Because I used to teach meditation, and often you'll have a meditation tool, so you'll have a candle and you're just looking at it. Mm. But with this, you feel it, don't you? It's the you vibration. Can you can't n help but notice it because mm -hmm. you feel that vibration in your body. So it's a physical sensation as well as a spiritual sensation. And it's you can't help but respond to the sound and that's when the switch off comes in yeah. uh, i wouldn't personally perform a meditation without this tool mm. because one time's of an essence so you're kind of sitting there waiting <coughs> for 15 minutes to go <coughs> into a meditative mm -hmm. state yeah and you find that that might not be happening yeah but with the use of these it kind of brings that in Quicker. Yeah, agree. So anybody that's struggling with time mm. or anybody that, you know, hasn't got hours to sit on a meditation <laughs> yeah. mat, which can be frustrating. Yeah. You know, I yeah. started my journey meditating for a couple of hours. Oh, was I, was I on a good page? 100%. Did I feel an element of frustration when my life become busy again and I wasn't able to do that? Yes. And then that's when I was grateful for these that I was able to quickly get that fixed. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, well, we're going even lower. There are only a hundred. Um, half the stock's gone now already. Everybody pays the final low, of course. They're beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. I tell you why they're becoming really popular at events now. So say if you were in a position like myself, you know, three busy young children, three children, you're busy. Mm -hmm. You maybe want that side hustle to go on. You may be yep. thinking you'd like to deliver these classes. Um, they're available, tap in. Like, I've got my own company with these now, and I want people on board. I, yep. I'm I, I, in the process of recruiting because I'm like, please, I want these to share, not, not to make money, but for people to feel the benefits yep. of sound healing and what it does. And, it, and, you know, we're bringing it from across the water. We're bringing it into the UK. And I'm so happy about it. I yeah. really am. Well, they're absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And so many of our viewers, as you can see by the core screens... I love it. ...are, are loving them, loving, lo loving you them will, too. You will, you will, you so know. Just to reiterate, they come with the bags as well, which I think is absolutely amazing. You should... I yeah. would expect to have You know, pay. I love these. And they, and they keep them... So obviously, you pay, you're paying a price tag... So, like anything, you put your shoes back in the box yes. when you finish. Yeah. Whatever you do, you, you know, it has its home and it's safe. So, even when you, if you, because I wouldn't leave them out, especially no. if you've got a busy household, put them back in there and then that's your baby then to carry. If you are one of those people that likes to go to the park in the summer, you know, go to a nice little area, bring it with you, the oh, picnic, beautiful. and it's so inviting. Yeah, what like a nice it's, idea. It's, it's time to invite people into this. Music is the answer, and this is a form of music. It's oh. the, it is the answer, and this instrument delivers. 
It's been absolutely amazing. Thank oh, you, thank you're you so, so welcome. Thank much. Thank you for having me. I'm ever so sorry that we were uh, were late today. Don't worry, it live to the joys of live TV, um, yep. but so close to selling out in actual fact. So, absolutely oh, beautiful. You're welcome. We hope thank to you, see you again Thank so. you. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Well, there's more to bring you. Um, your masterclass with the lovely Debbie. I'm going to scooch over that way. Um, three kits that we are going to um, put available on pre-order for you right here, right now. All about beautiful, beautiful pearls um, and tab sets. Which tab these sets. are. I'm all zen now. I can't talk. No, you, you got to come on. Step out no, of it, you. I just want to sit here now. They're all available on your screens, and you can still get hold of those beautiful singing bowls as well. Um, 19 left of the 8 inch and only 4 left of the 12 so they will quite potentially be well I'll tell you what in 25 minutes I'm going to be getting one if there's any of them left they are stunning kits are going to be available on the website um, oh my goodness she's only gone and done it again as our lovely Debbie so these are launching for the first time, Deb. Yeah, these are amazing because you can set the gemstone, um, but it's a really easy way to set the gemstone. So it's just, you know, tab setting. Uh, of course, you can solder these onto things if you want to, or you can solder a jump ring on or a bail on, but you don't need to do any metal smithing to work with these. So I don't need to solder? No, not at all. And we've done a lot of kits where <coughs> we have done advanced techniques where you need your soldering torch and when you, where you need all of the um, advanced techniques. But we do have a lot of people that make jewellery and aren't silversmiths mm -hmm. on the channel. And so with this, you can pearl knot, you can add a jump ring, you don't have to solder. But of course you can solder if you want to. Um, but I think the beauty is they appeal to sort of everybody. So not everybody's got all the soldering tools no. or the metal smithing tools. And if you haven't, you can still set a gemstone and use it in your jewellery. Amazing. So um, you're going to be... Uh, are, we de are we doing the demonstration straight away, Ross? We'll bring the... We'll bring the I tell you what, let's show you the quick yeah. kit ultra quickly. Um, so you have... Oh, these are stunning. Don't Aren't they got lovely? Pink Very bridal, I thought. Very yes. summer wedding. Then you have your beautiful morganite, which is seven millimeters. Um, you've got a one one point one carat stone morganite. I know what these kits are going to. I'd pay that for the morganite. I don't know what they're going to. Oh well, but you're going to be pleasantly I'll, surprised. Oh good. Um, there's the trillion. The first time ever we've done a trillion in your tab set, and then of course you have your silk, the perfect color combination. Any questions that you have for Debs, then feel free to message us live in the studio. Um, again, Morganite is a considered stone. Yeah. It's a considered price point. Absolutely. And like, also, you've got to bear in mind that you've got the precious metal here. It's yeah. not base metal. No. So this is like, in this case, your rose gold plated oh, sterling really silver. Nice. And then you've got this beautiful gemstone. And not everyone sets gems, no. but this is a really simple way of doing it yeah so absolutely. you've still made jewelry but you just haven't used 25 tools to do it and you've got the exposed gallery in your tab set haven't you so which means yeah. you, could, you could literally well here we go you can knock directly onto um onto the actual tab set itself 39.99 well, for the morganite alone i know and i i knotted onto there because i like to see the thread yeah. Um, so I did quite a few knots there because it's silk, isn't it, that yeah. thread? And it's really beautiful. It's kind of the thicker one. So you really, really need to do one knot in between. So, of course, you could knot and just have knotted, like you get in the jeweler's suites of, of, of jewellery with this because mm -hmm. you, you get the needle on that on yeah. the silk cord as well. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. 39 pounds. How many do we have of this kit, Ben? There are 70 of this kit available. Um, there's a lot of you there. Susan, Heather, Tracy, Valerie, Lynn, Lorraine... Tracy, Nicola and Claire, um, make sure you check out your baskets for the quality of the cultured pearls, the quality of the morganite. Do you know what? We've had an amazing show and also as an apology for the fact that we are completely, listen, we, unfortunately, yeah, Dave was on our sister channel and overrun. So um, anyway, let's do an apology price, shall we? Okay, yeah. We got shot. Remember, I've got two more kits that I can bring you that are available on pre-order. Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine. That's really, pounds. really, really good. That stone should not be twenty-nine ninety-nine. And also, if you think about the pearls, 
Um, if you have a look, I don't know if we can have a look at the um, pearl necklace on one of the busts. Yeah. Um, if you get the grey pearls yeah. at the end, I think I counted That's something so like, gorgeous. hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 34, 15, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, 24 pearls I've used on that necklace, that's all. So you could make this probably multiple times over. Yeah, and the other two necklaces that are with the um, natural pearls, mm -hmm. you can either wear them apart or the picture that I put on social media was them layered together. Ah, oh, lovely. So if you're not into sort of a big statement design, or maybe sometimes you are, you can wear it separately, but that is one strand that's made those two necklaces. One strand? Yeah. So these strands go a long <coughs> way if you add some of your findings in there, your chain in there. Of course, you can knot. If you want to do the pearl knotting, um, <coughs> I believe that Sheila did a knotting demo yes, yesterday. Yes, yeah. So I wanted to do something different for you because the knotting was done yesterday. So let's talk about how we um, set the stones then. Are so we gonna the other, yeah, you, ca you, you, you take away. Uh, the other kits will be uploading as well as and when you've got your opal with the white pearls and then you've got the silver with the uh, sky blue topaz, which is amazing. But yeah, take it away. Okay, so on these tab settings, they're set slightly differently because you actually set the gemstone back to front. So whereas usually when you're setting a gemstone, you would set it from the front mm -hmm. and then rub over or push or prong set you actually set these from the back and you can see that quite clearly because your front part you've got sort of that thicker lining and then the back part is is more open so it's it's you know you're not going to do it incorrectly because it's really quite obvious and then you've got obviously your gem here i've got the morganite here and it really is absolutely stunning so because you're setting it from the back obviously the pointing part of your gemstone um, is the one that's facing you so it's, it's a bit like upside down of yeah. how you usually do it yep. and then what you want to do is just pop your gemstone in and I have to say that out of all of the ready-made settings that I've worked with recently, these were the easiest to get in. Because okay. uh, sometimes, just because of the nature of gem genuine gemstones being um, slightly within you know, one, two millimetres, they can vary. It's very difficult on pre-made settings to get them exactly right. And I'm clear spoken about this before, where we'd usually get a file or maybe your Dremel and sort of burr in there to get it in. I didn't have any problems with any of these. So if you're wanting to try to, to do these and you haven't got any of those tools, then certainly my three worked very easily for me so once you've got your gem inside you've actually got and I don't know can we get a little bit closer possibly one sec can we get closer thank uh, you zoomy, zoom. zoomy zoom zooms so if you look there you can see that little that's the tab setting and all we actually have to do is push that over the top of the gemstone so I just want to show you it first it's at the side now what I've got here is just one of my files now you can use the burnisher I found the burnisher a bit slippy but you know that's just my personal choice and this is just the back of one of my needle files it's got sort of a round flat setting and I just found that the easiest way to do it so any tool um, the back of your file your burnisher um, maybe some pliers whatever works for you because we're all we're all different so I just gonna hold the gemstone in there I'd usually do this on a um, not on my mat, but I'll try it on my mat. And then you just push your tab setting, and I'm just going to get my head in there over the gem. Now I've done it. That's it. Okay, so that's one there, and then you've got one here. So again, I'm just going to. You have to give it a little bit of force. Just push that. You can't ruin it because it won't go any further. There's only so far it can go. So just let me check. That's gone. Not quite. I'm just going to do it a bit more. You can see it quite clearly, and I'll show you a close-up. So if you look from the inside, you can just see it. Mm. Can you see that? Just gently hugging yeah. the stone, and then there's just one more. So I'm going to do that again. So I usually do this on my desk surface rather than my bead mat, just to give it some purchase. And then let me just check it from the back. And then you want to have a good look around. Let me try and hold that up for you. There you go. So you can see the little tabs there sitting over the top of the gemstone. And then what I would do is I'd pop it back on my mat and then I'd look over the top of it and just make sure that they look like, I need to pick it up, 
that they're hugging as much and there isn't any gaps. And then if I see that one might be able to go a little bit further, then I'm just going to encourage it gently. And because there's been no soldering, there's been no pickle, there's been no clean up, my mount is still as beautiful as when as I took it out of the packet. Look at that. So that's that done. Okay, that's finito. Now, if you have a look, one of the most um, unique characteristics of this setting is you've got a gap between the gemstone and the setting, which means you've got ultimate design possibilities. So you can pop a jump ring through there, you can pop cord through there, you can pop chain through there, and you don't need to be doing any soldering, okay? So you're left there with your focal point. Can I have the necklaces over here so I can show sure. the different things that I did with them, please? Thank you. So if I just show you with this kit, which um, is the... We'll yes. put the graphics on your screens for the uh, one. No, this isn't the opal one. Oh, this, is this is the opal here. I'm going to show both of them. Shall I show you the opal? Because I was, I was a bit blown away with the quality of this gemstone. It's on the other one. There you go. This opal is absolutely... I was trying to get a photograph of it <laughs> on my social media and I couldn't because you know what? Oh, there you go. <gasps> Look at it. Oh, <laughs> wow. Brand new. And it's just... The colours coming off of this opal are incredible. Oh, my goodness. So this blew me away. I mean, I see a lot of gemstones in my kits, but this opal, I mean, there's opals and there's opals. Look at that. Well, the, the, the kit was meant to be 49.99, Ross has just said. Okay. We took £10 off the last one, which means we'll take this one to 39.99. Oh, he says, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> there are 55 of this kit. It's more limited. Again, okay. that for a trillion cut, for a trillion cut opal. And you've got your classic... Um, Sterling silver pearls. Your classic pearl yeah. colour. You know, your bridal, your occasion, your beach wedding, your prom. This is the colour of pearls that most people think of as a classic pearl, isn't yeah. it? And then put opal in there and just, you know, yes. £29.99. Yes, Unbelievable. So, if you have a look at my bead mat, you'll see the way that I set this particular stone and I've done it differently with each one. So I just popped a jump ring basically through each of the three points where you have a gap. So there's a jump ring here and then I've rosary linked. Um, same on the other side and then a jump ring at the bottom and just one pearl drop. But bearing in mind you might want to have a gemstone drop, you might want to have a chain drop, you might actually want to have a fringe there. And if I show you from the back you can see how simple that is because you've got the gaps here between the gemstone and you've got, there you go, you've got a gap there between the gemstone and the mount that you have, don't have to solder, you don't have to do those really complicated um, techniques okay so that's the way I set this one and what I did with just just this strand was I made two necklaces so I've got this necklace here and I've actually used I had a um, pendulum kit on Wednesday morning and had loads of really nice charms so I've used a couple of the charms from that kit but everything that you see here is from jewelry maker I've made both of these necklaces with this one kit and with the, the view of either wearing it just as one necklace so maybe I don't know you're going to work and you've got your blouse and your jeans on and then you're going straight out for a nice meal I wish that happened to me <laughs> yeah that'd be nice yeah, that'd be yeah. nice let's go for a nice meal and you think I'm just going to bling it up a bit and so you can actually pop the other necklace on and layer it both have got extended chains on so you can layer it to however you want to um, and that is just with the strand that we got in the kit and of course then you've added that luxury to it because you've got that opal shining there in the middle oh gosh yes now these are really really easy um, techniques to master and what i would recommend you do is raid your stash for your findings so if you've got a lot of sterling silver or sterling silver plated findings you, and <coughs> charms this is where you can raid your <coughs> findings and actually find that odd one charm. You know, you don't need a lot of them. Like, I've got a star there. That was one star that I had left over from my pendulum kits on Wednesday. Mm. And I've just popped it on the side there. So what, what I was thinking design-wise was a Chanel-esque feel. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like because that. I absolutely love 
the Chanel sort of style pearl necklaces. Okay, so there's some very easy techniques that I made all of this jewellery from. And it's basically from the way I've made my pearls go further is to, it's actually, Dave was talking about doing this with the Grandidia, right? Is actually dispersing the gemstone amongst pieces of chain. And what I've done here is I've just taken the chain that we get in our findings kits. And if some of you guys I know are our, our viewers from years ago, you remember when we used to get the findings in the kits, so we've all got like loads of findings from yeah. all the kits before. Now, the thing that you want to do is actually make some equal lengths of chain. So what I did, this is a larger chain, just so that you can see what I'm doing, is I made a length of chain of five lengths and seven lengths. So this is actually a seven link chain here. Here, um, but it's a smaller type of chain. So you just want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just snip and pull, and it comes apart very easily. Sometimes you get that sort of little bit of um, chain sort of jumping on the end. Just take that off, and of course, never throw anything away because you can always use that in another design. So I think I used 14 pieces of chain and pearls on my uh, neutral pearl design. So it's easier to just cut those beforehand. And then I added my pearls in between just with wrap loops. So I've got here some 0.4 wire, and you can use um, 0.6. Uh, as well, but you've just got to make sure it goes through your pearls. So what I've done is, this is a way to make sure that you don't waste your wire, is just to pop some of your pearls on first. Um, you don't have to do it this way, you can pre-cut your wire, it's up to you. We've got all different ways of doing it. So what I'm going to do is wrap loop, and by wrap looping I'm just going to pop my pliers Obviously, the further you go up, excuse me, up the uh, pliers, the larger the loop. The further you go down, the smaller. If you want all of your loops to be exactly the same, just get a permanent marker and just mark on your pliers and do your loops in the same place each time. You can always wipe it off afterwards with some nail varnish remover. So I'm just going to take the wire over the top of the pliers and all of these basic techniques you'll see on our YouTube channel and on our website um, if you're just a beginner to jewellery making but I'm going to just go a little bit quicker and before you finish wrapping the loop which if I had a pound for every time I did this I'd be a millionaire you wrap the loop and then you think oh I forgot to attach it so you want to attach it to your piece of chain and I'm actually just going to cut this off of the reel so that I feel a bit cat candid with it, trying to keep it in frame. So just Well, you're me. doing it at arm's length, aren't you? So um, We're just going to put the graphics on your screens for the last of the kit, which okay. is the, all about those silver colours. And that, also yeah. features that sky blue topaz, which is one and a half carats. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. I like it when Ross says he's going to do something special. <laughs> he has done that throughout the, in uh, the entire course of the... Um, of yes. the morning, don't you think? He says, How, are you happy at 29 yes. I am. Oh my goodness, okay, that this is a really good price then. There are 70 of these available. Comes with your silk, your silver cultured pearls. I see the, this colour pearl as quite um, <coughs> an evening-y. Yes, it is, yeah. Do you agree? Mm. Like when you, you have this kind of, you know, when you go out pearls, if you want to kind of be a bit more glitzy or you're going to a party or going out for a nice meal or somewhere like a bit posh, I think this colour of pearl is lovely. Yeah. It always lifts my spirits when I wear pearls. I love yeah. pearls. And, and it's different. You don't see it that often, do no, you? No, you don't. The silver pearls. No. 19 .99. There are only 70 of this kit, though, so I would check out those baskets. And they're fresh water, these pearls. Mm -hmm. They're not shell pearls. No, no. So I've, I've done my um, wrap loop and I've added it to my chain. And then you just sort of carry on in that, in that fashion, adding your pearls to your wrap loops. I don't want that piece of chain. I want a thin piece. Here we go. There. And then just finishing off the loop if you don't wrap loops if you're kind of beginner and you've just mastered your basic loops that's not a problem because you can still do a basic loop with this it's just a bit more secure if you wrap your loops there and then I'm just going to get rid of that and what I did once this was long enough 
was I started to incorporate my findings to my design. And I'm going to show you, I'll bring it onto the map, how I kind of raided my findings. So what I did was when I got to a certain length, and it will depend on whether you want a long line necklace or where, where you want it to sit, I started to add my findings in just so that I could add some more precious metal. So I've got some jump rings there, I've used different sizes of jump rings, and then across the middle, I rosary linked just the beads together, so no chain in between, and I just added it to these jump rings so that I've, I've got sort of a double layer necklace but it doesn't go all the way and what this does is it makes it hang really nicely like, you know sometimes when you have a double strand and it's attached right up the top it kind of twists as you wear it this just makes sure that it sort of sits quite nicely when you're wearing it. it also makes your strand go a bit further and then in between these I've added these jump rings basically just for design what's pleasing to my eye and then I've taken some charms from my stash and just sort of added them at at various places along the design and it's it's not been symmetrical because I wanted that kind of organic kind of designer feel and of course then when you um, have set your gemstones you can add them anywhere you want you could even I tried adding it as a charm now I've set this one slightly different so I don't know if we can can come in just on this part please so what you can see here is rather than add one jump ring at the bottom I've added one jump ring on each of the spaces and then I've added those together with another one so I've got three so that I can just have my dangle at the bottom so essentially I've turned it the other way round than I did the other one so I'll put them side by side so that you can see what I mean so we've got this one where we've got just a jump ring on each side and then we're continuing up the neckline and one little piece here but this one I've turned turned it the other way so that I've got sort of a bit more detail here and as I said the great thing about these kits and these this sort of gem setting is you don't usually have a lot of room between your gem and your mount usually if you want to attach things you have to solve <coughs> you have to make that that connection using the tools but the great thing about these I mean even that on a charm bracelet and then use the pearls separately you most certainly could do but I just ones this morning. wouldn't that be lovely because that's what I thought when I said to you this morning because you've got that gap so you yeah. can get your braided bracelet <coughs> yeah. through the middle so these kits I think are timeless elegant if you you're not metal smithing you, you don't have all those tools you don't want to invest in all those tools you can still gem set a beautiful gemstone in precious metal um, and have pearls and you know what more do you need really <laughs> yeah yeah that's me done that's yeah. me happy, um, especially at that kind of crazy price. That, that, so very simple techniques. I know demos cut a bit short just because of Dave game, but if, the, if you've got any more questions, and it's really not difficult techniques I've used to make these, come and find me on, on um, Facebook and I'll answer any questions. That's fine. She's a good one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have this cough. Are you yeah, right? So oh. I'm COVID. I can't shift this cough at all. Are you the same? Um, now, just so you know, quick recap. You've got... How, we've got how many of the 14 left of the 8 inch singing bowls ready see if I can do it it's the first time I've ever had a go at one of these and it's really 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 I love it I love it I love it and how many did we have left of the 12 three there's three left I, did, I, I honestly didn't know how, why. They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, wow. So you can still get hold of that, but just about. Um, and we can just do a little sneaky closing. Silver deal. We have to be ultra quick because we're about to, oh, we're about to run out of time. Should be what? 7 99 Rose gold plated. Ooh. Sterling silver. They'd be lovely with the kit. Yeah, lovely. Bit of an apology deal. That's what they should be. Ah, well, they're a necessity, aren't they? So you can use these as charm carriers, can't you? These little ones. <laughs> oh yeah, they're good for that. Three forty-nine. Uh, That'll Alan do. Said, Russ, you've been apologising all day long. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't, no, don't worry, Russ. Look. Oh. 
It's I'm so chilled now. Ali. I've had a lovely morning, Deb. <laughs> Just... Thank you for joining Night. me, darling. You have a little snooze on your way I'll back. Have a snooze. Make sure you check out your baskets on your singing bowls, but don't go anywhere because our sister channel is coming up. Wonderful Harvey Maker. Thank you.